Hey yo, Spaghetto here, and welcome to Sakura Gamer. This is a visual novel that I um, got a while back, and I thought it'd be fun to play for you guys. So, yeah. Uh, how's everyone doing in the chat? Hopefully you're doing well. I've had a, a fun weekend. My 21st birthday is on Wednesday. I'm excited about that. Am I weebing? Yes, I am weebing. <laughs> you guys click so fast. Wow, you guys are piling in real quick. Just letting you know, this is a modified version of the game. There's one CG I had to censor, but I will still be playing the full game. Other than that, I just wanted to make sure that the, the stream would be safe and I wouldn't get banned for playing the game. So we should be safe and everything is going to be okay um, on the safer work side. So we're good. Hopefully you guys are excited for this visual novel. I am excited. Um, the menu screen's great. The music is great. And yeah, let's let's just jump into it with our legs. <clears throat> wow, right off the bat. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, okay, I'm going to lower the game volume a little bit so you can hear me better. Oh, that was so funny. Wow, okay. So, I think I've seen enough boobs to last me a lifetime. Honestly. When I started to work as a computer repair technician, I never knew it would involve quite a large amount of staring at women. I don't even want to stare at women. <laughs> Why would I, when I have clover? Sadly, the jobs I get fall into one of three categories. I'll outline them for you. For your ease and convenience. By the way, everybody, before I continue, is my mic volume okay? Is um, everything level? Can you hear me and the game volume okay? If not, I can adjust it. And before I continue, um, let me know. <laughs> oh. Everything's good? Okay. You feel like the stream's gonna get, get demonetized? No, this is a Christian stream. We're fine. Everything's fine. Category 1, people who think they can use their CD drives as drink holders. Category 2, people who haven't realized most issues with their electronics can be solved turning them on and off again. Oh my gosh. Category number 3, people whose children, typically male, but there are always exceptions, have downloaded large amounts of not safe for work from shady websites on the family computer, thus giving them viruses. <laughs> Today I had to work a handful of jobs that fell into the third category. It was awful. <laughs> there were pop-ups everywhere. I've seen enough digital images of stuff and stuff splashed across computer screens to last me a lifetime. It's so awkward, too, especially when the poor embarrassed mothers of these obsessed children hang out in the background wringing their hands, averting their eyes and apologizing. What is this visual novel? I don't know. Who wants to look at stuff with women in their 40s? Especially when said stuff sometimes involves women in their 40s. Oh gosh. Ugh, that's always fun. You know, <laughs> it's going to be a challenge to keep this stream monetized, but I think we're going to be able to do it. <laughs> and fun, and by fun I mean horrible. In time, these harried mothers usually start f falling on typical social niceties as a way to escape these uncomfortable situations. Uh, housewife, excuse me, miss. Do you have? Do you want a cup of tea? <laughs> then they retreat to their kitchens while I stress over the malware-infested PCs to potter about inf <laughs> ineffectually and spend hours brewing a single cup of green tea. If I would. <laughs> If I was ever served that slowly in a restaurant or cafe, I'd complain. When I'm on the clock, however, I welcome the absence of my clients wholeheartedly. It's hard to focus when somebody else is watching you, especially when, especially when there's so much stuff. I don't get paid enough to deal with it all. At least I usually get a cup of green tea out of it. That's nice. A cup of green tea that, when I finally receive it, is already stone cold. And to think, 
I only started studying computers because once upon a time I wanted to be a game designer. Those dreams have been destroyed now. Destroyed by menacing specter of adulthood. Wow, what a great way to start a visual novel! <laughs> the music's fun, though. I sigh heavily as I walk down the street. This poor person. Just a novel. No, not safe for work. Everything's fine. We're good. It's getting dark already. The night air is crisp and, a and cool against my skin. At least it helps calm my head. The wind toys with my hair, making it flutter. The hem of my jacket twitches. I love the sky. This is a pretty CG. I like the, the night sky. I glance upwards and brush a few loose strands of hair, of hair behind my ear. The sky is filled with stars. The stars are small, like tiny pinheads, and they twinkle brightly. Pretty, but I don't have enough time to stand around in the street contemplating. I'm tired and hungry, and most importantly of all, I want to take a shower. I cross the street with my legs. The house isn't too far away. It's a pretty nice house, all things considered, especially if for a recent college graduate. It's not a mansion by any stretch of imagination, but it has three bedrooms, a moderately large kitchen, and a garden. Wow. I guess I'm not doing too badly for myself. Sometimes after a busy day at work, I start obsessing over the negatives. But my life is pretty comfortable, all things considered. Wow, okay. By the way, this visual novel is modified, so I threw in little Easter eggs in the background. Feel free to find or point them out. I open the front door and close it behind me with a slam. She's cute. I love her hoodie. Look at her hoodie. It's so cute. Wow. The lights all <laughs> are all turned on. I guess Clover is still awake. Spaghetto, you wise ball. What are you doing playing etchy games at 4 p.m.? Ah, nothing. <laughs> hey, Matt. It's nice to see you, buddy. I'm having fun. Uh, well, that goes without saying. She doesn't go to bed until 3 or 4 in the morning during the summer. <laughs> she always has a video game or two, or 20, to work through, especially those she couldn't get around to playing during the school term. <sighs> it's nice to know she's so easygoing. Some, some things never change. I sigh and slide off my shoes, and I line them up neatly beside Clover's cast-offs. Clover, Clover has too many shoes. Sometimes I wonder if she's trying to stockpile them. Lest the apocalypse arrive, taking all the shoe, all the shoe stores with, with it in its wake. Surely there are better things she could spend her money on. Now that it's any of my, not that it's any of my business. I'm not her mother. I'm not her mother. Ugh. I really want to shower, but I should probably dump my bags in my room first. I climb the stairs with my legs sluggish and open my bedroom door. The lights are already on and. Wait, what? What's going on? Oh, <laughs> that's not how you play video games! The controller isn't plugged in! She's so silly! <laughs> oh my gosh! That's not how you play games! You gotta plug the controller in, you goofball! That PlayStation controller looks a bit broken. Hi, honey! Welcome home! Clover... Wait, is my name Nick Neckoheim? <laughs> <laughs> Video game controller waifu. <laughs> oh. Gamer girl moment. I look at my best friend of some 10 years with narrow eyes. There are numerous ways you could describe the current expression on my face. Bored, indifferent, apathetic, but excited is not one of them. <laughs> Maybe that's what Clover wants, but Clover can't always have her own way. Even if she is incredibly pushy. Pushy enough to invite herself into my room when I'm out, sit on the edge of my bed, and balance one of my VS4 controllers on the sizable shelf of hers. Uh, the Spaghetto team gave us a donation, and he said, So quick question, why? <laughs> why not? I don't know. I saw video games and anime girls, so I bought it. <laughs> While wearing one of those ridiculous outfits she likes so much. Uh, I don't know what you're playing at, but you you should put my VS4 controller away. Those things are expensive. Hee! What, what's with the hee? 
Is this what you spend my money on? No, I spent my money on this one. Why is she sticking her tongue out like that? It's nice to see you too, Nekoheim. For the record, Nekoheim isn't my real name. It's Seo. Oh, okay, that's better. Clover isn't Clover's real name either. She actually, She's actually called Chica. Nekoheim and Clover are just our internet handles. I first met Clover on an internet RP board 10 years ago. We were both in our first years of middle school, not that we went to the same schools. <laughs> we spoke online for years before our relationship transitioned into the real world, so we still call one another by our online names when we're offline like this. Well, that's cool. That's interesting, actually. Uh... <laughs> oh, jeez. I see that chat is um, making interesting comments. It might sound a little complicated, but it's not. I just wish when I was 12, I'd have the foresight to call myself something a little less embarrassing than Neko <laughs> Oh wait, look at the posters in the back. There's there's the names of the other visual novels that this um, company's done, like Sakura Fantasy, Dungeon Adventure, Space. That's interesting. Is that a DS on the shelf back there? That's cool. Or a knockoff DS? Whatever. Can you please put my controller down? So you see this totally sexy girl posing on your bed and all I can say is put the controller down. What else do you want me to say? Listen, I want games, not thoughts, okay? I have no time for gamer girls. <laughs> girls can't video games. This visual novel doesn't make sense. It's fiction. <laughs> Women aren't video gamers. <laughs> what is this? Uh, I'm not an interesting person. Well, you might be right about that. Seriously, what's the point in all this? Uh, remember, Spaghetti Man, it's no sip September. Listen, my birthday is on Wednesday. I wanted to play something different, and I realized I made a mistake. I can't believe I'm gonna be 21 on Wednesday, though. It's kind of surreal. I was going to stream for you guys on my birthday, but my family wants to spend it with me, so I'm going to stream today, and then tomorrow, and I'll take Wednesday off, just letting you guys know. <sighs> I gesture towards Clover, or to be more precise, her shelf. Oh, nothing. I just thought I might be able to fire you up a bit. You've been looking uh, so down lately. <laughs> oh, thanks for the happy birthdays, guys. I appreciate it. Because I, unlike you, still have to go to work. Don't you like your job? Having a conversation with Clover while she's still posing on my bed, controller propped up, is kind of surreal. At least it would be if I wasn't so accustomed to her antics. Thanks everybody for the happy birthday wishes. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, King of Aliens! You came at the wrong time! Hooray, Noodle can uh, do stuff responsibly. <laughs> Thank you guys. Welcome to the stream, Nora. Clover does stuff like this all the time, so basically Clover likes to tease uh, Nekoheim. That's funny. Of course I don't like my job. I have to get out of bed early, work long hours, and worst of all, I'm expected to interact with other people. Dang, Nekoheim hates people. <laughs> well, you never actually- you're, you've never exactly been too good with all of that. It's a huge pain. Today was the worst. Was it more or less annoying than the woman at the Shinto shrine who filled her laptop CD drive with rice? It was more standard. Uh, excited teenage boy, family PC, too much stuff, you know. Ah, malware, huh? Lots of it. And pop-ups? Mm-hmm. Did you see any nice, um, advertisements? I saw a lot of advertisements. They all start to blend together after a while. Her name is pronounced Nekohime? Oh, okay. Uh, thanks for the correction. I appreciate that, Vincent. <laughs> that he hit different. <laughs> Wait, Lily, you're a gamer girl? And you're a girl gamer? Wait, girls are real? What? They actually made girls into a real thing? Whoa! So what do you think about mine? Are they better or worse? Your chest is the best that there are. Are you seriously asking me this question? 
I hate this. <laughs> Are you seriously asking me this question? I guess. And you honestly think we need to have this discussion? Why not? I'm curious. Well, you'll have to just stay curious. But Neko Hime! Enough. This conversation is over. <laughs> Spaghetto, how could you forget girls are real? You have a girlfriend. Oh, yeah! I have a girlfriend. <laughs> over. Now, if that's all, I'm going to have a shower. <laughs> Uh, before you leave, I want to ask you something. <laughs> Clover finally sets the controller down. She sits on the edge of my bed looking at me expectantly. Ah, yes. Clover. I like Neko Hime's outfit a lot, though. It's really cute. It's, like, adorable, actually. Oh, man. Oh, Neko Hime. Okay. Sorry, Vincent. I'll do my best to fix the pronunciation. <laughs> Alright, uh, it's ne Neko Hime. Okay, I can say that. Also, the, the, <laughs> the painting of Godzilla on the back I added because the original painting was like this really lewd picture and I changed it to Godzilla because I like Godzilla better. Clover finally sets the controller down. She sits on the edge of my bed looking at me expectantly. I sigh. <sighs> What is it, Clover? This better not be something stupid. I promise it isn't. You didn't jam the toaster again, did you? Godzilla is so cool. I love Godzilla so much. <laughs> no way. Or clog the toilet? That was a long, long time ago. I love Gojira. He's amazing. It happened last Tuesday. Details, details. <laughs> Ahem. She clears her throat with her esophagus. I managed to get us a new tenant. Oh, you did? Mm-hmm. This girl called up earlier and asked if our spare room was still available. I said it was, and she asked if she could come around today to scope the place out. I said okay. <laughs> Neko Hime! <laughs> this is so awesome! Spaghetti Man has read like three of my messages out loud. That's why you guys gotta join the non-DDLC streams. The chat's more slow and I can actually interact with you guys more. Did you love the movie of Godzilla? It depends on which movie. I've seen um, a few of them, and I've enjoyed all of them that I've watched. They're fun. And she just signed the warrant today? That's right, isn't that great? Clover and I used to live with another girl, but she moved out a couple of months ago. She, re she relocated to Hokkaido, something related to her job, and the spare room has been empty ever since. This visual novel is different, the MC is a girl. I guess it is different, wow. We've been trying to shift it for a while, but we haven't had too much luck. Having another tenant is more than welcome. I don't like people, but I do like money, and I don't want to turn my nose up at extra income. So I assume that Neko Hime um, owns the house, and she's renting it to her two friends, or this girl and the new tenant that she has. Wow. The house doesn't pay for itself. Neither does the electricity bill, which is going to be through the roof this summer, thanks to Clover's unhealthy fixation on <laughs> with video games. Uh, uh, <laughs> Which do you like more, the PS5 or Xbox? I think both are cool, and I think there's no point in comparing one another. If you like one, that's fine. If you like the other, that's cool. I think they're both great for good reasons. Like, the Xbox has really good split-screen stuff, and the PlayStation has some really fun exclusives. And the PC has lots of um, variety on visual novels and indie games, so yeah, everything that can play games is great, in my opinion. Even so, I'm a little bit skeptical about this arrangement. Don't you think that seems kind of fast? You think? Mm-hmm. You'd expect her to think about it first. Plus, I wanted to meet her before she signed it. Uh, signed anything. But you never want to meet anyone, uh, Nekohime. I know, but I would... <laughs> But, it would be nice to get a look at her face at least. I want to know what kind of person we're letting into our house. Don't worry about it. I'm a great judge character. You know what? I I'm going to go with the assumption that Clover is not a great judge character. Oh, wow. Uh, hold oh, shoot. Um, Neko Hime does um, have cat thigh highs. That's adorable. That is so cute. Look at that. 
<laughs> her D-pad and her face button swap sides. Oh yeah. Uh, have I played Halo? I have. It's it's alright. It's not my favorite, but I still um, enjoy playing with friends and making them happy. Sure you are. I am. I could tell right away she'd be a really great girl to live with. She was very energetic. I don't like energetic people. What is with Nekohime? <laughs> you like me? I put up with you. It's different. Oof. Oh, Nekohime. Don't be so cold. We've known each other forever. And that's why your company is tolerable. I don't know if I can cope with another one of you. Have I played Fall Guys? Yeah, I played it. It's pretty good. Well, we'll just have to see how it turns out. You'll be able to find out soon enough. What do you mean? She's going to move in tomorrow. Tomorrow? Now that is really fast. Are you sure this girl doesn't have a criminal record? She didn't look like the type who'd commit theft or arson, did she? <laughs> She's just gonna burn down your gaming collection. Well, it's always hard to tell, of course. <laughs> of course. But she was, like, super cute. You wouldn't believe how cute she was. Oh my gosh. So she picked this girl only because she was cute. Understandable. Have a nice day. You think cute people can't commit crimes? Ugh. <laughs> It's unlikely, I mean, she was really adorable. I'm sure you'll understand when you see her, Nekohime. I hope so. For your sake, Clover, I hope so. If she's le <laughs> If she le- <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is so funny! If she's let a convicted serial killer into our home, I'm going to be very, very angry with her. No, I think you'd be very, very dead. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, wow. You... Ah, that feels good. You shower with your clothes on. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm crying. I'm crying. <laughs> See... I strive to be like Nekohime. <laughs> she showers with her clothes on because she likes to keep things PG. I salute her. We don't like those promiscuous women that shower naked. No, we like girls that shower fully clothed because they are women of God. And she likes to stay covered and modest. Amen, my fellow brethren. This is amazing. <laughs> ah, that feels good. Welcome to the stream, aesthetic as heck. Uh, you entered at the wrong time. I sigh softly as the water cascade over my body. What's wrong with my microphone? Is something going on? Is my microphone okay? Is the is the gain off? Let me check. <laughs> what did you just walk into? Uh. Before I continue, guys, is my microphone okay, or is it, like, is the levels too high? Oh, it's fine? Okay, thank you, King of Aliens. You're, you're the true MVP, as always. I was so tired after work, I didn't change out of my clothes. I didn't even take off my glasses. According to Clover, my glasses are my charm point, whatever that means. <clears throat> she plays too many erotic games, especially for an elementary school teacher. She's an elementary school teacher? I love teachers. When I was in fourth grade, I had the biggest crush on my teacher. Like, it was no joke. I, had, I genuinely, like, had a crush on my teacher, and every time she even looked at me, I would blush and, like, get all bashful, and she... I'm pretty sure she caught on eventually, and it was really funny how much of a crush I had on her. She was really pretty, too. And, yeah, I just... I love her. I, lo I loved her, especially when... Um, she would give us extra attention in our lessons. She was such a great teacher, especially with a small class, so she really got to personally know us. It was fun. Yeah, I, I have really fond memories of that teacher. Oh, I was in fourth grade. I, I even still remember her name to this day. That's how much of an impact she made on me growing up. And I loved that. She, she also was the reason why I grew a love for reading. And she helped me further my reading skills, and I will always be grateful to her for that. And she introduced me to the Narnia series, which is awesome. 
I loved reading Narnia as a kid. So yeah, uh, my fourth grade teacher, she's the true MVP, and she's the reason why I love reading so much today. Let's all say thanks to her. I was surprised when she told me her lifelong dream was working with children. Fortunately, she doesn't dress in skin-tight latex when she's around those under 12-year-old... 12... <laughs> around those 12 years of age. I hope not. Whew. Okay. And so the moral fiber of Japan's children continue to be protected. Good. Aw. Thank you, Spaghetti Man's teacher. And so the moral of the fiber... Yeah, okay. I'm so sleepy. I'm not really thinking straight. Then again, when have I ever done that? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I nuzzle my cheek against the slow, steady stream of warm water. I must look like such a slob collapsed at the bottom of the shower stall in my underwear. At least I had foresight to take my skirt off. I might be lazy, but I'm not that lazy. Mm, the warm water is really nice. It caresses my skin softly. My limbs don't ache as much as they did before. My limbs always ache after a busy day at work. That that's what happens when you have to take the train everywhere, sandwiched between businessmen and women while, they while the carriage rocks back and forth. Seriously, why is Japan so busy? Tokyo is the worst. I don't like people at the best of times, and I especially don't like them when I'm crammed against them with their elbows and knees digging into me. At least the shower knows how to treat a girl right. <sighs> I yawn, idly rubbing shampoo into my hair. I think this might be Clover shampoo, actually. <laughs> you guys are making me laugh so hard in chat. <laughs> it smells of cinnamon, a bit too strong for my liking. Uh, I prefer more subtle aromas like barley or tea or vanilla. But Clover says that's incredibly boring. <sighs> How the heck do I make those noises? I do not know. <laughs> what do I do in my free time? I like playing a lot of Smash Bros and making uh, noodles. That's usually what I do in my free time. I also love watching movies. <laughs> Are you getting your headphones? <laughs> okay. She's called me boring ever since we first started talking online. It's a wonder we're even friends. It's a wonder I have any friends at all, being so gloomy. But I wasn't always like this. Part of it's because of work. Having a job does this to people. I think it's inevitable, especially when you're a freelancer like me, and your hours are all over the place. Sometimes, I get called out for emergency repairs in the early hours of the morning. And to think, I only started dabbling with computers because of Clover. Ugh. <sighs> It was back when we were both kids, and we went to different schools in different parts of Japan. Clover was born in the north, around Tohoku region, and I was born in Shikoku. We could only communicate through the, our keyboards. She decided we should make a game. We tossed a few ideas back and forth, mostly rip-offs of pen, pen Ultimate Fantasy series, and I started studying Java and C++ in my spare time. I built up the, I built up quite the bank of knowledge over the years. It's actually kind of cool. And it was all for nothing. Aw, oh, that's so sad. Hmm. Who, wear, who wears clothes in the shower? Uh, modest women wear clothes in the shower. That's why. <laughs> Clover and I never found the time to work on that game. Aw. I was too busy with school, then college, and now I have a job. <sighs> Oh look, I got an achievement. <laughs> I thought knowing a little bit about programming might come in handy as a computer repair technician, but that was wishful thinking. My career is based around telling people to turn their appliances off and on again. That's all. I have all these skills at my disposal, and I've never used any of them. I never had the chance. That kinda sucks, actually. I feel bad for... Uh... Nekohime. Yeah. Now I'm worried... About that the chance will, now I'm worried that chance will never come. Honestly, I pout pinching a strand of damp hair between my fingers. <sighs> what's the point of what's the point in all of that? My dreams of making a real video game like RPGs, dungeon crawlers, and roguelikes I loved so much as a child be for nothing? 
I don't even have time to play video games nowadays. I'm too busy working. That's what being an adult is like, I guess. Even if it sucks. At least I could take tomorrow off. I need to be around the house so that I can welcome our tenant. The new girl. What was her name again? I don't think Clover I don't think Clover mentioned it. I bet Clover doesn't even know. Aw. That would be so like her. If nothing else, tomorrow should be interesting at least. That's actually sad. Like I know this is supposed to be like a visual novel where like haha, pretty anime girls, but man. That's so sad. Aw, giving up on your dreams like that because you're just too busy and don't have the time actually makes me really depressed. <sighs> I hope that doesn't ever happen with me where I have to g eventually give up YouTube just to support myself. That would suck. Hey, Nekohime. Mm. Get up, sleepyhead. <laughs> and you call yourself Nekohime for nothing. I moan, nuzzling my head into my pillow. I can feel the sunlight dancing across my skin. It runs through my hair. Nice, soft, warm. Why should I wake up when I feel so cozy? I hardly ever get to sleep in. That's my job. My sleep schedule's all messed up. <laughs> you guys in chat, I'm so sorry. I snatch a quick cat nap whenever I can fit them in. Between my stints to uh, Kichi Joji or Asaku Asakusa to help yet another useless businessman using a CD drive as a drink holder. But that's all I get. Who uses their disk drive on their computer as a drink holder? <laughs> Sadly, Clo Clover isn't having any of it. She can be pretty assertive when she wants. Wake up, Nekohime! I hiss, shying away from her fingers, closing my eyelids even more tightly than before. She isn't too deter deterred. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Her fingers fly over my body. They poke and prod about the hollows of my armpits and the soles of my feet until... Alright, alright, fine, I'm up, I'm up! <laughs> oh... I will count how many times I hear you make those no noises, then donate that amount. Oh my gosh, Matt. <laughs> I push back the blankets and pull myself into the sitting position. <laughs> uh, I blink blearily, rubbing at my eyes with one hand, and... Did I fall asleep wearing my glasses? You should be more careful, you know. You could scratch your lenses. Please, you're like the last person who should lecture me about being careful. <laughs> oh, there's 35 of you guys in chat. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> By the way, yes, I added the Bible in the background. I thought we could all use it. <laughs> My throat! Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Boo. Clover pouts. I do work at an elementary school, you know. I'm surprisingly reliable. All my students call me Big Sis, and they always tell me how much they love me. Oh, that's so cute! We are children of God. Yes, we are. Yeah, right. Don't you, yeah, right me? It's true. Whatever. I yawn again, and pressing a hand against my mouth. My hair is all disheveled. My hair is always disheveled. Sleepy princess, let me fix that for you. <sighs> Clover sits on the edge of my bed, brushes a few stray strands of hair out of my mouth. My hair is damp with my own drool, but Clover doesn't wince. Instead, she smiles indulgently and pats me on the head. <laughs> is this what you do with your students? Sometimes they fall over and hurt themselves. Well, that's really sweet. Bobs are temporary, but God is forever. <laughs> oh my gosh. He 
these CGs are killing me. <laughs> I'm not a kid. <laughs> I know you're not. Not with those uh, Bibles. Clover. The girls are developing quicker and quicker all the time. I saw a TV uh, show about it. Something about processed meat. I really don't care. <laughs> I guess you guys got the thigh cam. There you go. <laughs> the man of spaghetti does voice acting as a side job. How'd you know? Yes, guys, you got the thigh cam. There you go. Thighs. <laughs> uh, you don't care about much. You're so grumpy. Clover runs her fingers through my hair. She's smiling with her mouth full. Just like a kitty cat. There, there. If you keep that up, I'll bite you. Now, now, kinky. <laughs> I know you won't do that, my good little kitten. Don't call me that. But how can I resist when your name's Nekohime? It was a bad decision when I was 12. I think it suits you perfectly. <laughs> she continues to pat my head with her hand, running her fingers through my white curls. <sighs> I guess it feels nice. I don't want to encourage her, but her hand is kind of warm. The feeling of her palm on the top of my head is pretty nice. It's making me drift off again. My eyelashes flutter. All of a sudden, I feel so sleepy. No, this is no good. I don't. I can't let Clover see me in this delicate, defenseless state. It would ruin my reputation. Whatever little reputation I have. Alright, that's enough of that. I back Clover's hand away and slide out of bed. With a yawn, I stretch my arms into the air. And my joints click. Ah, <sighs> uh, Godzilla! <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow! Okay. Why are you up so early, <laughs> Clover? <laughs> Nekohime is an actual cat girl, probably. Isn't it obvious? Clover claps her hands. <laughs> Clover claps her hands together. She's so excited, she's practically bouncing up and down on the spot. Her... She, she bounces with her. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure if she's wearing something. If she is, I can't see... I can't see it peeking out beneath the bottom of her, her shirt. What a, what a ridiculous shirt it is. Clover is a ridiculous person, full stop. I'm excited! <laughs> Did Snow Squall Entertainment push out a new patch for Underclock? Oh my goodness. No, or, um... I don't think they did. Even if they did, it wouldn't matter. Clover is super stubborn, and she only ever plays with one character out of the whole roster. <laughs> and then she wonders why people on the internet forums poke fun at her and call her Anzo Main. Oh, are they referencing Smash Bros? That's cool. Uh, I'm excited about our new guest, of course. Ah, yes, of course, the serial killer. I don't think she's a serial killer, Nekohime. <laughs> you can never be too careful. Once, a guy asked me to repair his computer. When I was poking around in the hard drive trying to fix some malignant errors, I happened to come across some rather interesting files. Hundreds and hundreds, no, not even that, thousands of images of cute cartoon characters from children's TV anime. Pretty Honey being savaged by... Oh my gosh! <laughs> my eyes! No! Oh, Overwatch. Probably Overwatch. Yeah. It was an enlightening experience. No, no one, I not one I really want to really live. I feel sorry for whoever just joined. Yeah, I agree. Do you know what time our Steam guest is moving in? I'm not sure. Um, she said around midday. We should have plenty of time to clean this place up. You want to clean up the house for a serial killer? I thought you said she wasn't a serial killer. I mean, I don't think she is, but like you said, you can never be too careful. Don't use my words against me. I prod the tip of Clover's nose. She goes cross-eyed momentarily. Let's get something to eat first. Oh my gosh. This visual novel is something else. How far in am I? Oh, 40 minutes. Wow. Should I continue, guys? Or should I, um, 
stop for now or never play this again. <laughs> Just to let you know, this is a visual novel that parodies etchy stuff, and it's like supposed to poke fun at the whole anime tropes. And I'm enjoying that. Like the script is actually kind of clever, and I think it's funny. But man, it's it's a bit over the top. <laughs> Bruh, time flies. All right, I think I'm gonna play a little longer. I'm having a blast. All right. Surprisingly enough, Clover is a pretty decent chef. Maybe it's because she likes creating things. She makes music in her spare time. She has a pretty sizable following on Miko Miko Doga? Okay. <laughs> Never play this again, please. You're going to sh uh, Oh, yourself. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think that's why she became an elementary school teacher. She's no artist, but she likes making animals out of used toilet roll tubes and playing with finger paints even more than the kids do. That's really cute, actually. Sometimes when she comes home from work, there are splotches of acrylic paint on her fingers and cheeks. Aww. Aww, that's cute. It gets- it even gets in her hair. When I point it out, she just laughs. She's also the nurturing type, I guess. She likes taking care of people. I wonder if that's why our friendship has survived so long. Before I got this job, I was too lazy to even comb my hair or brush my teeth in the mornings. It was lucky I had Clover around, because she took care of all that boring stuff for me. Sometimes she even helped dress me. I think she enjoys it, it makes her feel wanted. And when it comes to mealtime, I really do want Clover around. Aww, the food she prepares, the fruit she prepares is always delicious. Today's breakfast is no exception. Rice porridge, cinnamon toast with apricot jam, and a side of banana slices. Wow, that's nice. That's a nice breakfast. It's super good. Like, insanely. Do you like it? I do. It's sweet enough for your discerning... Is it sweet enough for your discerning tongue? I like sweet food a lot. You know, I'm actually surprised with how this game is so ridiculously stupid, yet it's actually being really adorable at the same time and actually making me invested in these characters. <laughs> Why am I invested? That's the that's the weird thing. It's so strange. <laughs> oh my gosh. Some people can't can't get up in the mornings without a cup of coffee, but I'm the opposite. My tongue is pretty delicate, and I can't stand bitter flavors. If I could, I, li I live on diet cake, ice cream, and cinnamon toast. It's just sweet enough, I think. Great, then eat it all up, like a good girl. You need to grow big and strong. Clover is pretty nice, but I don't like it when she coddles me like this. I know that sounds hypocritical, since she's, she does most of the cooking and, uh, <laughs> and the housework. But I don't appreciate being spoken down to. Well, that's what you get for having a housewife. I mean... <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, my phone's going off. Hold on. Let me um, put it on silent. There we go. Okay. My bad. Sorry about that. I'm not one of your students. You're even naughtier than some of my students wearing the same clothes you wore yesterday. You're wearing the same clothes you wore yesterday, too. Yeah, but I didn't have a sh I didn't have to shower in them last night, unlike you. What will you do if our new tenant arrives while you're dressed like that? Your hair's all messy too, and you haven't even brushed your teeth. <laughs> you said she was going to come at midday. Plans can change. They shouldn't. If people say they're going to do something at a certain time, they should do it at that time or don't do it at all. Ugh. Wow, you're, you sound unusually heated. <laughs> it's not unusual. People never think about how much it might inconvenience others. Well, maybe they should. It, should, <laughs> it would make my life a lot easier. I've always been a stickler for keeping to schedules, but it got even worse after I got this job. Whew, okay. I can't count the number of times clients have flaked out on me. But Clover just smiles with her mouth. You're so prickly, Nekohime. You'd be prickly too if you had to work my job. Is that what you're? Is that why you're always frowning? No, my face just does this on its own. Oh dear! After I made your favorite rice porridge too. It'll take more than that to right wrongs in this world. 
Don't expect miracles, I'm a good cook, but I'm not that good. <laughs> I pout, shoveling a spoonful of rice porridge into my mouth. It's warm, every bite is filled with love and affection. It really is. Sweet. I empty the bowl in seconds, my spoon rests at the bottom. Flecked here, and there in bits of sticky rice porridge. <laughs> I yawn, pressing a hand against my mouth. Tears beat in my eyes. Now I feel sleepy. <laughs> when am I going to play The Walking Dead? I don't know, I have to get back on that. Thank you for reminding me. Glover watches me, propping her head up with a hand. Her eyes are soft and gentle. You really are like a cat, Nekohime. What do you mean? Now you've had something to eat, you want to go back to sleep. <laughs> I can't help it. I have a busy life. Uh, I'm going to try to do The Walking Dead this weekend, around like Friday or Saturday. I'll try. Clover giggles. That's not all. You always stills around in the sunshine. Your tongue's super sensitive. You get distracted by stray dust particles and you love drinking milk. You've been observing me that much? Creepy. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> okay. Yawn count 87. And you even say, Meow. When your sides get tickled. No, I do not. Yes, you do. I do not. Oh, what's this, Nekohime? Are you trying to deny the truth? <laughs> she loves drinking milk. <laughs> have you played any VR games, Spaghetti Man? I have not, but I've considered playing the, the VR FNAF game. I thought that'd be fun to try. It's not the truth. You're mistaken. That's what corrupt politicians say. I'm not a politician. Really? I'm not. I'm just a struggling computer repair woman who hates their job. <laughs> Clover's face darkens. Oh. <laughs> uh, I don't trust that expression. Is she concocting some kind of evil plan? Do you persist in your wild claims that you do not, in fact, say yeah. when you get tickled? I persist. I persist because it's the truth, and I will not st and I will stand up for all that is good and just and pure in this world. Okay, wow. <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> yeah. I squeal. Lover is standing by my side. I don't know how she got here really fast. <laughs> Her hands cup my sides. Her fingers rub against them to the thin fabric of my shirt. It's the strangest, mo it's the most intimate massage I've ever received. Ha, I knew it. Clover grins wickedly. She continues with her ministrations, pinching myself until I can feel them. Oh, wow. You do say meow when you get tickled. <laughs> okay. Uh, I should refresh the stream. It says it's not lagging for me. It might be your internet connection. Uh, I mean, this isn't being tickled. This is being attacked. But this is making you purr, my cute little kitty. I, um, yeah. Uh, Glover massages me. I feel my face getting redder and redder. So how does it feel? Glover re leans in a little close, exhaling against the inside of my ear. Should I keep going? Well, I, um... I want her to stop. This is so embarrassing. Why does she ever stop and think about how I feel? She could at least have asked first. I, I don't like it. You don't? No, please let go. Boo, that's so boring, but alright, I guess. Clover moves her hands as she's going to relinquish her hold on me when all of a sudden... <laughs> I'm so scared. It's time to stop. <laughs> there we go. Um, excuse me, is this a bad time? <laughs> wow, that was the worst timing in the world. Oh my gosh, that's so bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. My eyes 
snap open wide. So do clovers. Standing in the entrance of the kitchen with a coy little smirk on her face is our new tenant. Perfect. Okay. Uh, what's going on? I'm going to be playing this visual novel for you guys. We're going to try and do some more of this. I just had to do a quick sound check. I appreciate you being patient. Let's jump into this with our legs, gamers. Alright, uh, let's load up our save spot. <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot about the costumes in this game. The mysterious third girl. But she isn't that mysterious. Hey, you haven't been in my streams for a while? Welcome back, buddy. It's good to see you. How I'm doing? I've had a bit of a rough day, so I'm just trying to unwind with a nice stream. I know her. We've met before. Oh no, we get a, an epic flashback. <laughs> hey, Rockshell, welcome to the stream, buddy. <laughs> that was quite a greeting. The new girl sits at the kitchen table with Clover and I, a coy smile on her face. We've already done the introductions. Her name is Tus uh, Sukiko? Sukiko. But she prefers to go by her online handle, Seductress Suki. <laughs> this is the first stream you've tuned into. <laughs> Oh, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Or Suki for short. I'm gonna call her Suki. Suki coils a strand of her dark hair around her finger. <laughs> Am I doing good? I'm not doing good. We're gonna play lots of saucy games for November. Why does she look so smug? Oh, don't get the wrong idea. I'm not in a relationship with Nekohime. I, I was just, uh, teasing her a little. Don't worry, you're pretty little head about it. I wouldn't mind if you two were in a relationship, I have no problem with that, but... I understand exactly what you mean. Suki licks her lips slowly, she reminds me of a mischievous fox. Why is she licking her lips? <laughs> just... I frown. What about the explanation, do you understand exactly? <laughs> well, if I had if I had a cute housemate like you, I'd want to run my hands all over your body too. Don't even think about it. Clover is one thing, but you're a complete stranger. If you try anything funny, I'll call the police. <laughs> oh my gosh. You never have come into any of my streams? Well, welcome. I hope you have fun with this. Aw, playing favorites is so no fair. I mean, I don't want a random cat girl grabbing my spaghetti noodles either. I mean, I understand this. <laughs> Thousands of years of evolution and here we are. <laughs> you literally just got here. Sorry, but I'm the only one who can play with Nekohime. And you shouldn't push your luck either. Aw, I got scolded. Speaking of which, you were supposed to arrive midday. Why are you here so early? I don't have much stuff to bring with me, that's all. Is that why there isn't a moving truck? What, you wanted some guys in a truck to see you engage in an, uh, tender embrace with your friend? No, I do not want a group of strangers to see me in such a compromising position. One is more than enough. <laughs> Nekohime, Nekohime looks, hmm. How am I doing? Uh, I'm doing okay. Uh, I I'm gonna be okay. Uh, I should have picked a safer game. Uh, don't worry, I'm okay. This game's fine, right? I love gamers. The gamers are fine. <laughs> uh, I do think it's suspicious you don't have more belongings, though. You only brought one bag with you. That's because I'm a woman of mystery. I wonder... Is she trying to run away from something? The law, perhaps? My serial killer theory is starting to sound less and less crazy with every passing second. But Suki seems a little too bubbly for a murderer. She was like this the last time we met, too. Come on, Nekohime. Suki pouts. She reaches across the table, taking hold of my hands. Her fingernails are tipped with pink polish. The hands of a self-proclaimed seductress. You're acting so cold. <laughs> but I'm not a real stranger. We met only a few weeks ago, remember? How could I not... You know each other? Yes, it's like destiny. If you're destined to be a thorn in my side, then yes. You could say it was destiny in a sense. 
Boo, you're so mean, Nekohime. I wonder if the developers wonder what the purpose of this game is. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Spaghetto, blink twice if the heater is... <laughs> if the heater is holding you hostage, excuse me? <laughs> uh, you don't have the right to talk to me like that. Oh shoot, it's going down. Not after you fed that skein of lies to your grandmother and made my life so difficult. Excuse me, what? You gotta go do homework? Good luck, buddy. But I couldn't help it. It was funny. It wasn't very funny for me. Oh, come on. Don't be so huffy. I'm sure it at least gave you an interesting story to tell. Oh, <laughs> she's mad. I grit my teeth together. Why you? Um, excuse me, guys. You might have some shared history, but I'm totally lost here. What exactly are you talking about? Just thinking about it makes my blood boil. But I should try to calm down. <laughs> what was that trans- Oh, okay. What was that transition? Why are we flashing back to this? I imagine sitting in a sh in the sa uh, b b blah, blah, blah. imagine sitting in the shower stall. Picture a slow, steady stream of water envel enveloping my body. Water washes over my head, clinging to my hair, and sticks to my shirt. Well, yeah, I inhale, exhale, slowly. Oh, she's just trying to think of something relaxing. All right, I'm calm. Well, that's nice. I mean, who else? Don't you guys, like, shower with your clothes on? I do, too. I mean, who doesn't shower with their clothes on? You gotta be very modest. <laughs> do you remember when I went to that shrine in Asakusa a while ago? Ah, you don't mean that shrine, do you? The very one. There's an interesting story behind this. Well, it's interesting when I look back on it in retrospect. It wasn't that interesting at the time, though. It was a huge pain in the butt. Here's what happened. Oh, another flashback. Here we go. A couple of weeks ago, at the start of July, I got the call by an elderly woman who lived in a shrine in Asakusa. The shrine itself was located in a heavily forested area, and I had to walk up about one million and one stairs to get to it, which was a chore in and of itself, especially when it was so hot. Oh, it's just so hot. Mmm. I can remember how disgustingly muggy it was even now. There were so many bugs. I must have gotten stung at least a dozen times. There's something about my white skin that attracts insects. Where's part four, Neko Miko? Oh yeah, I gotta continue that. Good thinking, Jeremy. <laughs> Wait, you guys shower naked? Disgusting. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Alright, so take care. Uh, anyway, I made it to the shrine. I met the old woman who had a complaint on, uh, with her computer. She seemed like a sweet old dear, great hair tied in a bun and glasses on a string around her neck. She offered me a cup of green tea for going out of my way to see her, and some handmade strawberry uh, de fuku. They were, they were pretty nice to fuku. The old woman told me her computer wasn't working. It didn't make any noise when she tried to turn it on. I thought some wire had gotten loose or something, and maybe the machine wasn't getting any power. But it wasn't that simple. I knew it wasn't that simple in a matter of seconds. That's because of the smell. Uh, a horrible, ungodly smell, funny for a shrine, was emitting from the PC. I, 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 I don't like where this is going. I don't like where this is going. Curious and a little afraid, I open up the device. <laughs> and found stuff. Then the circuits were burnt out. <laughs> oh, jeez, I came in to say hi, and then I didn't really have time to stick around for a long time. Then I hear about... <laughs> People showering without clothes. Ew. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you for the donation, buddy. <laughs> you came in at the perfect timing. <laughs> Wait, you guys have electricity? Cringe. <laughs> oh man, the gamer gunk funk. <laughs> Some of the circuits were burnt out. Almost nothing was untouched by the foul-smelling mess. Uh, 
<laughs> okay. Oh, gosh. Uh, uh. It's like the inside of, of burst fruit. What kind of fruit would have such thick, pulpy innards? I asked the woman if she had any idea what the mess inside her computer was, and apparently being a devout uh, practitioner and an ex-shrine maiden herself, she believed her computer had a living soul that needed to be respected. The old woman had asked her granddaughter, who was a shrine maiden in training, how she would best honor her computer's soul whenever she used it, and her granddaughter told her to put a grain of rice into the CD drive every time she turned it on. The old woman had followed her granddaughter's advice diligently, never failing to give her computer a grain of rice whenever she woke it from its slumber, until the pressure of all the compacted sticky rice inside the system broke it. Oh, it's rice! Oh! It's rice! Guys, it's rice! Don't worry! Oh my gosh! Whew. Oh, it's rice! I'm so relieved! I've never been so relieved in my life! <laughs> what did you guys think it was? Thank God. This story is even more bizarre than I remember. <laughs> anyway, as I left the shrine, I happened to meet a devilish shrine maiden who had tricked her dear old grandmother. <gasps> it's, it's the kitty girl. The kitty girl tricked her grandmother <laughs> to fill her computer full of sticky rice and make it break. <laughs> I've never been so happy to know the substance of something is rice. <laughs> that shrine maiden was none other than the girl currently sitting in my kitchen. <laughs> <So stinky. laughs> this is a bra. <laughs> or she prefers to be known, Sedutrith Suki. I can't think of a better name for this piece of work. Selfish Suki. She made my job much more difficult than it needed to be. She ruined her grandma's computer with rice, that's terrible. And she didn't even apologize. Instead she laughed and asked how me <laughs> she asked me how I was getting on. Like she didn't already know. She laughed right in my face. I'd never in my whole life felt more inclined to punch somebody before. Now now I've met Suki in person, the feeling still hasn't changed. Ah, oh, they hate each other. They're gonna end up making out later, probably. <clears throat> I still don't know how this has anything to do with gaming. Where is the gaming? I want to play Smash Bros! A few days pass and the new girl seems to be fitting in. Fitting in well. At least I think she is. I've been so busy with work I haven't really been able to check. But she hasn't tried to cram uncooked rice in any of our electrical appliances, so I think we're good. You just joined what is happening. Um, we're shoving rice into computers, making them sticky. I'm keeping my eyes open just to make sure. The last thing I want is for my laptop to give up <laughs> the ghost. <laughs> what is happening? The last thing I want is for my laptop to give up the ghost like her grandma's PC. Uh, the oh, whoops, the game. There we go. I need that to. I need that for work. As for Clover, she doesn't need to work right now. School's out for the summer and it doesn't start up again until September, so she has an ample amount of time to lounge around the house playing video games. Finally! Some video games! <laughs> I, I'm happy, let's play some video games. In regards to Suki, well, I'm still not sure about her. She doesn't seem to have a job. She doesn't seem to have much stuff either. She hasn't gone back to her previous place of residence, that small shrine in Asakusa, I guess to pick up any of her possessions. I wonder if she's a shrine maiden in training. Shouldn't be shouldn't she be at her grandmother's shrine doing some training? Alright guys, how's everyone doing tonight? <laughs> you enjoying this awful stream? <laughs> How how's everybody doing? Is everyone having a great night? <laughs> you doing good? Good. I don't know how exactly shrine maidens train. But I've never seen any prospective shrine maidens training by lounging on my couch at all hours of the day, 
painting their fingernails and listening to pop music. Uh, maybe they're not as traditional as they used to be. <clears throat> Suki certainly isn't. If she was... <laughs> uh, if she was, there's no way she'd make this sudden announcement one evening. I'm glad you guys are doing well. So I was thinking, we should all make a video game. <laughs> Finally! Video games! It's gamer time! Woo! <laughs> uh... Achievement unlocked. Future plan. Yes! Got the achievement. I, be I, I beg your pardon? Wow! That's a great idea, Suki. <laughs> Isn't it just? But I have some doubts. I always have doubts. And my doubts are doubled, have doubled after coming home from work, tired and exhausted, to find Clover and Suki getting all excited in the living room. What do you mean, let's make a game? Where did this come from? It's quite simple, really. Is it now? I was talking to Clover, and she said she was your child. That it was your childhood dream to work on a video game together. Well, I guess so, but. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Lonely. I I, I feel that. Uh, I, I feel that lonely achievement. My girlfriend's off at college and I've been missing her a lot, so here I am playing anime games because I'm sad and lonely. Look in the background. I know there's DDLC in the background. This game, this is a modded game. <laughs> uh, I shoot Clover a nasty glare. She takes a few steps backwards, smiling awkwardly. What else has she been telling this new girl while I've been gone? Oh, come on. Why is Neko Hime such a jerk? <laughs> this is such a mean, such a meanie. Why stop at my childhood dreams? It's a free for all. What about the time my pet rabbit Mochi died, or the time I wet myself in elementary school, or my three, my three th sizes? Who cares about privacy anyway? We're living in the digital era now. Everything gets posted on the internet, and surveillance cam cameras keep track of our movements at all times. You aren't lonely, Spaghetti Man. You got 27 people to watch you playing anime games. Aww. I'm glad I have you guys. It makes me happy. It's just like 1984. But without the rats, hopefully. I don't think either of us have the skills required to make a video game. Really? Clover said you know all sorts of complicated coding stuff. It's not that complicated, really. I haven't been keeping up to date with the basics anyway. It must be, out it must be outdated knowledge by now. Yeah, but you seem like a smart girl. I'm sure you could catch up. I don't have the time to catch up. Unlike you, I have a full-time job. Then quit. What? I stare at her with my eyeballs. I can't quit my job. How else would I pay for the house? It'll be fine. You're a freelancer. You, you make your own hours. I'm fully booked for a week. Cancel your appointments. For how long? Indefinitely? Now, we'll make a super quick game. It'll only take a couple of weeks. Three at the most. I can't think of any games that would take such a meager amount of time to make. Brushing up on my coding syntax alone would take... You're being too serious about this, Nekohime. I am? I don't like being told that I'm too serious by a girl wearing a stupid pair of cat ear headphones. <laughs> Dang, she just got scorched! My man, anime game's coming in on the clutch. Yeah, it is. And I wear a cat ear jacket. <laughs> uh, we don't need to make anything complex. It'll be fine if we make a short, sweet, simple, narrative-focused game. Oh, you mean like a visual novel? Yeah! I love those! Exactly, those are super quick to churn out. They're popular, too. We'll be rolling in money. Yes, if everything goes according to plan, we'll be an unstoppable team. Like the wind. A tornado. A tsunami! <laughs> Definitely. Uh, Suki jumps off the couch, her pigtails, <laughs> her pigtails bounce. I'm so excited, I want to start sketching out the character designs right now. Oh, hold it. I grab hold of Suki's shoulder. Oh man, this is, this is getting intense. Like, background music this game is nice, it's just a little repetitive. <laughs> uh, oh wow, there's actually somebody in the chat called Anime Games. <laughs> That's great. I think I'm starting to get a headache. Do visual novels even count as games? Yes, they do. <clears throat> do you really want to go into this? 
Why do you why do you ask? That's a dangerous can of worms to open. It's a controversial topic. People like to argue about it a lot online. People always argue online. But they argue about this a lot. In my opinion, visual novels are games of a sort. You can make choices. Not all of them. And if you can't make choices in a visual novel, it's typically referred to as a kinetic novel. That doesn't change the basic fact that there that the user has to interact with an, elect an electronic medium to get the full experience, though. I didn't realize you were so passionate about visual novels, Clover. Well, you know, I can never refuse a cute face. So you're just in it for the adorable girls, are you? <laughs> That's right, and, um... Clover's face flushes indecently. <laughs> you know what? I think we all can agree that Clover is the most relatable character. Spaghetto has the voice of a goddess. Thank you. <laughs> and all the lewd scenes, of course. <laughs> At least she's honest about it. But I don't know if that makes it any better. I like how <laughs> this visual novel is like making a visual novel within the visual novel. Uh, My head. My head hurts. <laughs> I have a headache. You better be careful or I might have to do a hard restart on your laptop. You shouldn't download too many illegal torrents from unsafe websites. I don't torrent games, Nekohime. In fact, I've heard of the suggestion. Only vile people do that. You've wounded my pride as a gamer! Yeah, we don't pirate games. We support the developers. I bought this game. How much was this game? I'm gonna check right now. I'm going to the store page on Steam. <laughs> Let me see how much this is. Um... Oh, oh, there we go, okay. Yeah, it is... This game was $10. This game was $10, there you go. Supporting the developers. Just gave this the game developer $10 for this game when I bought it. You wounded my pride as a gamer. Visual novels still aren't games. Oh my gosh, yes they are. They are a subset of games. If point-and-click adventure stories count as games, so should visual novels. <laughs> money well spent. Well, guys, that's where you—that's where your donation, your donation money goes. Yes, but in visual novels, you only click to advance the text. That's still interaction. Turning the pages of a book is technically interaction, but nobody would call that exciting or challenging gameplay. Maybe if a visual novel had gameplay segments, it could be considered a game. But the key here would be is gameplay. Choices don't count. Especially not meaningless choices that only alter a few sentences of text at most. I feel like this game is calling out its own developers. <laughs> Just how lazy can you be? <laughs> and since when were you the arbitrator of what counts as a game, Nekohime? Since I decided to learn C++ and Java to code actual video games involving things like character stats, maps, and inventories. <laughs> Ten smackaroos! I can buy... <laughs> That's how much this game was. Uh, this is great. That's an outdated way of thinking. There's nothing wrong with the cute character designs and branching narratives. I, you know what? I agree. I agree with Clover. She's my favorite character. But there's no flavor. Listen, I bite my video games all the time. They don't have any flavor. They're not for actual consumption. There's no flavor. Flavor? It's not interesting, like making porridge and forgetting to add the sugar. Not everybody likes sugar as much as you do, Nekohime. They just don't know what they're missing out on. Anyway, Suki claps her hands together, <laughs> signaling order. It doesn't matter whether the visual novels are games or not, they're quick and relatively cheap to produce, if you keep the scale small enough. That's because they're unambitious and deri derivative. Oof. Because the focus is on the story, not the extraneous details that get in the way. Besides, visual novels are very popular at the moment, and you could sell them at Manga Market. Manga Market? You really want to go there? Why wouldn't we? It's a mecca for indie developers who want to sell their music, art, uh, doujin, doujinshi? Suki's eyes sparkle. More video games. Visual novels aren't... Visual novels are included. <laughs> I bite my lower lip. I feel like I'm flogging a dead horse here. I guess nobody cares about my opinion. Clover and Suki have already decided on their plan of action long before I got here. Listen, 
Nekohime, nobody cares about your opinion because you're not a true gamer. Get out of here. <laughs> Fun fact about flavoring games. The Nintendo Switch game cartridges are coated in flavoring. Everyone that has had, has had one should go taste their games. Uh, I disagree, chat. You should not do that. The, the Nintendo Switch games have a bitter um, encasing on the cartridges to prevent kids from eating them. So if you lick a Nintendo Switch cartridge, it'll taste really bitter and disgusting. Trust me, I know because I've done it. <laughs> I could always try to argue, but... <laughs> they would be utterly meaningless. Oh wait, as Nekohime said, these choices don't matter. They wouldn't listen to me anyway. <laughs> they taste horrible. <laughs> oh well. I sigh deeply. <laughs> I guess times are changing. Since they even let the, these so-called visual novels on the biggest online game distribu distribution website there is, Smoke, maybe my opinion doesn't matter all that much. <laughs> <sighs> I'm not gonna lick my Nintendo Switch cartridge again. I've already done that. Okay, licking the Smash Bros. cartridge was enough for me. Nobody ever thinks my opinion matters. Listen, if this visual novel doesn't have these girls licking Nintendo Switch cartridges, it's not even a true game or visual novel. Okay? That's how I feel about this. That's how I feel about this. People are the worst. Okay, fine. If you two really want to make a game, sorry. Visual novel. <laughs> Wait, you guys only eat Nintendo cartridges? Cringe. Only true gamers eat PS4 and Xbox cartridges. <laughs> You dared your friend to do it for twenty dollars? <laughs> I lick I licked a Nintendo Switch cartridge for free because my friend told me to. He got twenty dollars. <laughs> I make quotation marks with my fingers. Then you can just leave me out of it. Oh, but it won't be fun without you, Nekohime. It sounds like a pain, and I still have my job to worry about. But you don't like your job. Can't you afford to take a break just for a few weeks? Well. Come on, Nekohime, please, please, please! <laughs> it's not a game if they aren't looking their copy of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for the Nintendo Switch, with the Fighters Pass 1 and 2 now available. Make sure to pick up Minecraft Steve. Uh, <laughs> you guys only eat game cartridges, real gamers eat their entire PC. <laughs> Clover stares at me with her big round eyes, her hands clasped in front of her uh, in front of her like a prayer. It's hard to stay aloof when she's looking at me like that. My resolves crumble slowly piece by piece, like an old fruit uh, flan left in the back of a cupboard. This was our dream, wasn't it? It's been our dream ever since we were little, now we can finally make it happen. He could do the coding and writing, I could do the music, and Suki here can do the art. You can draw? A little. I've posted a ton of images onto my M-I-V-I-X-V account or whatever. They seem to get a pretty positive reception. I thought you were supposed to be a shrine maiden. I was, but living in the shrine is so boring. There's not much to do other than sweep leaves, so I started drawing digital art to keep me busy. Like you two, it's always been my dream to work on a project with other people. Like uploading my art, my art online. I always get nice comments, but... It would feel different, I think, if I could use my art to make something really special. If we could all work together, wouldn't that be wonderful? Don't you think so, Nekohime? Don't you think it would be wonderful? <laughs> uh... <laughs> Is that DDLC poster supposed to be there? No, I put it there, okay? <laughs> For the 80th time, that poster I put there. <laughs> but a visual novel? I know it's not what you're into, but you like writing stories, don't you? You always sent those poems back when you were in middle school. Don't remind me. <laughs> uh, when I was younger, I used to think that I had a talent as a writer. When I was younger, I was delusional. I can't believe I ever sent those ridiculous over-the-top poems to Clover, of all people. Once you tell Clover something, she doesn't forget it. Not ever. You might cringe now, Nekohime, but you have some serious talent as a writer. We might be able to do it if we were all together. That's right, we're going to aim for the release in time for the summer manga market. Isn't that the beginning of August? Yes, and... It's the 18th of July now. Then we'll need to get cracking two weeks or under. That's the deadline. 
And what are you planning to do with this game when you finished it? Ugh. Game. I can't believe I've already started calling this visual novel a game. Only true gamers love spaghetti. Oh, that's adorable. What happened to my moral code? My ethics. What happened to my moral code? Look at this. What I look at what I'm playing. Is this really a game? <laughs> is this? <laughs> How is this a game? Uh... My credos. We're going to sell it, of course. I booked a table at Manga Market in advance. Now I just need a product to sell there. My my, aren't we prepared? I was supposed to be working on a calendar with a doujin circle, but there was some drama and they disbanded. Aw, oh, that sucks. Even though I booked the table with my own money, and did a bunch of art already, I guess it won't get used now. I was pretty upset about it, but I'm with you guys now. Seems like a shame to let your talents in that table go to waste. Don't you think? Well, I look between Suki and Clover. <laughs> Hey, Spaghetto, I can't watch your stream until next year. Sorry, I only reminded you today without watching. Keep up with the tune. Oh, okay, um, I'll see you next year then, buddy. I hope you have a good one. Thanks for tuning in and saying hi. <laughs> Suki smiling, bouncing back and forth on <laughs> the balls of her feet. Clover stares at me, her pursed lips forming the words, please. When I see them like this, I know. I can't disappoint Suki. I don't want to let Clover down. I don't want to disappoint, uh... Clover. Clover's my best friend. Not just like that, she's my only friend. I've known Clover for ten years, and in all this time, she's never let me down. When my past rabbit, Mochi, died when I was in the middle school, Clover was the one who comforted me. She was always there whenever I needed somebody to vent to, or, shoulder, or a shoulder to cry on. And she's right. Making a game together always was our dream. Though our dream has been downgraded somewhat from a game to a visual novel, I don't want to split hairs. Not now. Not when she looks so excited. Working on a small project might be fun, even if we have such a tight deadline. It's a lot of work, but... Alright, fine, I'll do it. I knew you'd come to the right decision. Yay, Nekohime, I love you! <laughs> Aww, that's adorable. Women bouncing on the balls of their feet is really cute. It's just so cute. So saying the two girls <laughs> so saying the two girls embrace me in a warm tight hug. Aw. Uh what? Yeah. Oh, you meow like a cat. How cute. <laughs> I don't <laughs> I hate this game. <laughs> I don't meow. <laughs> she meows even more if you rub her under the chin and pat her head. Oh, really? How interesting. Clover, no. Don't give her any more ammunition. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I, how did you go from me just thinking girls are cute to me liking feet? I do not. <laughs> I do not. The embrace is much too warm for my liking, and there are way too many elbows jab jabbing me in the sides. But I don't pull away. Not now. How could I when for the first time in forever? Uh, <laughs> it, feel, it feels my dull, boring life might be going somewhere. Aw. Okay, Spaghetto, real talk. You're, the, you're most likely the most funny person on the whole platform. Aw, really? That's so sweet, Josh. I appreciate it, buddy. I, I'm just having fun being myself, you know? Just having fun. Later that evening, I find myself stand standing outside Clover's bedroom. Oh boy. The sauce. Clover Clover always barges into my room whenever she feels like it. She rarely knocks. She's not knocking she's not the knocking kind of person. She's walked in on me getting changed more times than I can count. By this point, I've almost gotten used to it. Almost. I, unlike Clover, am not a brute. I actually care about manners, and that's why I knock on the door. I wouldn't want to walk in on my best friend in a compromising position. That would be the height of rudeness. Hey, Clover? Clover! Clover! Are you busy? Nah, it's fine. Clover's voice calls to me, slightly distorted through the door. Are you sure you're decent? As decent as I'll ever be. <laughs> I don't- I don't trust this. Every anime ever is like, Hey, uh, can I come in your room? Are you decent? And then they go in and they're like, Ah! Oh my goodness, it's a person that's not dressed! Ah. 
which coming from Clover isn't decent at all. She's the most shameless person I know. <laughs> this is sus. This is mad sus. <laughs> you can come in whenever, Nekohime. I don't have anything I want to hide. If you want to be respectable, you should try and hide some things. <laughs> like I've ever cared about any of that. Believe me, I know. Just let yourself in. You don't need to be so formal. I'm trying to be polite. Manners don't cost anything. We don't need manners. Our friendship trans trans <laughs> transcends silly societal norms like that. Yeah, yeah. I guess you did uh, grope, my grope me a few days ago. I push open the door and... <laughs> I don't trust this. I don't trust this. Without further ado, I push op I push open the door gently and <laughs> I'm so glad I censored that. <laughs> that is a mighty fine bowl of macaroni right there. I thought you said you were decent. Um... <laughs> huh? Clover glances over her shoulder at me. This isn't decent? Not at all. Clover is lying on her bed with her butt angled towards the door, her hips raised. <laughs> Since her skirt is so short, I have a rather generous view of her. Lovely. Her thighs are thick, and they bulge over the top of their socks. Ah oh, yes, thick thighs. Awesome. What did I join to? <laughs> that is the best pasta I have ever seen. That looks delicious. For some reason, she's wearing a pair of striped pasta. Very, very flimsy striped pasta. The fabric is so thin, I'm sure they can't even be called pasta anymore. It seems like a miracle their even function is intended. Well, <laughs> where are these ever even intended to function after? Oh, wow. I can see more of you than I would like to. Oh, Nekohime, you're no fun. I'm just being sensible. Boo, so boring. Glover shifts. She waves her behind. Her thighs jiggle in an, uh, a strangely appealing manner. Ah, yes. This is a great video, you know, just jiggly thighs. Stop that. Stop what? That. Clover shifts again. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Can I just... Can I just end everything? I'm just- I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. This is not okie dokie. I think you know exactly what I mean. Nope! Why don't you tell me, Nekohime? Oh no, I'm not playing this game. I take a seat beside Clover on the bed. The mattress sinks beneath my weight. I'll just change the subject. That's for the best. Uh, what are you looking at? Oh, this? Clover glances back at the screen out of her laptop. A coy smile on her face says a flicker. I was doing some research, you know. Research? That's right, since we decided we're going to make a game. A visual novel isn't a... Alright, alright, we've been through this. Can we move on with our lives? If we must. Anyways, I was researching some of the most popular visual novels. I wanted to see what elements we should include in to really sell ours, you know? Uh, and what did you discover? The data I got was pretty useful. You'll never guess, but apparently the most popular kind of visual novel is... Clover drums her fingernails against her keyboard. Is she trying to build some sort of suspense? So, guys, what do you think the most popular uh, type of visual novel is? What do you think? <laughs> uh, what do you guys think? I think wholesome visual novels are popular, right? Yeah, I, I think wholesome. The spicy kind. Of course. What a surprise. Yeah, I could have guessed as much. So what? <laughs> Are you suggesting we sell softcore uh, spicy now? It's just an idea. It might be kind of fun. But you, um... I fiddle with the hem of my skirt. You want me to do the writing, don't you? Yeah, so? So, um, I've never written... stuff before. I've seen a lot of it in my life. I'm almost immune to still images on the computer screens, but actually creating it myself? All the gasping? All this. Oh boy. All the. <laughs> I hate this game. 
Why do I torture myself with these? Could I do that? I don't know. I don't know if I want to find out either. My parents are pretty strict. I think they flip out if they knew I... Their beloved, their beloved only daughter, dear little Seo, was even contemplating working on a spicy visual novel. <laughs> Still, I'm an adult now. I can make my own decisions. But do I really want to do this? <laughs> are you shy, Nekohime? Oh, wow. Anyways, th that's not it. I just, um, I need to think about this a little. Do some calculations. You mean read some spicy? Maybe. I have a lot of good visual novels I could lend you. I think I have a very... <laughs> I think we have very different definitions on the word good. Oh, well. Uh, suit yourself. Clover smiles and sticks out her tongue. It might be a bit too spicy for you anyway. Eh... <sighs> You guys are going to summon YouTube if you keep freaking out in chat. YouTube's going to freak out on me. Just what sort of stuff are you even into? Uh, I like pasta, I like uh, spaghetti, I like ravioli, linguine, uh, fettuccine. Nothing too outrageous. <laughs> but that little snicker leads me to believe otherwise. Uh, why am I asking about Clover's spicy preferences anyways? This isn't a typical conversation friends have. Is it? Ravioli is good. We eating good tonight. Yeah, really, ravioli's delicious. I don't know how I'd feel comfortable writing anything too explicit. Oh, don't worry about that. But isn't that what people like? Some people, sure. But there's already a lot of super hardcore stuff um, out there. I mean, that is true. A lot of people just like the more, like, uh, teasing visual novels. Um, or just genuinely bad visual novels like this one with teasing. Like, this one's genuinely bad. I personally censored the CGs myself. We'd be, we can we'd be competing against some big, well-known names if we tried to do anything too crazy. I think light, a light and fluffy visual novel with some tasteful scenes could do pretty well, if backed by a competent artist. Yeah, I agree. I like mac and cheese, too. <laughs> ravioli, ravioli, what's in the pocket -oli? What are you suggesting, exactly? Oh, you know. <laughs> I don't even want to know what she's looking at on her computer now that I'm taking a gander at that. Anyways, Clover shifts. It would be weird if it didn't. Some, some things, uh, not too lewd. Some, you know, spicy shots, cute girls aimed towards the camera, not too subtle, but not entrances or, you know, spicy things, you know, even blah, 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 petals. I scrunch up my nose. We need to build up the scenes, you know, there's a bit of light titillation there at first. It should probably be sexy, but cute at the same time. Wide eyes and cute smiling faces, innocence, you know. Ravioli is pretty neat. I haven't had ravioli in a really long time. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I hate myself. Then I could use you as then could I use you as a reference? That's a good idea. You're smart, Nekohime. Not really, I just want to use whatever resources I have. Hey. Clover pouts. I'm more than just a resource, you know. I know, you're a valuable member of the team. Anyway, thanks for all the advice. No problem. It's always a pleasure discussing business with you, Nekohime. Oh man, is this demonetized? Probably, you know, probably. I'm just gonna thank Braxton for the donation. <laughs> I'm getting hungry. I'm like, they're like, I, I see cute anime girls and I just want pasta now. <laughs> Clover slides off the bed and gets to her feet. She takes my hand in hers. Her palms are soft and warm. Cool. Uh, return. I know, with you by my side, this project will get finished in time. Why do you think that? You're like, super reliable. Aw, even though I can't cook or clean? Or take my clothes off when I get into the shower? <laughs> <laughs> what is this game? What? Uh, those are just minor points. When it comes to deadlines, you're awesome. Being with you fires me up, Nekohime. You bring out the best in me. Since you're always serious, I feel like I should get serious too. We can do it. Being with you inspires me too. I glance down at my feet. I don't know why, but for some reason I'm blushing. Being with you inspires me, Clover. Oh, that's so cute. What, really? That's right, um, I wasn't too sold on the idea at first, but now I can tell you're taking it seriously, so. I'm going to take it seriously too. Wow, her character just 360'd in three seconds. She changed completely. She literally walked into a room, saw Clover's ravioli, and said, 
I'ma make this super spicy visual novel. <laughs> this writing is like a writing project you do in middle school. I agree, chat. Let's make the best visual novel we can. Uh, I'm just- wait, can you guys even see my mouse? I'm curious. Are you able to see my mouse on screen? Oh, you can. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna... Boop! I booped her nose, that's adorable. That's right, let's do it! So, so saying, Glover punches her fist in the air. I punch my fist in the air too, though with a little less energy. I'm not exactly the hot-blooded we can do it uh, try type. I rarely use exclamation marks when I talk, and I never use them when I type. But, for some reason, when I'm a Clover, I think I really can make this work. No, not just me. We. We'll make this work together. This is really sweet. That's sweet. It's just, it's just really cringy, but it's it, it's cringy sweet, you know, guys? It's cringy wholesome, right? <laughs> Godzilla! Hey! And the following day... <laughs> Oh my gosh, anyways. <laughs> I feel like death. Um, wow, that's interesting. I yawn running a hand through my hair. Need some, I need some sugar desperately. I feel like I'm going to collapse without it. I spent most of last night researching visual novels and playing a couple bar I borrowed from Clover to get a feel for it. I right-click through so many Sakura stories. I think I could see cherry blossoms blooming behind my eyelids every time I blink. I yawn, throw on my clothes, and leave the room. Well, anyways, that was, uh, something. <laughs> uh, but on my uneasy way to the kitchen, I happened to run into an interesting sight. Oh, hey, look! She's so cute. Look at how she's working. That's actually just a really cute CG. Wow. Hey, Nekohima. Good morning. Nekohime, good morning. It's Suki. I really like how Suki looks, but man, she's kind of a jerk. <laughs> She's reclining on the couch in the living room, she, as she's so prone to doing. Suki's back is resting against a red cushion. Her legs are pulled up, and there's something resting in her lap. A tablet? I creep closer despite my initial misgivings and my intense craving for sugar. What are you doing? I'm glad you asked. I'm sketching out character designs for our project. Designs? Mm-hmm. They've got to be cute girls, of course. That's what sells. I mean, unless you're a genius like Araki. Did you have a talk with Clover? That's right, her insight was incredibly useful. So it really is going to be a spicy visual novel. <laughs> tut tut. Suki clicks her tongue against the roof of her mouth playfully. <laughs> it isn't just a spicy visual novel, silly Nekohime. No? No, we're going to offer our beloved readers a unique experience. They'll be able to form close personal bonds with an array of cute, interesting girls with adorable quirks. And then their relationship has reaches Zenith, they can finally express their love one another intimately, without using words. Oh, that's sweet. It'll be a beautiful experience. Achingly so. That's what you say, but we have less than three weeks to write this epic story. So? I don't think there'll be enough time to create a story realistically portraying the consummation of the slow-burning relationship. Then I'll have to make sure the girls are really, really cute. <laughs> that should hook up the readers, <laughs> if the story can't. I sigh. It's nice to know that. <laughs> it's nice to know, though, the medium is called visual novel, and the novel part is entirely secondary. <sighs> oh wait, where's the plot? <laughs> there is none. I agree. <laughs> uh, well, it does come second in the name. Do people really care about the writing at all? I mean, I do. Maybe the cute and colorful images of big-eyed girls with large stuff is the real draw that's supposed to <laughs> in these supposed novels. Nah, you, nah, 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 nah. It's her cute little nose. Boop. Speaking of which, can I look at the designs you're working on? Of course. Come closer. Um, I'm gonna double check and make sure her designs are okay to show on stream. <laughs> Okay, uh, hold on, let me, let me just, let me make sure that th these are safe. I come a little closer and peer over Suki's shoulder, blinking expectantly at her tablet screen. And when I do, ah, all my grumpy thoughts are blown away, like a spring breeze running through the petals of a cherry blossom tree. These designs really are cute. Okay, okay, it's wholesome, it's wholesome, it's staying wholesome. There we go. <laughs> Anyways... 
There are three girls on the screen. One of them looks sleepy and disinterested, with long hair and glasses. The other has a lively vibe about her, with a messy ponytail and a bright smile. The third, meanwhile, looks shy and demure, with long black hair and brown eyes. To cap it off, she's wearing a shrine maiden outfit, a traditional Japanese beauty. There's a nice selection of girls here. Mm-hmm. I tried to make each girl a target-specific, uh, audience. <laughs> audience? Yep. Here we, here we have a cold, emotionless girl. She taps the first sketch. And this is the energetic, cheerful girl. She taps the second one. And this is the pure, innocent type. She taps the third. Hey, Nekohime. <laughs> Suki sets her tablet, uh, to the side and rises from the couch. She's looking at me quizzically. What? Which girl is your favorite? Uh, um... You want to know my type? Oh, don't look so shocked. It's nothing perversed. I just want to know which character design is the most aesthetically pleasing to you. All artists need feedback so they can improve. <laughs> oh, no. Yes, yeah, so we need to be family friendly on this channel. Well, if you want feedback, then... The All right, boys, which girl are we going for? Which girl do you think? <laughs> which girl do you think I should pick? The emotionless girl, energetic girl, or the shrine maiden? I don't know, I'm kind of going for emotionless girl. Everyone wants a goth girlfriend, right? Right or no? I don't know. Oh, I forgot about <laughs> Nekohime's, uh, what are these, thigh highs? Those are adorable. Shrine maiden, energetic, energetic. Okay, I'm seeing two energetics. Hmm. I'm vibing. I'm, I'm vibing. Okay, two for Shrine Maiden as well. I guess nobody wants the goth girl like me. That's sad. <laughs> goth girl needs love. Okay, Shrine Maiden it is. I like the Shrine Maiden. Oh, you like- Oh, no. <laughs> we made a mistake! <laughs> Suki is a Shrine Maiden. Oh, no, we made a mistake! No! <laughs> She looks very elegant and traditional. She has the prettiest design. So, uh, do you like traditional girls? I guess. I don't like people who are too no too noisy. What about Clover? Clover is the exception, not the rule. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyways, the Shrine Maiden, huh? Suki t tips her head to one side, examining her character sketches. I never been able to act like that. It was why my grand it was what my grandmother wanted, but Well that's not important. What's important is how attractive these designs are. Are you trying to appeal to as many people as possible? That's right. If all your heroines are have similar personality traits, it minimizes the number of people your story will attract. If you give them a variety of traits, you can gather more attention. But if you have too many disparate elements in a story, it can, just see it can just seem jumbled and messy. You're right. If the character designs are too different, the girls won't fit the same setting. You need to make them different, but there also needs to be a few common traits to ground them into the story's universe. Oh, hey, Kyle. Welcome to the stream. Character design is really, really important, you know. You have to express a lot in only a few strokes. The designs, te the designs telegraph to the audience what the characters will be like, and what the tone of the visual novel will be before they read the first word. I see. When Suki talks about drawing, she gets really fired up. Her eyes even start to glitter. I guess she must care about drawing a lot. I thought she was just messing around at first, but... She really is talented, and she's passionate to boot. It's not very hard to find passionate people, and, though it's rarer, there are quite a lot of talented people in the world, too. But finding people who are both passionate about a project and talented enough to see it through to the end? That really is rare. But something about these sketches is bugging me. The girls you drew look kind of familiar- Oh my gosh. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Eehehe, <laughs> well... Eehehe, well... I tend to take inspiration from my surroundings. I think that's how all artists are. Maybe, but they really are similar. The first girl is spinning a spinning image of me. The second looks just like Clover. And the third, however, she seems like the odd one out. I gesture towards the sketch of the demure shrine maiden. 
Well, as an artist, it's also my duty to embellish reality here and there. It'd be boring if I just stole if I just stole designs wholesale. I suppose so. But the gears inside my mind are turning. <laughs> oh wow. Anyway, <laughs> that night I find myself playing another another entry of the Sakura series. They really are shilling their own games. This time, Sakura Angels. I've played that one. I literally played that visual novel on the channel! <laughs> it was wild! <laughs> it's a rather cute and lighthearted story about a boy who finds two attractive girls that have the same- that, this, that, this, that have to save him from malignant threat lurking from the shadows. It's not particularly deep, but the character designs are charming, so is the voice acting. I wonder if we should include voice acting in our visual novel. They literally are self-promoting their other game, that's hilarious. But maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. That would increase the production t time, and I haven't even started to write yet. Besides, who would do the voices anyways? Oh, YouTube, I promise that the this is a bikini. It's a bikini, YouTube. Don't kill me, please. Clover, Suki, me? There's no way. I had to voice- if I had to voice any lewd dialogue, I'd die of embarrassment. <laughs> I yawn, pressing a hand against my mouth. Tears bead into the corners of my eyes. You walked in on Spaghetto playing a fun game. Yeah, I'm having fun. <laughs> she's about to go swimming. YouTube, she's about to go swimming. What time is it anyway? Ah, the clock in the right-hand corner of my laptop displays the numbers in stark detail. 2.34 a.m. Time to get some rest. No same person should be playing spicy games this late at night, even if it is a relatively tame one, as far as spicy games go. It's more tasteful than some of the things I've been unfortunate enough to witness in my life. First, however, I think I need something to drink. Something with a lot of sugar. Can't wake up in the mornings without sugar, and I can't get to sleep at night without it either. That's really unhealthy. Hot hot chocolate sounds pretty good. Pretty good. Girl, how are you so thin? That's so unhealthy. I want you to take care of yourself, please. Alright, it's time to go on an adventure. A Sakura adventure, if you will. Will you stop shilling your other games, please? I have my game... <laughs> I save my game and close it down. The cheery music cuts out instantly. <laughs> oh, she just threw on her... <laughs> okay. That is adorable. You cannot change me otherwise. That is just adorable. Then I retrieve my jacket from the floor and slide my arms through the holes. I just don't feel comfortable leaving my room without my jacket. It's important to me. I get out of bed and leave my room. Guess what? Someone's gonna find her in the kitchen, literally in her bikini. I walk down the stairs and wend my way through the lounge. Ah, my bare toes curl against the wooden floor. It's kind of chilly though. It's in the middle of the summer. The fabric on my uh, bikini bites into my skin. My uh, bikini is a little too small for me. But who cares about that? It's not like I'm a fashion model anyway. Life's too short to buy underwear that fits. <laughs> What does that even mean? What does that even mean? Life is too short to buy underwear that fits? <laughs> uh, that's gonna be the title. <laughs> to buy underwear that fits. That's the title of the game, the, the this episode now. <laughs> I make my way to the kitchen. I push open the door without any real expectations. Ah! And that's why I'm so surprised when I walk in on such an unusually intimate scene. What time is it? Oh, 25 minutes, exactly. <laughs> I hate this game. We really did leave off on a horrible cliffhanger, didn't we? <laughs> and that's why I'm so surprised when I walk in on such an unusually intimate scene. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> I did not expect that. <laughs> wow, um... Achievement unlocked. Caught red-handed. They're making out in the kitchen. Wow. Um, 
Suki has Clover pinned against the fridge. Their eyes are both closed, their cheeks flush, and they... They... Their lips. They're kissing. It looks like quite a passionate kiss, too. It must be, or they would have noticed me by now. I... Soft, soft gasps fall from their open mouths, but these noises smothered by their own exploring, invading tongues. Suki pulls back for a few moments, her eyes her eyes half-lidded with lust. Ah, Clover, you're so cute. And then she dips her head, her fingers dinging, digging a little more tightly into Clover's forearms. She melts their lips together again. Their mouths are open. It looks like a deep kiss. It's deeper even than the one before. I don't know much about kissing, but even I can tell how passionate this is. <laughs> you know, honestly, out of all the things I could have walked in on, a kiss isn't really that bad. I mean, sure, like, oh wow, it's 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 oh, it's a kiss. They're kissing, but eh, it's not that bad. I mean, I've seen worse. I've seen worse. Clover is squirming helplessly. I've never seen her like this before. She's usually so brash and bold, but now... Now she looks like an innocent, helpless maiden. That's cute. That's pretty cute. <laughs> the gasps fall from the, her lips, muffled by Suki's mouth, are so sweet. Just like honey. Suki pins Clover's hands against the fridge. Her nails bite into her skin. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I agree with Nora. I guess he's right. We've all seen worse. I mean, yeah, this isn't really that bad. <laughs> it's kind of sweet, actually. It's it's weird that they're that it's the strangers kissing, but it's not that bad. <laughs> uh, the, the chest is pressed together, so close there isn't an inch of space between them. It must be warm. It looks warm. Maybe that's why Clover, Clover's face is heating up. Her skin, which is usually tan from her childhood, spent. Exploring Anna Mori's countryside is turning red. Just as red as her hair. <laughs> Suki, you're, you're so insistent. Because you're so adorable. Aww. <laughs> oh, um, welcome to the stream. <laughs> welcome to the stream. <laughs> Are you saying that this is my fault? Mmm, when I'm with you, I just can't help myself. Suki presses their mouths together once more. With so much force, Clover's head is pushed back against the fridge. <laughs> just kisses her so hard, just bonk. <laughs> Clover makes noises. Well, they certainly seem to be enjoying themselves, but... But... Why are they doing this? Why are they doing this in my kitchen? <laughs> I just wanted a snack. Why are they making out in front of the fridge? I'm hungry. It's... It's not fair. Why does my chest hurt so much? Oh, did she like- did she have feelings for Clover? Does she feel portrayed because they- she like deep down had feelings for Clover? If so, that's kind of sad. It doesn't bother me that they're both girls. I'm not like my parents. This isn't an issue. I'm not even upset that Clover has found herself a girlfriend. Is that what you call it? It seems a bit hasty to me, since we've only known Suki for a few days, but Clover is quite impulsive. I just wish... <laughs> I just wish Clover had told me about all of this. We're supposed to be friends, aren't we? Best friends. We tell each other everything. Most things. So why? Why did she hide this from me? Why have I been left out? <laughs> it's like high school all over again. Strange, shy, silent Seo, who couldn't take any part of clubs, she always had to go cram for school, and was never invited to anybody's house, or never invited anybody to her house because her parents were so strict. <laughs> that emoji is so cursed! Why? I hate that so much! Not that anyone else <laughs> would have wanted to go. <laughs> I can't, that emoji's so bad. <laughs> Roommates kiss Nekohime, they are dating now. <laughs> Who will want to be friends with a person like me? Maybe not even Clover. Not even she likes me. Not as much as she likes Suki. Am I being replaced? Last time I checked, friends don't make out. 
I don't know, I could be wrong, but... Last time I checked, friends don't make out, right? Chat, uh... Do you make out with your friends? Do you? Like, I need to know this. This is... This is important information, because... I, I don't know if that's very normal. <laughs> I sniff. It takes me a few moments to realize my eyes are damp. Aw, she's crying. Oh, yes, of course, if it's consensual. Consent is always the most important thing. Only with socks on. <laughs> Heck no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, the general consensus from you guys is that you don't make out with your friends. Got it. Except for Spaghetto Team. Good to know, I guess. My throat feels tight. I wipe my eyes with the backs of my hands. I can't help myself. I have no other choice. I wipe them again and again, trying to stem the flow of bitter, betrayed tears, and then... Oh boy. She got caught. Ah. Uh, it's Clover. She's broken apart from Suki's embrace. She's looking at me, her eyes wide with shock. Her lips look, her lips look a little swollen. It must be from all that kissing. <laughs> Nekohime, I, I didn't know you were here. Um, I hope we didn't surprise you. It, it, it was quite the surprise. <sighs> oh, thank you, Windows Virus Protection. It's letting me know that this video game I'm playing isn't a virus. Thank you. I'm sorry, don't take it too seriously. Don't take it seriously? It was just a bit of fun. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> sorry, sorry, let me get this straight. Uh, last time I checked, there's nothing straight about any of this. <laughs> I find you two making out in my kitchen, but I'm not supposed to take it seriously. Hey, it's not just your kitchen. I, I pay rent too. The house was bought under my name, but that isn't even the point. You, I... Calm down, Nekohime. You're ruining a pretty face if you scowl like that. Pretty, oh my gosh. She's gonna rip her throat out. Oh boy, she, she angry. She angry. If I'm so pretty, why have I never been kissed before? Well, my best friend and my new tenant are busy locking lips against the fridge. <laughs> she doesn't mean it. She can't mean it. She's trying to be nice because she pities me. Well, I don't want her pity. I don't need it. S stop it. Stop what? Don't. Don't make fun of me. I wasn't. Don't call me pretty. We both know the truth. I I'm going to my room. Don't you dare bother me. Hey, Nekohime. Clover calls after me. She sounds frantic. It stirs my heartstrings a little. Of course it does. I know I'm overreacting. I'm whining like a little kid, but... I can't help myself. My eyes still feel wet. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> this dialogue is something. <laughs> what do you guys think of this dialogue? It's quite the it's quite the story, right? This is quite the story. It's not fair. I curl up on my bed, clutching my pillow to my chest. I squeeze it so tightly it would probably cry if it could. It's a good thing pillows aren't sentient beings. Otherwise, I'd be convicted of murder. <laughs> what is this dialogue? My brain hurts. I'm gonna let you guys know that there's a sequel to this game. There is a sequel. <laughs> I, I, I figured this out. Uh, they made a sequel to this. I cannot believe it. I suspected Suki of being a murderer before she arrived. I was just exagger exaggerating, but now I see my concerns weren't too far off the mark. How is Suki a murderer? She's just making out with your best friend. You dare me to play the sequel? Why do you want me to play the sequel? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. She is a murderer. She hasn't murdered any living flesh and blood creatures, at least I hope not. It's more intangible than that. She's murdered my emotions. I can't believe it. I let her into my house on short notice, though she doesn't have a job, and she brought hardly any belongings with her. And I even went along with a stupid idea to make a visual novel. I was starting to get excited about it, too. And then... Then she betrays my trust, tenuous, tenuous though it was, by making out with my best friend. In the kitchen, no less. Against the fridge. <laughs> Nekohime didn't even get her snacks! 
title idea. <laughs> Nekohime kills her pill pillow and gets arrested. Uh, she didn't even get her snacks. That's so sad. Aren't there more romantic places <laughs> for a trace like that? Places we don't store raw meat and or onions would be a good start. Places where I don't go to get sweet snacks in the middle of the night would be even better. That fridge has seen some things. Yeah, rest in peace the hot chocolate she wanted. If they had to do it, why'd they do it in the kitchen? They were, tr were they trying to show off? Th did they want me to see? This is a weird conversation. <laughs> I, no, probably not. Clover can be kind of thoughtless sometimes, she's, but she's not malicious. She's just airheaded. She probably wasn't thinking. She must have gotten caught up. She gets swept up easily. She's sort of she's the sort of person who always cries during Delsny movies. <laughs> Delsny movies, okay. What about Suki? Why did she uh, kiss Clover? I'm not sure. I don't know Suki well enough. I can't read her at all. Her motives are a complete mystery to me. I hug my pillow a little tighter. All I know is just like usual, I've been left alone. Uh, I blink. There's somebody outside my door. Hey, Nekohime? Can I come in? Clover's voice trails away into non-existence. She sounds more hesitant than usual. Maybe it's because I stormed off unexpectedly. Say no, please say no. <laughs> oh my gosh. The hotto meter is at an all-time high. Yeah, of course, that's why you're daring me to play the sequel. You guys enjoy this. How dare you? Did I worry her? I, um, I know what you said back then must have surprised you, but if you want, I could always explain. Will you let me in, Nekohime, please? Well, I feel my resolve wavering. I told myself I didn't want to see Clover's face again, but she sounds so earnest I feel bad turning her away. Do I get the option to say no? Also, um, I hear the sound of a rustling bag. I went to the 24-hour convenience store. I picked up some snacks for you just to say sorry. I've got some pockin and those chocolate mushrooms you like so much, and your favorite milk pudding too. Oh no, she's trying to bribe us, boys. She's trying to bribe us with food. Oh no. <laughs> it's like someone walks in on me playing this. Uh, I can explain. Oh, whoops, I accidentally closed chat out. Hold on. There we go. Oh, my ears perk up. My mouth salivates. Milk pudding. A girl can never say no to milk pudding, even in the middle of the night. Especially in the middle of the night. Alright, fine. No, we got bribed! Dang it, I wanted her to say no. I sigh, setting my pillow to one side. I can see... I can see when I've been defeated. You can come in. Yay! And with that, this cheery ex... And with this cheery exclamation, Clover pushes open my bedroom door. Why did we need a transition for that? Why couldn't Clover just appear from the side of the screen? <laughs> that kissing was so sudden, and we just wanted hot chocolate and noodles. <laughs> I agree. So, I licked the last vestiges of milk pudding off the plastic spoon and set it back in the cup. You knew Suki already? That's right. I said she was a stranger, but, um... That actually isn't true. We've been playing this MMO together for a couple of years, so I know her pretty well. And why didn't you tell me that? Well, you know, I thought you might get jealous. I do not get jealous. <laughs> this, this game is a disaster. This game is a disaster. <laughs> yes, you do get jealous. How can so much drama happen in the span of, like, being locked in a house for a couple days? Girls. Girls just dr drama. That's all I have to say. You totally do. You're jealous right now, aren't you? Well... <laughs> I puff out my cheeks. Clover giggles and prods my right cheek with her finger. I bat her hand away, but it's only half-hearted. We went for noodles and got kissing. Thank you, chat. <laughs> What is up with the designs? I, I, I have no idea. It's too late at night for all this drama. You know what? I agree. I'm tired. Okay. 
After consuming all those pocket sticks, the chocolate mushrooms, which aren't real mushrooms by the way, and finishing it off with a cup of milk pudding, I'm feeling satisfied, satiated, and sleepy. <sighs> I thought I thought if you knew I had other net friends besides you, you'd feel, I don't know, like you weren't my number one anymore. I I'm not that attached to you, Clover, Clover you idiot. She's lying, and you want to know how I know she's lying? Because I can relate. <laughs> I definitely re relate to Nekohime. I, I get that. I understand. Of course you can have other friends. I'm, I'm not going to stop you from having friends, but... Kissing her in my kitchen. <laughs> I thought when I bought this I was going to get gamer girls. But instead we get this. We were lied to. Our kitchen. Whatever. Kissing her in the kitchen is taking a bit far, isn't it? Well, hee I guess it's- I guess that's not the kind of things friends usually do. No, it's definitely not. Yeah, I asked chat. Chat said they don't usually make out with their best friends or friends in general, so... I get that. But it's- but just because we were kissing doesn't mean I like you any less. You're like really special to me, Nekohime. You're one of the first friends I ever made online, and you're the best. But I'm weird and grumpy. I mean, you pretty you are pretty weird and grumpy. You might be weird and grumpy, but I think it's charming. Because you want to look after me, right? Exactly. Speaking of which, Clover leans forward, her fingers brushed against my cheek. I blink. What is it? You had some pudding on you, right there, but I've got it. Clover shows me the fingertip of her right hand. There's a small smudge of light brown pudding residue resting there. Thanks for the food. Clover pops the piece of leftover pudding in her mouth. I pull a face. Gross. That wasn't gross. That was cute. <laughs> that was cute. Of <laughs> Look at that chat. Of course we don't make out with our friends. Friends are friends. <laughs> While they were having this conversation, Nekohime couldn't be bothered to put on clothes. Yeah, she mentioned earlier in the game how she got uncomfortable with Clover seeing her like this. But I, I don't know anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Stop with that kissing emoji, I hate that. Don't be like that, Nekohime. This is just how girls bond. So when when you were kissing Suki, were you just bonding? <laughs> well, about that. Suki is quite, um, open about how she expresses her feelings. Well, I could see that for myself. She couldn't keep her hands off of you. Or her tongue out of your mouth. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I don't know if she takes that seriously, really. It's just, it's just a bit of fun. So we invited your online friend over so you could two have wild spicy in my house. Oh, whoops. Clicked out of the game. N no. <laughs> By the way, guys, I'm just letting you know, my channel isn't really for kids. It's more for, like, <laughs> teenagers and especially older teenagers with some of these visual novels. I do censor myself and I censor the games, but that's about it. Except for the Among Us streams, I can't really censor that because I have other guests, so... I mean, it's my house, too. Uh, whatever. You can do what you want. You're both adults, after all. You say that, but... Are you absolutely sure you're not jealous, Nekohime? Jealous? Not a bit. Because, though, I was kissing Suki, I love you a lot. Uh, really? Oh my gosh, I'm having an aneurysm. <laughs> we are all men and women of culture. <laughs> Someone sent a, sent a foot in a boji, and YouTube flagged it, and I have to decide whether or not I want to show or hide it. I'm not going to show that. <laughs> That's right. I'd have kissed you a lot sooner if I thought you liked me. You know I like you, idiot. Otherwise, I wouldn't let you hang around me so much. No, 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 I don't mean like that. I mean, do you like like me? Well, oh my gosh, are we fifth graders? <laughs> I want to cry. <laughs> this is pain. This is pain. People are weird to create these types of games, so the only reason this game exists is for money. <laughs> it's fun to have spicy scenes in your friend's kitchen. Right! 
My face flushes. I bow my head, hiding behind the folds of my hood. Do I like like her? What does she even mean? Suki is more my type? What on earth? Why is that a choice? <laughs> I do like you, Clover. I like you a lot. Huh? Clover stares at me. It's her turn to look startled. I mean, she literally bursted into tears when she saw Clover kissing Suki. I'm gonna assume that she likes Clover. Clover stares at me. It's her turn to look startled. You mean... You, um... <laughs> I hate this. I hate this game. This is Big Brain 2000 IQ writing. <laughs> she giggles coyly, pressing her fingertips together. You like me... You like me as you'd like a, a whammon? No, I like you as i like a typewriter. Of course I like you as a whammon, you moron. How else am I supposed to like you? As a duck? <laughs> you don't need to get so defensive, you know. I'm not! You are. You always get snippier when you're embarrassed. Well, I... I paused. I'm not sure how I feel. I like you, um... When I saw you with Suki, it... It didn't make me feel good. I didn't have much experience, um... I curl my fingers into fists and inhale deeply. But I do like you. Maybe as a friend, maybe more. Oh, Nekohime, you are really cute. Y you think so? Totally. Eh, at least they resolved, you know. Yo, Spaghetto, what's good? Uh, just, just crying over here. This is pain. <laughs> this game is just one big bra moment. I agree, chat. I agree. <laughs> no matter what happens, you always find... You, no matter what happens, you'll always be my best friend for sure. Chew. Clover presses a quick, fleeting kiss against my cheek. Something like the deep, intimate kiss she shared with Suki. But that doesn't make it feel any less real. It doesn't make any le it doesn't make it any less sincere. That's sweet. Why are you playing this then? Well, I bought it, so might as well play it, right? <laughs> I dip my head. My face flushes. I guess looking back on it, I was afraid I was being replaced. I was afraid Clover had found somebody she liked more than me. But maybe I was mistaken. If Clover didn't care, she wouldn't have gone to the store at 3 in the morning to buy me all those snacks. It's 3 in the morning? Go to bed! Go to sleep! Snacks she knows, after our 10 years of correspondence that I like. She picked up all my favorites. That takes real dedication, no matter how many girls she kisses. I guess Clover really is dedicated to her relationship. Sorry, the Roomba was going off and it scared me. <laughs> I got scared by a Roomba, that's that's great. <laughs> uh, you're gonna go watch Fox videos with this tab open? I approve, enjoy. Enjoy your Fox videos, buddy. <sighs> she never comes across like a serious person, but there are things even she values. I'm just glad that I'm one of them. Oh, that's it. That was great. Okay, well, um... <laughs> do you guys want me to call it a night on this game, or do you want me to continue playing this? <laughs> Suki, day one, quit your job. Let's make spicy games. Suki, day two. I'm gonna kiss your girl. <laughs> uh... <laughs> this is pain. This is actual pain. Continue? All right, all right. You're about to go to bed? Take care, buddy. Sleep well. <laughs> I'm gonna go for a little longer then. Continue for the meme. Alright. Sure, you want me to continue for the memes. The following day at, at the breakfast table. Oh, this is gonna be awkward. I'm sorry, Nekohime. Um, I blink at the top of- s I blink at the top of Suki's head. She's bowing before me, like one- like one might pray before a shrine for the health of one of their grandparents. I wonder why. I don't have any magical powers that can cure the sick. All I can do is wipe hard drives free of malware and advise people to do frequent virus checks. That's not exactly on par with the deity. Why are you bowing before me exactly? Isn't it obvious? I'm apologizing. 
But you don't need to apologize like that. <laughs> you feel my pain? I feel pain. <laughs> Please go on, we need more. Goodness, chat, you really enjoy this game. Do I need to just play a bunch of horrible visual novels so we can laugh at them together? Honestly, it's kind of embarrassing. I'm sorry I was raised by my grandma back in the shrine. She's pretty conservative. I could see that, um... But you can stop that now. I want to eat my breakfast. Alrighty then. Suki smiles and straightens up. Her hair flutters as she does so. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you know, I even wrote you a, former letter, a formal letter of apology. You did? Mm-hmm, here you go. She slides a brown paper envelope out from between her impressive... Shirt. Thanks. I accept the letter hesitantly. To my surprise, the writing on the front of the envelope is impeccable. The characters are all written neatly, with well-practiced hand. To Miss Nekohime. That's what it says. These characters haven't been written with a pen or a pencil either. Suki has forgone modern writing implements. Instead, it looks like... You wrote this with ink? That's right. An ink stone and a real calligraphy brush. But why? It seems like a lot of effort to go through on my behalf. There isn't a single splotch of stray ink on this envelope. Just how steady are her hands. I'll never be able to write like that. We did calligraphy in my elementary school, with ink stones and delicate brushes with tapered ends. Most of the kids messed around. When I had to go, one of the boys nudged my elbow and I knocked over my ink, <laughs> my ink pot. My piece of paper was stained deep black. So the other, chil the other children laughed at me, the teacher tutted. Silly Seo, you have to pay more attention. I wonder why I remember that so well. Suki giggles. Like I said, I had traditional upbringing. My grandma's been teaching me calligraphy since I was a kid. <laughs> uh, so, would you watch Spaghetto suffer for the meme? <laughs> I guess. I'm just vibing here. I mean, honestly, the music is kind of great. I'm just... Yeah, you know, just... It's kind of a bop. <laughs> you don't look like you have the patience for it. I have hidden depths. Suki plants her hands on her hips and puffs out her chest proudly. And I'm not just good at calligraphy. I'm also skilled with ancient arts of flower arranging, origami, mochi pounding, and I can play the kodo. What, really? Yes, really. Playing the kodo is actually pretty hard. The tips of my fingers got super callous from plucking those strings. But I guess I have to thank my grandma for it, even though I hated it at the time. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on anymore. I, I don't know. <laughs> How long is this game? I, I have no clue, buddy. Why? She made me do such fiddly stuff with my hands. Now I have perfect control of my fingers. Suki holds her hands up and wiggles her hands to demonstrate. It's helped me improve my art a lot. I see. I never would have linked calligraphy or playing the Kodo to digital art, and there might be some connection after all. Everything in this world is intertwined. Anyway, anyway, open the letter. Put a lot of hard work into it. I wish she hadn't. It's kind of a pain. I opened the envelope, taking care not to tear the flimsy paper and slid out the letter. The letter was written in plain white on plain white paper. The characters are printed neatly, with the same precise hand that formed the strokes of my name on the front of the envelope. Suki's handwriting is really pretty. The sentiments expressed in her letter are too. Oh, this is this is sweet, right? That is a horrible emoji. I hate that. <laughs> my eyes scan the tiny string of characters. <laughs> uh, every once in a while, I pause. My brow furrows. She used a lot of complicated kanji here. I can't understand the letters, and I went to, and I went to cram, <laughs> and I went to cram school five days a week for years. I apologize for any inconvenience I may have caused you. I really should not have engaged in such illicit sexual relations with your friend in your kitchen, and I am deeply ashamed for any plans my misconduct may have caused. <laughs> any pains my misconduct would have caused. <laughs> uh, so what do you think? Am I forgiven? 
All right, chat. Should I forgive her or should I say I'm still upset? What do you guys think? <laughs> I'll let you decide. <laughs> this is actual pain. I can only tolerate this game for about a half hour at a time. Forgive your choice. No, I'm asking you to... <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Come on, make the choice, chat. Forg do I forgive her or should I like be mad? Forgive, I guess. All right, forgive for now. I mean, that the letter was pretty sweet. Well, if you hand me a letter like this, I have to forgive you. Yay! But, um, in the future, you don't need to write me any letters. We live together after all, so, um, I scratched my cheek with one finger. It's a little too formal. All right, I hear you loud and clear. Then I'll try super hard to be even more informal from now on. Well, you don't need to do that. I appreciate a certain level of formality from my tenants. I just meant... Nia? <laughs> uh, I whimper. Suki is patting me on the head. Why? Why is she patting me on the head? It's kind of infantilizing. But at the same time, it feels good. Infantilizing, oh, oh my gosh. Anyways, the palm of her hand is nice and warm. Part of me wants to nuzzle into the warmth offered by her palm. The other part of me wants to back as far away from this wicked witch as possible. <laughs> oh my gosh. You, you're patting my head. Yes, I am. But why? How is she patting her head? Look at- they're like six feet apart. They're social distancing. How long is Suki's arm? Is she just like extend it three feet and be like... <laughs> Anyways. Told me to be less formal. I didn't mean you should treat me like a household pet. <laughs> I'm your landlord, you know. That's right. There, there. Intense. <laughs> Intense. <laughs> Slenderman anime girl version. Nia. <laughs> you're so cute, Nekohime. If you're that jealous that I'm spending time with Clover, then I'll be sure to give you lots and lots of attention from now on, too. Uh, I'm not jealous. <laughs> That's what you say, but I don't know if I believe you. You're too honest. Is that a problem? I like honest, straightforward girls. It's cute. Uh, Suki sighs deeply. I knew coming to this place was a good idea. It's like my own personal Shangri-La, or maybe Shangri-Nia. I hate this game. I just, I want to die. I hate this game. <laughs> I'm changing the title right now. I'm changing the stream title. There you go. Refresh the stream if you want to see what the title is. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm very witty. I'm not going to dignify that with an answer. You don't have to. Your resistance is the best thing about you, Nekohime. I'm sure we're going to get along very well after all. Suki beams. <laughs> Whoever wrote the dialogue of this game, I'm proud of you. No Why are you proud of it, chat? <laughs> when it comes to cute girls, I don't discriminate. I love you all equally, no matter what. I sigh. This is like... We're, get, we're getting borderline harem here. <laughs> what have I gotten myself into? That's it? What is happening? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Bruh. Alright. <laughs> That's enough for now. We're out. <laughs> you ready to be traumatized? Me too. Oh yeah, they were cuddling. Why are they cuddling? <laughs> I thought they didn't like each other. <laughs> so what exactly are we doing? Isn't it obvious? We're going to watch a movie. But why? It's a household bonding experience. Okay. I don't like bonding, especially not with other people. You can try bonding with the animals at the local zoo again if you want, but I don't know how well that'll go. 
Oomph. I pout, but Clover does have a point. We went to the zoo a couple years ago. It was supposed to be a fun trip out, but for whatever reason, the wolves got really excited when they saw me. Like, really excited. Excuse me? One of the wolves started howling, and they all started howling, and soon all the animals in the zoo got freaked out. The rhinos even started to stampede. It's a good thing that they were only two rhinos, or that could have been a serious disaster. I'm not sure why the wolves were so entranced by me. One of the staff members at the zoo, in between his, apologi <laughs> his apologizes and frantic bullying, <laughs> bowing, said it might have been because of my jacket. The little cat ears on my hood might have confused them. Maybe they thought I was a tasty snack. What? What is this? <laughs> More video game controller waifu. <laughs> I hate this game. Don't look so gloomy, Nekohime. Suki pokes me in the cheek with her finger. I squirm. I don't want you to be jealous of me and Clover, so I thought we could spend some quality time together. Like I said, I'm not jealous. <laughs> but you don't want to be left out, right? Well, I've known you for a little while now, Nekohime. You're bad at saying what you really think. Oh, snap. <laughs> Maybe they thought I was a snack. <laughs> That's the title. <laughs> I, gotta ch I gotta add that to the title. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> they thought I was a snack. Thank you, that's the title. This game has the worst dialogue I've ever heard. <laughs> Thank you for the donation, Spaghetto Team. Do you, do you want to know what I think? That's the general idea. Well, I breathe in with my esophagus. I think all this, I think this all sounds like a pain. You should have left me alone in my room. That's what you say, but you still came down here when I invited you. <laughs> well... <laughs> I just didn't want to miss out on the popcorn, that's all. <laughs> sure, sure. You're so easy to read, Nekohime. It's like an open book. <laughs> Sh shut up! My face flushes. Even the tips of my ears turn pink. Anyway, what kind of popcorn did you get? Most people would ask what kind of movie we're going to watch first. The success of any movie-watching experience is dependent on the snacks you bring. Food can make or break any movie. What? <laughs> uh, hey Spaghetto, how's it going? It's going good! You know, I'm just giving myself brain damage. <laughs> I'm sure the directors would be crying if they heard you say that. I don't care, I don't owe them anything. Oh my gosh, I feel pain. Uh, oh! Spaghetti, Spaghetto, guess what? You got yourself a girlfriend, Pog. That is pretty Pog. Hey, congratulations! You got a girlfriend. <laughs> I'm happy for you, buddy. That's awesome. Most movies are awful anyway. The plots are recycled and overused. The characters are flimsy and unrealistic, and everything gets wrapped up too neatly at the end. Oh my gosh, Nekohime just... Ah! You, br you bring me pain. You bring me pain. Real life isn't like that. That's the whole point of watching a movie. It's called fantasy. Maybe not with that attitude. You might not be the best person to write our visual novel after all. I don't want it to end <laughs> in death and despair. Tell Suki you won't let bad things happen to her cute characters. Tell Suki that's just how life is, sweetie. <laughs> All lives end in death. The despair is optional, but it often goes hand in hand with death. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're not exactly a bundle of sunshine, are you? She's just acting grumpy because she's hungry. I'm not that simple. You are pretty simple at times, Nekohime. You don't need to worry about the popcorn, Nekohime. I know your favorite. I made sure to get the sweetened caramel with extra sugar. Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this hurts. This is pain. My eyes light up. My stomach gurgles in anticipation. Good job, Clover. <laughs> Tell Nekohime she can't die because she's the main character. It's no problem. 
Clover gives me a peace sign. We've been friends for years. I know your tastes. I reach into the bowl of popcorn on the floor and take a handful. I crunch on the popped kernels. I don't care about my poor table manners. We're not even sitting at a table. If you eat that much sugar, you'll get rotten teeth. I don't care. You will take. You will care when you get older. My grandma always says that you should limit yourself on one sweet treat after dinner, no more, no less. Your grandma's not the boss of me. No, she's not the boss of me anymore either. Though she wanted to be. Suki frowns for a few moments, but she claps her hands, and her pensive expression soon fades away. Anyway, let's watch that movie. What movie is it? It's a live-action adaptation of a visual novel, Sakura Shrine Girls. Do you know it? Oh my goodness, they're plugging their other games. <laughs> That's gotta be another game. Let me Google that. Sakura Shrine Girls. Oh my gosh, that's an actual game on Steam that they've made. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I'm look looking at it right now and it's a bunch of girls with like cat ears and actual tails. I guess I gotta play that one next. <laughs> That's an actual thing! <laughs> oh, I've been reading some of the Sakura visual novels. Then it'll be good for research. <laughs> Execute shameless plug. <laughs> oh my gosh, fine. I pick up another handful of sugary popcorn and cram it into my mouth. <laughs> Give it a watchin'. You shouldn't talk with your mouth full, Nekohime. I stick my tongue out at Clover. It's still coated with the fine layer of mush a fine layer of mushed up popcorn. Clover wrinkles her nose. And you say I'm gross? I swallow, wiping my mouth with my sleeve. Sugar is never gross. Alright, you two, settle down. I I'm this is actual pain. This is just pain. <laughs> Suki sets the remote to one side and learns and leans back against the couch. This movie's about to start. Achievement unlocked. Research. Yay! Sakura Shrine Maidens follows a very similar formula to the other Sakura visual novels I read. This story, however, has the benefit of being performed by real actresses. To summarize, the... the sur surmise... okay. The story is about a young boy who moves home to live with his grandfather. There he meets two mysterious young cat girls, who happen to be deities at two opposing shrines. These girls are called Keio and Naoko. Keio is very serious, as it made apparent by her black bob cut. Her black bob cut? What? She cares a lot about her job as a shrine maiden. Naoko, meanwhile, is playful and flirty, and likes to tease the main character at every given opportunity. In my humble opinion, as a cat lover, the whole thing is pretty cute. Aww. Especially the school uniforms. There are a lot of lewd scenes too, mostly involving mischievous wind spirits that like flipping up skirts. The popcorn alone makes the whole experience worthwhile, so I'm not going to complain. Caramel popcorn is really delicious. Anybody who prefers plain or salted is a heathen. <laughs> what is this? This is making me hate my life. <laughs> uh, I like the music though. At least the music is good. The music and the art is good. I'll hand that to them. Somehow during the duration of the movie, the three of us end up curled up together in a rather cozy position. Suki is sitting in the middle like some kind of queen, her eyes trained on the screen. Clover and I, meanwhile, are pressed against either side of her, hands linked together in her lap. That's cute. We remain like this for the full 90 minutes of the movie's runtime and continue to sit there, cuddled up together, even as the credits scroll along the screen to a chipper pop song. Being cuddled up with these two kind of feels nice, I guess. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> Enjoying the movie? Nah. Enjoy the popcorn? Heck yeah. I'm not used to this. Suki's long glossy hair is soft and silky. She smells good too, like strawberries or... Lishy or something? Something soft and unexpectedly feminine. If I think about it too much, I'm going to start blushing. Maybe I'm allergic to something. Hey, hey, Nekohime! Clover looks at me smiling brightly. What did you think? What did you think? I suppose it was acceptable. <laughs> I guess you really liked the movie then. I was talking about the popcorn. Oh, and what about the movie? 
The Spaghetto does what the Spaghetto wants. Spaghetto seriously worries me. Good. <laughs> it's good to see you again. It's been a hot minute. Welcome to the stream. Did you miss much? Um, you just missed some, some pain. <laughs> I'm undecided about the movie. Well, can you give it a rating out of 10? Oh dear. What? Poor, un poor uneducated Clover. I click my tongue. Um, did I say something stupid? Yes, but <laughs> you weren't to know. I pushed my glasses up to the bridge of my nose. Rating movies on a numerical scale has fundamental flaws. Mere numbers are too mechanical of a method to properly express your thoughts and feelings, and they lose a lot of nuance you would get from an in-depth review written with words. Moreover, everybody places different worth on numerical grandings. While five should, as a matter of principle, be average, neither good nor bad, many people seem to rank seven as the average, and consider anything below that to be poor. Human beings are not like machines, so we attach arbitrary values to things that, we sh that should be impersonal, like numbers. As such, we are unable to understand one another and miscommunicate our true intentions. Do you understand? That got really deep all of a sudden. <laughs> Wow, that got really deep. Um... <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Spaghetto, you've been... Uh, I've been busy lately, met up to Maji, I've just been streaming, you know? And... <laughs> what the heck happened? I'm just having fun. This is a Christian channel, we are very wholesome here. They're holding hands and praying. Um... Clover seems to ponder a few seconds before. But if you had to give it a numerical rating, what would you give it? I sigh. I guess that carefully prepared talk went into one ear and out the other. <sighs> Maybe it was too philosophical for her. If you must know, I give it a six. <gasps> Slightly above average, okay. A six? That's so low! A six is above average. Huh? But if it's above average, why don't you give it a seven? You really weren't listening, were you? Not at all. At least you're honest about it. Not that that makes it any better. <laughs> Uh, hey, um, I look at Suki. She's been curiously quiet for the duration of the movie. I thought she'd have the most to say about it, particularly since she was the one who chose it, but apparently not? What did you think? Huh? What? About the movie. Uh, oh, the movie. <laughs> She's too busy focused on us. <laughs> this is a Christian Minecraft server. Yes. Suki nods with a sudden understanding. The movie, yeah, right. Uh, well, it was nice, I guess. You guess. That doesn't sound very convincing. Either you liked it or you didn't. I, I loved it. Didn't you think the actress who played Naoka was super cute? Uh, yeah, she was quite cute. She was quite, cu quite cute. <laughs> but nothing could beat Keo. She was so lovely and innocent. The way she took her job as a shrine maiden was so seriously super adorable. Hmm, you think that's adorable? Yeah. <laughs> I like it when people try hard. Plus, that shrine maiden outfit was really cute. That might <laughs> that might be a cute look to that might be cute to look at, I suppose, but wearing one in real life is rather cumbersome, especially in the summer. <laughs> I guess I forgot you used to be a shrine maiden yourself. That's right, I was, but a small smile curves at the corners of Suki's lips. For such a devilish girl, the smile looks strangely un understated. Everything about Suki has been understated this evening. I wonder why. I'm not going to be a shrine maiden anymore. I guess it's kind of stuffy. It seems like there are a lot of rules. <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's right. It was quite constraining. The clothes were at least... The, were, the clothes were the least of my concerns. <laughs> The stream is fine. See, look, they're just gamers. This is what video gamers are like. This is true. This is actual gaming. They're just gaming. <laughs> my grandmother wasn't very happy about my decision, but... Uh, who cares what she thinks? Clover, you should do what makes you happy. Life's too short to waste, waste it trying to please other people. You gotta think about yourself. That's strangely mature coming from you. There isn't anything strange about it. I'm a responsible working adult. You're not working very hard right now, because it's the summer holiday. Even teachers deserve breaks. Don't you have homework assignments to go over? 
Silly Nekohime, as a teacher, I make sure to give my students a little homework as, as little homework as possible. My kids love me for it. <laughs> what are no-no words, Spaghetto? They're words that you're not allowed to say because they are not high in intelligence. There you go. <laughs> I'm gonna go cry in the corner because I lost a bunch of brain cells. <laughs> Don't act like you're doing it for their sake. You're just too lazy to grade it. <laughs> well, it all works out in the end. Everybody's happy. Are their parents happy? That is besides the point. Goodness gracious, if you taught me when I was a kid, my parents would want to flay you alive. Uh, are they really that strict? They were pretty strict. Uh, maybe I should prepare myself for the next parent-teacher meeting. <laughs> no, no words equals negative 100 IQ. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is pain. Suki is still sandwiched between the pair of us, starts to giggle. I could feel her, her bare shoulders rising up and down, shaking with mirth. You're right, Clover. Life really is too short. It really will be too short if I get lynched. Wh what? <laughs> How do we go from cute anime girls to lynchings? Wh what is this dialogue? <laughs> Spaghetto, who the heck laughs like that? Me. I do. <laughs> Oh my gosh, from now on, I'm going to do what I want to do. I won't, I won't try to bow to my grandma's wills anymore. I'm not, I'm not Tsukiko. I haven't reinvented myself. I'm Suki. Yes, that's right. You're much, much better the way you are now. <laughs> but it is, but it is kind of a pity. What is? Well... <laughs> Clover giggles coyly, poking the tip of her index fingers together. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> try laughing like a real anime girl. How do real anime girls laugh? They're not real. That doesn't make any sense. I wish I could have seen you in a Shrine Maiden outfit. <laughs> okay. I guess, end of conversation. That's <laughs> just the end of the scene. Okay. More time passes, and the three of us settle into a comfortable routine. We have two weeks left to whip up our visual novel in time for the summer manga market. Suki has finished the character designs and has moved on to line art, while Clover is whiling away at the hours at her laptop, happily sketching our out melodies for our original soundtrack. As for me... Ah, yes, the menu, the menu theme. There's a bop. Oh, snap. I'm schmoovin. I've been spending my days coding together a custom engine we can use to create our visual novel while sim simultaneously working on the script. That's pretty cool. <laughs> you think that my anime laugh sounds like annoying mice? <gasps> I'm offended. Seriously, though, this is just... I'm, I'm schmoovin. It's a fairly short story. We decided it would be no longer than 40,000 characters, a few hours of playtime, give or take. I would have liked to give all the characters their own individual routes, with a lot of unique scenes and branching choices. But there just wasn't enough time. We had to settle on something simpler. A cute, heartwarming, ever so slightly erotic story about a shy shrine maiden called Tsubaki, who gets a part-time job at a maid cafe and becomes friends with two of the waitresses there. After some discussion, we decided it should be a, a, a fun love story. <laughs> that wasn't my decision, by the way. It was all Suki. With a bit of encouragement. I don't really mind. I know how popular love stories are. I've seen enough stuff in my lifetime to confirm that. <laughs> Why you laugh? It's beautiful. Oh, thank you. Not that I can really call it. Not that you can really call still images love stories. Though our visual novel is still pretty short and simple. I think it should be able to shift a few copies. 
That is, Suki's art is good enough to market the product. <sighs> I don't know if anybody will care about the writing. <laughs> Did the game break? <laughs> I think the game broke. <laughs> ah, the game broke. <laughs> Nia. <laughs> I yawn, stretching my arms above my head and stare at the screen of my laptop. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is fantastic. Um, why can't you say blank spaghetti? Would it really get you demonetized? I think it possibly can. I've seen it, um, I've seen it before. So I'm trying not to get demonetized. That's why I've been skipping words, just letting you know, chat. I have no problem with saying it. I just don't want to get <laughs> the stream demonetized, that's all. I yawn, stretching my arms above my head and stare at the screen of my laptop. I've written the first few scenes now. It's about 3,000 characters, not bad for a day's work. I completed the scene that introduces Tsubaki to her sh and her shrine, but I think I need to delve a little more into the character's psyche, see what really makes her tick. Since I've never lived in a shrine before, I'm not entirely sure how to portray it. Hmm. What do you guys think? Is this game... Is this game getting pretty interesting? <laughs> I think it is. This game's terrible. I did some research... I, I did some research online, but I don't know how accurate it is. I reread the introductory scene again. Is it too dry? Are my sentences snappy enough? <laughs> no, I don't want any more pain. Quit it immediately. <laughs> What if there's too much internal monologue? My studies have shown visual novels with fast-paced and back-and-forth dialogue are more popular than those that dwell too much on the internal character drama. But since I have introduced the other two characters yet, there's only so much I can do. What can I do? I bite my lower lip. Thanks to the internet, people nowadays have rather short attention spans. If a story doesn't hook a reader in the first few sentences, they'll just move on to something else. All the information in the world is available at the push of a button. The success of this visual novel depends on the favorable opinions of the general public. But we're fighting for attention against the whole world. Maybe I should ask Suki for advice. She seems more knowledgeable about this stuff than me. And she has lived in a shrine before. I rise, I rise up from my bed with a sigh. I always sigh whenever I have to get out of bed, but who doesn't? <laughs> it's a natural human reflex. <laughs> it's more playable than some of the stuff you played before, and that's fair at least. I go into the living room and walk up the stairs. I wonder what Suki's room is like. I haven't been there since she moved in. What has she done with her place? I'm curious. Hello? I wrap my knuckles against the door, but there's no reply. Are you home? Hello? You know, I feel like there's gonna be another scene coming up immediately after this. I just, I, I get the feeling. Suki doesn't answer. Hello? I try again. Still no answer. Um, Suki. Another series of knocks and then... I forgot her name. We're about to walk in on one of the girls to ask her about visual novels, I guess. Men and women of culture rise up. <laughs> Alright. Another series of knocks and then... Hey, are you in there, Suki? I think that's her name. Oh, that hurt. That made me laugh, though. Does every woman in this house just walk around in their underwear? Ah, Nekohime! Clover pokes her head out of her door frame. Her ponytail bounces. For some reason, she's wearing her underwear. I'm not sure why. Well, it's pretty hot to- Well, it is pretty hot today. What is? The temperature or the underwear? What- <laughs> What are you looking at? Well, you gotta see, this, uh, you're looking at a video game. We starting out like this. Yeah, we are 100% starting out like this. By the way, guys, how's my audio? <laughs> I guess I can't blame her. I can't blame her, but... I don't think her underwear suits her very well. It's making my heart pound a little faster. I'd rather see Suki in her underwear. Wait, which one's Suki again? Oh, Suki's the other girl. Okay, this is Clover. Um, hmm. For some reason, looking at her like this is making my heart feel kind of... This one... <laughs> funny. <laughs> this 
This is gonna be one heck of a ride. I don't know why. I've seen Clover in her underwear countless times before. In fact, I've even seen her naked. I guess it's because I didn't expect it. Is this what they call a surprise attack? Those underwear, while childish, do look kinda cute, especially the ribbon. Pale blue underwear on a sunny, happy-go-lucky girl like Clover. It's an interesting contrast. Hey, Nekohime, I know I have a sexy body, but you don't have to stare. <laughs> pain. I feel pain. Why are, th th <laughs> Why are thighs the thumbnail? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I mean, uh... <laughs> Did she just catch me? Did she just catch me out? Like, I want to stare at you, I just got distracted. By how cute I am? And by how shameless you are? If you must know, I was actually in the middle of important business. Are you looking for Suki? That's right, I wrote the beginning of the story, but I'm not sure where to take it. I just wanted to ask her for some feedback. Well, that's a great idea. Suki should know a lot about being a shrine maiden. Okay. Yes, well, that's what I was hoping. Hmm, I think she's out in the garden right now. What is she doing there? She said she was, it, she said it was too stuffy in her room to concentrate, so she wanted to go out and get some sunshine. She was wearing her bikini, so she might be sunbathing. Sunbathing? We only have two lakes left and she's sunbathing? What is this game? <laughs> I, I, I don't know, man. <sighs> While well, watching whatever this is, I'm watching Thomas the Tank Engine videos. What are you doing with your life? I, 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 wonder, I wonder. Hey, I don't blame her. A girl needs to take a break every once in a while. Well, she can't. Not when I've been doing so much work. <laughs> <laughs> You're always so serious, Nekohime. Somebody has to be serious about this. Deadlines are sacred things. If we already had a table booked at Manga Market, we, are, we absolutely need to show up. We can't just... We can't just wring our hands and apologize and say we're sorry we didn't make it in time. <laughs> Do all girls just have humongous kebabs? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I love streaming this. You guys in chat seriously just make my life. Wow, you're really committed to this, aren't you? Of course I am. Somebody has to be. But I thought you weren't invested in making a visual novel. I wasn't, but if I decide to start a project, I see it through till the end. We also need to burn the CDs to make physical copies. That takes time. Finishing the digital version of the game just isn't enough. That'll take at least a day. I run the calculations through my head. It's almost dizzying. Then we need to go to Manga Market and get our stall all set up, which will take another day. We'll probably need to print out flyers and advertise our circle and posters to decorate our stall and... Ah, uh, something suddenly occurs to me. We don't even have a circle name yet. Maybe we should worry about that after we finish the visual novel. We can't worry about it then, it'll be too late. We have so much stuff to think about. Our lead artist is gallivanting in the garden, sunbathing. I'm going to go give her a piece of her... I'm going to go and give her a piece of her mind. Oh, this sounds fun, can I come with you? You can do whatever you want, just don't get in the way. It's so cute when you get all huffy, Nekohime. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, nothing, I'm just happy we have you on board, project leader. Leader? That's right, you're our leader. I thought Suki was the leader. She's the one who decided we should make the visual novel, but that doesn't mean she's in charge. Nobody's better at bossing people around than you. I don't know how I feel about that. You make it sound like having a strong work, eth ugh, work ethic is a bad thing. You're just being paranoid, honey. Honey? <laughs> what is this game? The girls in the game spaghetti. Ah, yes, thank you, aesthetic as heck. Also, it's good to see you again. Hopefully you're doing well. <laughs> you could go and try to talk to real women, or you could look at your wife who's more. Ah, yes. <laughs> Something warm and soft, light as a feather, brushes against my cheek. It's Clover's lips. She just... She just really... She really did... She kissed me. Now let's go. Our adventure in the great unknown are just beginning. Uh, we're just going to our garden. <laughs> I'm too sick for this. I'm too sick for this game. Eehehe, <laughs> same thing. But before I go, maybe I'll put on my bikini too. Why, this isn't a trip to the beach. 
I know, that's why I'm not gonna bring my beach ball. Help. <laughs> I want to end this game. Just, I want it to end. So there you are. Hi, Suki. Oh my gosh. That's uh, quite the swimsuit. <laughs> Hi, Suki. Clover and I fi find Suki lying on her stomach in the grass wearing a bikini. Who the heck is that in the background? Uh, it's just mini. It's just a mini version of me chilling in the background. He's just, you know, he's just watching. <laughs> he's just doing his thing. <laughs> if you can call it that. Oh my gosh. Her bikini isn't really a bikini. It's more of a few scraps of cloth, only barely wide enough to cover her almost parts. It doesn't really conceal her chest, but I suppose it does a decent job of hiding her other things. Though her... <laughs> Why is there an, an anime girl in Japan wearing an American flag bikini? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Mini spaghetti pocket edition, I love that comment. Though her underwear clings to her booty, rather a large amount of cheek is still on show. I know my underwear is a little small for me, but at least I don't go prancing around in public like that. Not that Suki is really prancing. She's just lying there soaking in the sun like a sponge. Unless she was, at least she was until Clover and I drop by. She gets to her feet. Her stuff bouncing in that poor excuse for a bikini gives a <laughs> and gives us an energetic smile. <laughs> I like the little spaghetto looking at the girls in the background. <laughs> We're getting demonetized, boys. Let me check. Temporarily, I think it's still monetized, so... Why is Mini Spaghetti peeking over the bushes? <laughs> Listen, I can't... I can't... I can't explain why... What's going on. Hey, it's great to see you. Oh, Clover, did you decide to put on a bikini too? And That's right. Clover does a small spin in her swimsuit. Her bikini is bright yellow like butter. Most of Clover's clothes are bright colors, typically reds and yellows, with a bit of orange thrown here and there for contrast. Clover's bikini is slightly less obscene than Suki's, but it rides up a little over her chest, revealing the underside of her... Uh, yes. I sigh. <sighs> Why are the... <laughs> Why are the two women I live with so shameless? If I wanted to live in companion... <laughs> If I wanted two living companions to eat my food and skulk around about in their with their skin exposed, I would buy a cat. <laughs> I mean, I guess Clover has cat ears. It's good enough, right? <laughs> Kebabs are my new favorite food. <laughs> I like cats. They're pretty cute. Even if they whine a lot. Hey, just like you, Nekohime. You whine plenty. <laughs> Clover, your bikini is super adorable. I know, right? I picked it up last summer, from the really fancy store in Ginza. Oh, Ginza, that's where all the rich people shop. I know, it was on sale, I just had to get it. You made you made a good choice. Suki gives Clover a thumbs up of approval. <clears throat> and as for you, Nekohime, she turns her attention to me and looks me up and down, critically, her fingers beneath her chin. Why aren't you wearing a bikini on a, lo on a lovely day? B because we're in the garden, what's the point of wearing a bikini in the garden? To work on our suntans? B but it's shameless. Why is it shameless? They're called swimsuits for a reason. You wear them when you go swimming. Don't get so hung up on technicalities. Technicalities are important. What's the point of wearing a swimsuit when there's nowhere to swim? There are no large bodies of water in my garden. But I have a pretty nice body, don't you think? The Suki strikes a pose. She runs a hand through her hair and purses her lips seductively. I turn my head trying to hide my flustered face. I, I don't know about that. Come on, Nekohime, what do you think? Clover started doing it too. These girls, they're such a bad influence on each other. <laughs> Spaghetto, you never accepted me by playing Gondere Sim. I don't know if I'll play that or not. There's a better version of the game I just um, that I was looking into. I just don't know if it's out yet. I'll think about that. 
So, who do you think is the most attractive? All right, boys in the chat and girls in the chat, uh, who do you think is the most attractive in their bikinis? I need an answer right now. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on, boys. I'll need, I need an answer right now. While you guys are giving me an answer, I'm gonna look up what the game was called that I was just mentioning. That's like Yandere Sim. Uh, you like Suki? Suki, what is the game? <laughs> we'll never know. No, I'm looking at I'm looking it up right now. Don't worry. Play Mario again. Clover. Okay. I I, I already forgot which one Suki. Wait, Suki's the cat ears one, right? <laughs> Mini spaghetti likes it, I guess. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um. Hmm. Okay, I'm, I gotta find it. Suki, but Clover's hair is better. Okay. Uh, I, I totally forgot which is which. Who do you think is the most attractive? Well, Suki, Clover, me, both of you. I, which one? I forgot the names again. Okay. Uh. Yeah, um, I'm trying to find the other game that's like Yandere Simulator, but I can't find it at the moment. I'll have to check it out later, okay? But anyways, we'll get back to the game. Clover is the redhead, Suki is in the middle. Okay, so Clover's the redhead. Uh, Suki, I think Suki honestly looks the best. I'm so tired that I keep forgetting. I think Suki looks the best. Oh shoot, Clover's gonna be mad. <laughs> Clover's gonna be ticked off. Suki smiles smugly, flipping a strand of hair behind her shoulder. Well, of course I- well, of course, I am a seductress. A- uh, a what? <laughs> but, we have more important things to worry about right now. I glance about the garden. It's a pretty nice garden, actually. Hopefully they don't see mini spaghetti. Uh, <laughs> quick duck down, buddy. <laughs> you should have said both. Uh, uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> it's spacious, with a lot of green- uh, green grass, and a few flowers dotted here and there. In the background, I can hear the hum of cicadas and the twittering of birds. It's peaceful. At least, it would be peaceful if I didn't have to deal with Suki. You should get back- <laughs> You should get back inside and get to work. Aw, oh, I've only been out here for five minutes. More like half an hour. It's fine. Taking a little break won't kill me. No, but it will kill any chances of having a rele- uh, We have of releasing something in time for the manga market. Wow, you're more fired up about this than I imagined. Clover giggles. Nakohime is <laughs> like a geezer. She, no, she's like a geyser. She looks flat and uninterested on the outside, but when she gets worked up, she gets really hot and passionate. I am not flat. <laughs> what? What is this writing? <laughs> when she gets worked up, she gets really <laughs> hot and passionate. <laughs> You're gonna go to sleep. See you later, Tara. Have a good, have a good sleep. <laughs> uh oh, Clover. How come Clover didn't even react to me saying that Suki was more attractive? Well, I wouldn't know. You're not wearing a bikini like this. <laughs> Why do you want me to wear a bikini so much? I think you need to work on your tan. Your skin's so pale. Like a porcelain doll. Some people might consider it a selling point, but if you get any wider, you'll look like you have a terminal illness. I, I like my skin the way it is, thank you very much. <laughs> if you get any wider, you'll look like you have a terminal illness. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I asked earlier. I asked why Suki has an American swimsuit in Japan. <laughs> well, you've been shut up inside for far too long. You have to get some fresh air or you'll wither away. She's right, Nakohime. We're saying this because we care about you. And we want to see your sexy body in a bikini. <laughs> but the deadline. Come on, Nakohime. Suki's pouting. I wish she wouldn't pout. Live a little. I can't afford to live until the deadlines have been met. Well, well, well. I, s I smirk curls out of the corners of Suki's lips. I don't like that smirk. <laughs> I think I like it even less than her pout. I doubt it bodes well. If you refuse to have fun with your own on your own volition, I'll have to make you have fun by force. Uh, what do you mean by that exactly? What, what do I mean? I mean... This. All of a sudden, Suki has a garden hose in her manicured hands. The hose is snaked around her body, poking between her mouth. And the nozzle is pointed right at my face. 
I'm just, I need a minute. I just, I just need a minute. Here, just croissant. That's all you guys get, just croissant. Um, uh, what is this game? <laughs> Why? Croissant. <laughs> Why? <laughs> YouTube, I'm sorry. Please don't demonetize this. I gotta check and see if this is demonetized. <laughs> Please, YouTube. I'm begging you. <laughs> Be nice to me for once. <laughs> oh, oh, it's actually still monetized. Holy cow. Boys. <laughs> We're still in this. It's still somehow monetized. That's amazing. I guess miracles do happen. <laughs> I hiss and leap back in alarm, but it's too late. The water soaks me to the bone. My jacket clings to my arms. My shirt sticks to my chest. The pleats of my skirt drip water slowly, very slowly down my thighs. I went from tip, uh, I went from tip to toe. Even my bra and underwear feel wet. I glare at Suki from beneath my dripping bangs. Uh, why would you do that? Why not? It's fun. But you... that... You've ruined my clothes. I guess I have. Suki giggles, but she doesn't apologize. <laughs> oh my gosh, the croissant saved the day. <laughs> Are you gonna finish that croissant? Croissant? The host pipe is still pinched between her, um, American flags. I'm not sure why. Who is she even trying to impress? The birds twittering in the trees? She pokes her tongue out with her mouth seductively and laughs at some of the water coming up from the tip of the hose. Is she a dog? <laughs> is she drinking hose water? Why? How is that attractive? <laughs> if your clothes are wet, Nakuhime, maybe we should go inside and get changed. Into what? I don't think I have any clean clothes. I'm a bit of a slob, so I let my laundry pile up. I, my, my only clean clothes are... <laughs> I only clean my clothes once every three to four weeks. Well, I would like to see you in a bikini. Why? You're a really cute girl. I bet you look even cuter with the fewer clothes you wear. My brain. My brain. Is that true? It's scientifically proven. But by what school of science, exactly? Um, the University of Spices. That's not even a real university. Don't worry about it so much, Nekohime. Shh. I always worry. Somebody has to. My whole body is racked with shivers. I sneeze. Though it's warm outside, my damp clothes are slowly snapping my, bo <laughs> my body of heat. The water from the garden hose is really cold. If I don't get changed soon, I might come down with some kind of sickness. That would really scupper our progress. Nekohime, stop being such a stop being such a stubborn girl and go get changed. How is this even monetized? Listen, the only reason it's monetized is croissant. <laughs> I sneeze again. Achoo! All things considered, this day was not as productive as it could have been. Oh, thank goodness, the croissant is over. <laughs> I just can't believe it. I sit on the edge of Clover's bed in my underwear, silently seething. Wait, why is she on Clover's bed? Well, maybe I'm not being that silent. Pouting, I fish a stuffed toy from the bed and give it a tight hug. Clover loves stuffed toys. There are cute pillows of multiple shapes strewn across her bed, and lots of mishap and plush toys from various, mag <laughs> from various magical girl anime. <laughs> why is she in Clover's room? <laughs> I could go for a croissant right about now, but not in the nasty way. I don't think I want to eat that croissant anymore. Are you going to eat that croissant? Mr. Cow, is that you, buddy? Wait, hold on, guys. I got a question. Is that little green dinosaur supposed to be like Fat Godzilla on the shelf? Like, am I the only one seeing that? Like, you see that? Like, look at that. Like, this little chunky Godzilla. Is that Godzilla? I think that's Godzilla. What do you think? I think that's like chunky Godzilla. He's like thick boy. Thick lizard. <laughs> Fatzilla. <laughs> the toy the toys don't have proper hands or feet. Instead they have little felt stumps. Clover says it's cute, but I think they're kinda disturbing. How 
was cute little Godzilla disturbing. It's adorable. That's adorable. <laughs> oh wait, Clover stole Sayori's cow. <laughs> I guess we all have different preferences. Hey, Nekohime. Clover spins about on her swivel chair and casts me a curious glance. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. I'm in a bad mood. Well, I could tell that much. She giggles. You really are like a cat. What do you mean? You hate getting wet. That's not true. I have a shower every other day. I don't shower every day, of course. That would be overkill. I think you should thank Suki. Why, for ruining my outfit? She didn't ruin it. It's just a bit of water, Nekohime. But that jacket was my favorite. I know. You wear it all the time. When do you ever find the time to wash it? I do wash it. Sometimes. Ugh. Clover pulls a face. I thought you were starting to s <laughs> I thought you were starting to smell. <laughs> oh man, look at that big thick boy, that chocodile. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> I don't smell. You will have you always wear the same clothes and forget to take showers. Unlike a cat, you can't lick yourself clean. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so pouty. Since you're waiting for your jacket to dry, do you want to wear any of my clothes? I glance at Clover's wardrobe dubiously. I hate clothes shopping, and I wear most of my clothes online. My wardrobe is tiny, with only a few items of clothing. Clover, on the other hand, loves buying new, new outfits. But most of the outfits she favors can't be worn outside. Her tight, uh, spicy shirt is such an example. She has even crazier clothes inside her wardrobe, too. I know, I've seen them. Oh. Oh, I just noticed Clover's stockings is like a honeybee. That's adorable. She's like a happy little bumblebee. She loves cosplay, and she has loads of skimpy outfits, school, <laughs> school girl uniforms, and idol costumes, and nurse dresses. If I'm stumbling extra over the reading, I apologize. <laughs> I'm feeling sick. Not from the game, I just actually feel sick. Clover's war... <laughs> Clover's wardrobe is very interesting. Half of it is devoted to her cosplay items, and the other half is very plain and respectable. Mostly beige shirts and dresses. The divide between her life as a gaming addict and her life as an elementary school teacher is quite large. I think I'm fine. Are you sure? I have lots of cute clothes that would suit you. Like what? Um, I think you'd look really nice as a maid or a magical girl or a shrine maiden. Ugh, forget it. I'd rather skulk around in my underwear than try a ridiculous outfit like that. <laughs> my underwear might not be the most distinguished of clothes, but it's better than cosplay. Well, if you're gonna be like that, I can always make you feel more comfortable. What do you mean? Just a sec. I watch eyes narrowed as Clover pu pulls her shirt over her head and wriggles out of her skirt. <laughs> what? Does this game just find excuses to get these girls in, her, in their underwear? <laughs> Here comes the pain again. <laughs> penguins are cool. You know what? I like penguins. <laughs> Not again. In less of a second, she's wearing her bra and underwear. Well, it's not like I haven't seen those before today. Why did you do that? So you don't feel left out. But your clothes didn't even get wet. You don't need to take them off. I know that, but I wanted to keep you company. Well, um, thanks, I guess. Penguins are friggin' dope, not gonna lie, I agree. This game is actually trash. Yeah, why is it $10? We don't know. It's no problem. Clover smiles brightly and flashes a peace sign. So are you annoyed at Suki? Yes, I am. She had no right to spray me with water like that. She didn't even say sorry. How can I afford to learn? <laughs> How could she afford to lounge around when, she when we have a deadline coming up? Don't be so stuffy, Nekohime. Suki's a hard worker. How do you know? We've been playing MMOs together for a few years. She always took it seriously. But you never worked with her before, have you? No, I haven't. But I trust her. I don't. You don't trust anybody. How can I? She tricked her grandmother into f filling her laptop with rice. <laughs> I remember that! <laughs> the game was so weird, they are like, yeah, this hot and sticky rice, and I'm like, why? Why would you describe rice like that? <laughs> Don't laugh, it wasn't funny, it was a huge pain. Are you sure it wasn't even a tiny bit amusing? Well, maybe a tiny bit, but that's, that's besides the point. 
How do we know she'll be able to deliver on time? Hmm, I don't think she'll be the kind of person who'll let us down. She had a strict upbringing. The merits of responsibility and hard work were beaten into her at an early age, quite literally. Oof. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Emperor Penguin is the only thing that I live for. <laughs> Suki told me when she made any mistakes, she... Ugh. Suki told me when she made any mistakes while she was practicing for her calligraphy, her grandmother would hit the back of her knuckles with a wooden ruler. Oh, oof. That sucks. Yikes, that's a, that's a pain. That sounds pretty intense. That's even more intense than my parents, and they were incredibly strict about my grades. I know, right? It makes me glad my family's so sweet. Clover's from a huge family. She has four older brothers, and she's the only daughter. Because of that, her parents spoiled her. Listen, they think Clover's family's big? I have... Uh, let me count. I have ten siblings. <laughs> ten. That's... <laughs> Clover's family's small. <laughs> so her grand so did her grandparents. Plus she has a whole slew of aunts and uncles. I never met her family, but what from, but from what she's told me, they sound very warm and friendly. You see Kirby on the shelf? Is that actually Kirby? I don't know if that's actually Kirby. <laughs> uh, they still send her money every single New Year's, even though she's in her twenties. That's that's why I'm saying you shouldn't worry. Suki's a good girl. I can guarantee it. <laughs> the yellow thing. I don't think the yellow thing's Kirby. Well, I feel my resolve wavering. But if you're not too happy about the amount of work she's putting in, you can always talk to her about it. Do you think I should? Yeah, complaining to me won't solve anything, will it? Hmm. I sigh leaning back against the headboard of Clover's bed. You might have a point. I always do. It's one of the first things you learn when you become an elementary school teacher. What? If two, if two of the children have a disagreement, you should make them talk about it. That way, any misunderstandings can be cleared up and all grievances can get aired out. This is an elementary school, you know. I know, I know. But the same basic principles apply. <laughs> We're grown women, Clover. That's true, but people don't mature as much as they think. Kids always get into arguments about silly things. As adults, we can look down on them and say they're being petty. But aren't grown-ups the same? We argue a lot about silly things, too. We just tell ourselves it's different because we're much older. But at the end of the day, we're all humans. Wow, for a few seconds, you almost sounded smart. Hey, shut up, Nekohime. That was actually really sweet and deep. <laughs> like, this game went from, ah, yes, two girls in underwear to actually being deep and making sense. Wow, uh, I, I'm, I'm surprised. I, I'm surprised. I am smart. From now on, you can call me Professor Matsuoka. Matsuoka. That would be Clover's family name. Her full name is Matsuoka Shika. I've known her true name for a long time, but... I'm sorry, but I can't accept that. <laughs> Aw, why not? I smile, pushing my glasses up to the bridge of my nose. No matter what you say, you'll always be Clover to me. Aw, it's actually sweet. It's cute. This game goes from 1 to 100 real fast. I agree. Nope, okay, end scene. We're still just in our underwear. <laughs> well, I guess... I guess uh, Suki's gonna see us in our underwear. Hey, Suki, are you in there? Just a second. I wait in the hallway, arms folded. I hear rustling around coming from inside Suki's room. Then she opens the door. Oh, wait, she's back to normal. Hi, hi. She's smiling brightly. So brightly, in fact, it's almost blinding. I avert my eyes. D don't you have any shame? Hmm? Now, <laughs> why would you want me to have a silly thing like that? You could at least apologize, you know. For what? For splashing me with water? Oh, is that why you're wearing your underwear? Yes, I don't have any other clean clothes. That's a pain, but it's not my fault. I quite, it quite literally is your fault. Suki pouts. So did you come here to scold me? Is that it? Well, ah, you're so cruel. How could you bully a pure, innocent maiden like me? <laughs> what? <laughs> thank you to who? Thank you, Aesthetic as Heck, for sending me noodles. I appreciate that. <laughs> Suki blinks at me winsomely from beneath her eyelashes. They're full and thick. Well, if scolding... 
Well, if scolding me makes you feel better, go ahead. I'll accept any hardship you see fit to bestow. I offer myself to you, Nekohime. Please use my body as you wish to sa satiate your wa your wrath. Only please. Blink the... use a good plate of mac and cheese too i agree <laughs> be gentle with me all right it's my first time <laughs> be gentle with me all right it's my first time uh i am um, it, it, it would be my first time too oh how lovely then let's make each other feel good together <laughs> You know, as soon as a red Sakura gamer, you're in a roller coaster of stuff. Yeah. Okay, that's that's true. Suki takes a step toward me. My heart pounds. Oh boy. Would you <laughs> would you burn pleasure just for me? She brushes a strand of hair off my cheek. While you de <laughs> desecrate my flesh. What? <laughs> What was the context? Uh, she went to go talk to Suki about something. That's all I remember. But that's okay. She's so close I can't think straight. There is nothing straight about this game! Nothing! There is nothing straight about this game. <laughs> she smells good. It's almost bewitching. You can do whatever you want with me. Anything you like. Her eyes shimmer mischievously. You're so quiet and reserved. But you know what they say. Her finger traces a line against my cheek. It burns. It's always the quiet ones. Suki, please. I squeeze my eyes shut and push her away. Huh? Suki stumbles backwards, but she doesn't fall. She manages to catch her balance at the last moment. I'm sorry, I was just playing around, but... Didn't you like it? It... <laughs> What? Yes, uh, whoops, uh, I did like it. I like the attention, but I, um, actually want to have a serious conversation with you. Really? That sounds so boring. It might be boring, but there are a few things that need to be said. Deadlines, for one thing, and professionalism for another. Will you let me into your room? I want to talk about this like adults. Well, if you really want to, I suppose I can't deny the invitation. I don't trust this at all. Oh, look, it's Suki's room. It's very chill. Suki pushes open the door of her bedroom and gestures me inside. Welcome, fair maiden. Please enjoy pillaging these unexplored lands to your heart's content. <laughs> Thank you. I look around Suki's bedroom. I look around. And I frown. Her bedroom is even more sparsely furnished than I imagined. There's all the basic essentials one needs for a bedroom, a bed, a wardrobe, and a desk. Suki's computer and tablet rest on her desk, but that's all. There's nothing that tells me another human being lives here. No decorations on the wall, no books or games or magazines, and no beauty products lying on the desk. Looking around the room makes me feel a little... lonely. If Suki's, be if Suki's bedroom is this in inhospitable. It's no wonder she'd want to escape, stretch her legs, and relax in the sunshine for a while. Hey guys, uh, can we not spam the chat? Thank you. <laughs> now I feel a little unreasonable for getting so angry at her. Don't you have more... more what? More stuff? Suki flops down on her bed. The mattress sinks beneath her weight for a few moments before puffing back up to its original size. She toys with a strand of her hair. It's black, like an like oyster sauce, and contrasts startlingly, startlingly with her white skin. I do have more stuff, but most of it's back at the shrine. Where you used to live? She nods. I'm a little sad, I guess. I had to leave a bunch of stuff like half my clothes, and my expensive makeup, and all my shoes, but... I don't want to go back there in a hurry. Didn't you tell your family you were leaving? I couldn't tell my family. They'd freak out, especially my grandmother. She's so stuffy. I'd never have been able to walk around the shrine like this. Like what? Uh, 
but my words die in my throat. Suki has stripped off her shirt and pants, revealing some very cute pink frilly underwear. Why? Why? <laughs> what? Welcome to the stream, aesthetic as heck. It's good to see you, but... Does every anime girl just default to taking their clothes off when they're within like a five foot radius of me? If so, that's just... okay. <laughs> I glance at her, confused. She shrugs. What? It's hot. I guess you are kind of hot. Uh, no, no, anyways, back to the game, back to the game, back to the game. <clears throat> I guess. Plus, you're wearing your underwear. Why can't I wear mine? Point taken. Not that I'm we wearing my underwear because I want to or anything, idiot. Oh, but where are my manners? Take a seat. You don't need to tell me to take a seat in my own house. This is my room. You haven't paid any rent yet. <laughs> Pain. I guess you found out, huh? Clover said she's she'd cover for me. I'm not as stupid as you might think. I don't think you're stupid at all, Nekohime. You don't? On the contrary, I think you're incredibly smart. Even if you do purr like a cat when you're patted on the head. Uh, that was just a one-off. Yeah, yeah. With a flushed face, I sit down beside Suki on her bed. Well, I say it's her bed, but she's actually using Clover's old bedding and a pillow and covers. Nothing about the room really belongs to Suki other than the tablet and the computer, and maybe a few items of clothing hanging in the wardrobe. <laughs> this is just straight pain. It's okay though. Isn't it lonely being here? What do you mean? You said you can't go back to see your family, and you don't have that much stuff. It can't feel very welcome. Don't worry about me. I can function just fine. Having stuff makes life more comfortable, sure. And I really do miss all my primers and toners, but I can make do. I have to make do. I'd much rather have my freedom than my makeup. Freedom? Mm-hmm. You might have gathered already, but I don't know how much Clover's told you, but... I really hated being a Shrine Maiden. I thought you were a Shrine Maiden in training. It's the same thing. I'm supposed to inherit the Shrine when my mother retires, but she's always so busy. It fell upon my grandmother to show me how everything's done. I spent most of my life under my grandmother's strict supervision. She's in her 80s, but she still has a lot of life left in her. She's as strong as a bear and as stubborn as a mountain goat. Whenever I was late getting up in the morning, or didn't brush my hair properly, or talk back to her, she would slap me. That's a yikes from me, Chief. I like how we're talking about something super serious in the game, and like a potential uh, abusive situation. And yet the girls are just chilling in their underwear. Is this what girls are like? They just, they talk about their feelings and sit around their house in their underwear? If so, I mean, that, that's chill, I get it. You ever just chill with your homies, you know? On a serious note, though, I'm not gonna joke about the abuse. That's, that's not okay. Like, I feel bad for this character, even if it's a, a bit of a stupid or ridiculous visual novel. I've been in this person's situation before, and it's never fun. Um, abusive grandparents are something that I dealt with growing up somewhat too, and it really sucks. So, I can sympathize with this character, and I feel bad for her. And I think that's why she always um, jokes around and teases so much, because she likes to deflect how she feels. Instead of opening up like this and just genuinely feeling like her true self. Really? She slapped you? Not with her hand, but with a ruler. She kept a wooden ruler with her at all times, so she could correct my behavior. I used to be a bratty kid. I ran around the shrine a lot and went exploring. I'd go off on my own, and I wouldn't come back for hours. But my grandmother hated it. She really hated it when I tore my clothes or got my shoes muddy or got leaves and twigs caught in my hair. She told me I looked thoroughly unpresentable, like a little demon, and then she hit me. <sighs> man. This is just too close to home, you know? I don't like this. I don't like this. She hit me, and while she was hitting me, she ran through a list of all my faults and flaws and told me to apologize. She was the toughest, most terrifying instructor there ever, there ever is. Didn't your parents mind? 
They were too busy attending the shrine. I don't know if they noticed, and even if they did, they wouldn't have intervened. My grandmother is quite frightening. Everybody's afraid of her. But I thought your mother ran the shrine. It, te it technically belongs to her. My grandma is still has influence in the day-to-day -day management. You could, you could say what you want about her. She's very organized, efficient too, and she's good with money. Mostly because she's a mis such a miser. But I wrinkle my nose in confusion. That doesn't add up. What doesn't? I met your grandmother when I went to the shrine. And at the time, I thought she was a sweet old lady. She was perfectly normal in her plain kimono and her white toe socks and wooden sandals. Ugh. She wore her gray hair in a bun and had her glasses on a string around her neck. Her hands were withered and ropey. Her dark eyes were watery, covered in a fine film of old age. She was spirited enough and talked to me with companionably while I worked on her computer. She even made me a mug of green tea and some delicious strawberry defuku. Her strawberry defuku tasted so good. I'm sure she can't be a bad person. Not if she made sweets like that. It would come back to the sweets with- <laughs> It would always come back to the sweets with you, Nekohime. She prods at the tip of my nose. She's smiling. Sweets are a good way to judge a person's moral fiber. Oh, really? Yes, only pure-hearted people can make delicious sweets. I can divine- <laughs> I can divine the hearts of men through their homemade cooking. And that strawberry defuku was crazy delicious. <laughs> Then you should be pleased to know that I was the one who made that strawberry to Fuku. You, uh... I stare at Suki. A few seconds ago I understood the basics of the universe. The sky is blue, the world is round, and the earth goes around the sun. Now, however, I'm not so sure. But your grandma, she said it was handmade. And it was handmade, but that wasn't a lie. She never said her hands made it, did she? I, well... I guess not. Uh, <sighs> Classic Japanese sweets were the only sweets I was ever allowed to eat at the shrine. I got a little interested in sweets because of that and started learning how to make them myself. I'm not that good at in the kitchen, but if a recipe involves mochi, matcha, or beans, I'm an expert. Well, um... I glance at my thighs. This whole while, that delicious strawberry defuku I ate, that was so filled with love, it was actually made by Suki. This loud, obnoxious girl who lounges around the house in various states of undress and sprayed me with a jet of cold water a few hours ago. Spaghetti, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. It's just Suki's character kind of hit me like a truck because. It's the exact situation that I've experienced before, and it's, and the way she acts is how I cope with just teasing people, laughing and being silly, and at the end of the day, when everyone else isn't around, I feel sad and alone, and my emotions overwhelm me, so a lot of stuff that I previously have had just kind of bottled up and exploded when I read this, because it kind of slap me in the face that I do the exact same thing that this character does, and it's probably not the best thing to relate to, but in the end, I guess I'm like this character. So, yeah. It's hard to wrap your mind around something until it's blatantly in front of you and you genuinely realize that you have the same problem. I can hardly believe it. I know how looks can be deceiving. After all, I live with Clover. But there are degrees. My grandmother is very nice and personable to strangers. She's always been <laughs> a jerk with her own family. I don't think she does it to be mean. She says it's tough love. She thinks you have to be cruel to be kind. But I got sick of it. 
I couldn't even ask her to back off. If I did, it'd just make her hit me. Or maybe I'd have to go without dinner. Tsuki frowns. She looks lost in thought. Maybe being a shrine maiden wouldn't have been so bad if it weren't for my grandma. She'd been a little nicer, perhaps I could have stuck it out. But she wasn't. She was a horrible old witch when I was younger. And she's still a horrible old witch now. <sighs> you know, I never would have guessed that an anime game like, on the surface just had, <laughs> is about girls parading around in explicit clothing would get me to well up with emotion. I'm surprised. Anyways, is that what you told her about the rice? Mm, it was just an act of petty revenge, really. I did a lot of stuff like that to her just to pay her back. I'd hired her indoor slippers or put spicy sauce in her miso soup in the mornings. For a while, that was enough, but... When she found out about her computer, she got so angry. She said I was a wicked child and had no respect for her elders. I told her she was a bitter old woman who wanted to ruin my life. And then she told me to leave. Like it's my fault she believed me when I fed her those lies about purifying her computer. If she had half a brain, she could have looked, up, looked it up online herself. Is it obvious putting rice into the D drive will cause problems eventually? She must have believed you because she trusted you. Well, I guess. She was a weird old woman, but I think she loved me in her own way. But being loved isn't always enough, you know. I know. I know more than I would like to admit. <sighs> you know, the music in this scene's really pretty. It's pretty. It's really pretty. You can't join the you can't join a club, Sayo. It would be nothing more than a distraction. Why do you need to invite friends over? You should be studying. Of course you need to cram in school. How else will we get into a good university? We just want to keep your options open, honey. You might resent us for it now, but sooner or later you'll understand. We're doing this because we love you. Yeah. Love isn't always enough. Exactly. Somebody might say they love you. They could be telling the truth, too. They might really, really, truly adore you. At the bottom of their heart, but... Some types of love can be toxic. My grandmother wanted to turn me into the perfect doll who would obey her in every command. Okay. She thought stripping away my freedom was the best thing for me. I disagreed. And that's why you came here? Suki nods. That's right. Do you think your grandma misses you? Maybe. But she should have thought about that before she yelled at me to get out. I'd rather die than go back to the shrine. So our visual novel has to be a smash hit. I'll do everything I can to turn my dream into reality. As long as I have you and Clover by my side, I could do it. As long as I have you by my side, I can do it too. <laughs> That's the spirit. And, um, I glance at my lap shyly. I know you're being serious about this now, so I'll try to be a little more lenient. Sticking to deadlines and getting things done is important, but I think it's important to have fun too. Exactly. If we don't have fun making this visual novel, our customers won't have fun reading it. Fun. It's not a word that weighed heavily in my life as of, well, ever. I was too busy to cram school, too busy studying, 
Too busy trying to impress my parents. <sighs> then I was too busy working. But maybe I should take a break every once in a while. I think I deserve it. Suki and I both deserve it. <laughs> achievement unlocked. Bond. Hey, we got another achievement. How many do we have left? We have uh, three achievements left. That's sweet. We're getting close to the end. It's cool. We've been trying too hard for far too long. That's the end of the scene. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go grab a tissue. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Oh hey Nora, thanks for the donation. I'm sorry that you had to experience that. It's something no kid should ever go through. Anyways, let's continue. Hey Suki, how did you get Nekohime to agree to it agree to this? Oh she's wearing her bikini! Hey! <laughs> she's having fun! I'm so happy for her! Oh, I'm so happy! She's Nekohime is actually opening up and letting people in for once. <laughs> Character development! Character development! Heck yeah! Sweet! Oh, it was quite simple actually. Su Suki smiles coquettishly, her fingers pressed together at her front. We had an earnest heart to heart and we came to a mutual understanding. Now I wonder what kind of heart-to-heart -heart that was. Are you sure? It wasn't a mouth-to-mouth -mouth instead? Oh my gosh. Ah uh, yes, the game completely just 180s from being sad to cheeky again. Clover! I try to prod Clover in the side, but she's too quick for me. She darts away, sticking out her tongue. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Though I'm annoyed at her, Clover raised a good point. I have to wonder why I agreed to this myself. My bikini is an old frilly thing I fished out of the back of my drawer. I don't know why I even have a bikini. I'm not exactly the sun and sea type. I was so busy with work, I didn't have enough free time to take trips to the beach. And even if I had, I would I would have preferred to sit inside. <clears throat> the only the only tan I want is a tan bestowed upon me by flickering screen of a computer. <laughs> I wish... I wish I could tan, you know? That'd be great. But... <laughs> my skin burns like no other. Oh, my poor body. I can feel the sunlight against my skin, baking me like a potato. It doesn't feel good. I can't remember the last time I exposed this much flesh to the harsh, unforgiving light of day. If this keeps up, I might turn into dust and blow away. My remains, my remains will be scattered on the winds. RIP. <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> uh, guys in chat, don't worry, I'm alright, don't worry. There's no need to get worked up, I'm fine. Everything's okay, just let's continue having fun. But Clover and Suki don't seem to mind. They both lie down on the grass, slowly tanning their bodies beneath the sun. I like how little Spaghetto in the back is just watching. Oh man, that's a totally me thing that I would do. Join us, Nekohime, this feels great. I, uh, I'm not so sure. Don't be so hesitant, the sun's good for you. But what if I melt? You won't melt, silly. And if you do, I'll have to go get Clover to do the writing and programming for our visual novel. 
What, me do the writing? He can't. <laughs> she has no sense of pacing. Her characterization leaves a lot to be desired. Oh? How do you know that? We used to roleplay a little back in the day. I did... We did meet on a, our, on an RP forum. <laughs> Spaghetto sees them waifu, uh... Ex <laughs> Spaghetto likes to see them waifu, uh... Shoulders. I like shoulders. Not gonna lie, though. Nekohime has some really nice shoulders. And look at that collarbone. It's just... It's nice. I really do like collarbones, not gonna lie. There's just something about them. Like, really nice collarbones and neck structure is something that's just... Mm. <clears throat> we tried to, anyway, but Nekohime always got mad at me and I said I was doing it wrong. How can you roleplay wrong? She just wasn't very convincing. Her world building was flat and her characters were inconsistent. So you were hard to please, even as a kid? Well, I I'm sorry for having standards. Shoulders, you really are weird. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> it's okay, Nekohime. I'll keep it far, far away from your magnum opus. It, it it's not like I'm taking this story too seriously. But I am. More than I would like to admit. <sighs> what a stream. Spaghetto, are you alright? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> there you go. I'm good. <laughs> I've grown quite protective of this visual novel over the last few days, even if it is a silly idea. It must be because I'm stubborn. When I start writing a script, I want to finish it all my way. After doing some research, I learned a lot of visual I learned a lot of visual novels are actually written by teams of two, three, sometimes up to even four or five people. One writer handles the common route and a couple of key character routes, while the remaining routes are divided are divided up between the other writers. <laughs> it's probably the most practical way to go about it. You have to write a script over 1 million characters long. Some visual novels are ridiculously huge. You have a tight deadline. You need to get the other hand on you need to get other hands on deck. It's not possible for one person to write that much. <laughs> but splitting a story up between so many people has drawbacks. It can make the tone of the routes inconsistent, or the characters' personalities might change slightly. Some writers rely more heavily on internal monologue, others have fate Others favor dialogue, and others like long extended similes. It can make the entire story lopsided, like a cake that hasn't risen right. <laughs> Multiple writers isn't an issue here though. The script is going to be short, so I can handle it all myself. I will handle it all myself. Anyway, Nekohime, come and sunbathe with us. But I'll get tanned. That is the general idea, yeah. <laughs> It'll give your skin a healthy glow. What if I don't want to look healthy? But despite my protests... I still lie down beside Clover and Suki. My new... Work colleagues? No, that sounds far too stilted. What about friends? Yes. I think friends is a far more accurate description. Ah. Clover lying on my right takes hold of one hand. Suki on my left takes the other. We lie there for a while, still in silence, beneath the warm rays of the summer sun. Look at all these shoulders. You see all these shoulders? Look at them. Just... <clears throat> <clears throat> shoulders are good. Oh, that's the worst Yoda impression I've ever heard. My throat is so dry. I apologize for that. Our hands linked. Our futures too. You guys? Yes? What is it? Let's put everything into this visual novel, alright? I don't want us to have any regrets. <laughs> is that six shoulders? <laughs> uh, the shoulders focus on nothing else. Those are some nice shoulders! They're all glossy in the sunlight, just... <laughs> wow, this is an unusually sa this is unusually sappy coming from you. 
I can't help it. I just... I just want this to be special. It already is special, silly. What? It's special because the three of us are together. That's right. Let's keep doing our very best. Right. I look between Suki and Clover and... My lips quirk upwards into a small smile. She's smiling! She's smiling! Hey! Woo! <laughs> that seems to be happening a lot lately. Much, much more than it ever used to. Being with these two girls really does make me happy. Woo! Oh. Uh. You know, I, I think it's time that, uh. To, to just, you know what? Do you guys want me to continue? Do you guys want me to continue or should I, um, stop the stream? <laughs> Let me know real quick. <laughs> Is this demonetized yet? Let me check. Let me see if this stream got demonetized. <laughs> uh, not yet. Wow, that's surprising. That is surprising that it hasn't been demonetized yet. You want me to continue? Okay, okay, I'll continue for about 15 more minutes and then we're ending this. Why is this happening? Isn't that obvious, silly Nekohime? <laughs> Suki runs a hand through my hair, soaping it up with shampoo. I shiver. We were sitting outside in the garden, now we need to clean up. B but why are you only cleaning me? Because, Nekohime. <laughs> You're bad at cleaning up after yourself. Y you make me sound like a naughty cat. Now that is quite an apt analogy. Droplets of water from the shower head fall against my exposed skin. I can feel rivulets cascading across my clavicles and the curve of my, uh, shoulders. It feels like fingertips caressing my body. In fact, fingertips are caressing my body. Suki is standing behind me, rubbing the arch of my back with a sponge. Clover, meanwhile, has a shower head pointed at my shoulders. Uh, this is so embarrassing. Honestly, that looks really relaxing. Of course, YouTube wouldn't demonetize Chad Spaghetto. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, at least they're in swimsuits. Yeah. <laughs> Being showered by two other women, hand between them, like filling in a sandwich. Really is shameful. My face flushes. To make matters worse, I can't see very well. My red-rimmed glasses have been removed, leaving me exposed in more than one sense of the, wor <laughs> of the word. Without my glasses, I'm completely helpless. The world around me is blurs into an indistinct haze of pastel colors and running water. I am- um, I can't see without my glasses. It's fine, Nekohime, you don't need to see. But, um, I... will take care of you. Suki leans in a little closer. I feel her damp hair rushing against the nape of my neck. She whispers softly into the shell of my ear, her breath tickling my skin. Very good care of you. Uh, Suki! <laughs> My whole body trembles. We'll be finished in no time, Nekohime. When we're together, we're an unstoppable team. Ah, uh, yes. If you guys don't shower with your homies after sunbathing, are you even true homies? Exactly. That's what I thought. That is what I thought. <laughs> what does that have to do with showering me? Um, I'm not sure. I was going for a cool heartwarming angle, like, even if you can't see, we could be your eyes. That's right, individually. <laughs> we may have flaws. <laughs> Why is she detailing her body so well? I don't know. <laughs> but together, we can make up for uh, one another's weaknesses. <clears throat> I twitch. Suki continues to soap my back with the sponge while Clover rubs soap into my shoulders. The friction isn't actually that bad. It's kind of nice. <laughs> Uh, you know, this would be a lot easier if you washed yourself properly, Nekohime. I can wash myself properly. The last time you tried, you kept your clothes on and your glasses. I just didn't want to take them off. That's a pain. Well, it's a good thing you have us. We'll come to your aid whenever you need a helping hand. Um, Clover's fingers. They're massaging my shoulders. She's rubbing soap against the soft curve of my shoulders. 
creating a lather of multicolored soap suds. <laughs> you just got here? What is going on? Uh, welcome to the stream. I apologize. The stream has been really uh, emotional. It's been a really roller. It's been a roller coaster of emotions. I'm confused, sad, happy, and yeah. I look at her. I look at her dazed. My eyes half lidded. Don't question it. Just don't question anything. I can hardly see properly. Everything is blurry. But I do know how this feels. It feels good, really good. Do you like it, Nekohime? Clover's voice is soft and unusually sensual. It makes the hairs at the back of my neck stand up. I, I, I like it. It's not too intense, is it? Um, I shift. The, co <laughs> the combined sensation of the water against my skin and Clover's roaming fingertips is almost a little too much. Spaghetto, you're the best. Thank you, Edward. I appreciate that, buddy. You're the best for watching and supporting me. I rub my thighs together. Why does it feel so warm? Uh, it feels funny. A good kind of funny? I think it's good. I think. <laughs> uh, I'm not used to feeling like this. Clover's fingers squeeze on one of my shoulders. I arch my back and mule helplessly. <laughs> I'm completely at their mercy, and yet, at the same time, I don't care. I don't care, but... Hey, it's not fun to hog her all yourself, Clover. <laughs> A jolt of electricity courses through my whole body. If I were a cat, my tail would be standing <laughs> up on the end. Suki. Her fingers. They. She. She's tickling the underside of my feet. <laughs> How do we always circle back around to feet? Why? <laughs> oh, someone just joined the stream? I apologize. <laughs> you just joined when they were started tickling their feet. What is it with you guys and feet? Why? <laughs> Talk about a sneak attack. That, uh, that isn't fair. How and why? Every game, I swear, there's just feet. All's fair in love and war. But we're cramped together in the shower. I can't escape. That's the best part! You're- <laughs> you beast. <laughs> I look at Clover, her features blur together. <laughs> but I can be more or less- but I can more or less tell who she is. A wide smile is a dead giveaway, even if the large shoulders and messy ponytail isn't. Cl Clover, please help me! Hmm, I'm sorry, Nekohime, but seeing you squirm is just too much fun. Whatever happened to the power of friendship? <laughs> I just look over in, in chat and I just see toes. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Someone just left the stream when we started talking about feet. <laughs> I don't blame them. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's just too funny. This is horrible. Oh, thank goodness, it's over. A few days pass. We now have precisely 10 days left until the summer manga market, and the three of us are making reasonably good time. I've written six scenes, bringing the word count to a respectable 20,000 characters. It's been a long time since I've written anything fictional. I used to roleplay with Clover a lot, but it, but it yielded poor results. <laughs> I hate relinquishing my fictional worlds to Clover, so she could ham-fistedly insert her own characters into my universe. It caused me unimaginable pain. Role-playing is supposed to be a joint activity. In theory, anyway. It was a theory, however. A GAME THEORY! Sorry, I apologize. I was never quite able to master. I was too much of a control freak. Being the sole writer on this team is liberating. Finally, I can make my characters say what I want, do what I want, and act like I want. And Clover isn't anywhere <laughs> near to get in the way. Thanks for joining, guys, for the stream. It's nice to see you, Nora. And, oh, Goku, it's been a while. You were pulled away from your manga. Nonetheless, I'm here. Time for misery. To <laughs> jump into it with your hands, please. I don't know if I can jump with my hands. That be that seems pretty difficult. Clover's, in Clover's never been very good at writing. She didn't take it seriously. Her character's speech patterns were inconsistent. Their backstories were nebulous. 
and their inspirational relationships wait sorry and their interpersonal relationships changed at the drop of a hat sometimes she even got their names mixed up well i won't make any amateur mistakes i'm halfway through the proposed 40 character script already and i have the rest of the scenes planned out now the crucial scenes are all blocked in, all 15 of them, I could finally give Suki the list of assets required to make my vision into reality. Firstly, I prepared a list of pieces of background art we'll need. Because we have less than two weeks to create a finished product, I tried to reduce the number of background assets needed to as much as possible. I tried to set the story in a small handful of locations to reduce the need for background art. According to Suki, background art is one of the most tedious and time-consuming parts of her job, and sadly, it's the least appreciated. Most people don't notice the backgrounds in visual novels unless they're incredibly ugly or exceptionally pretty. No, I, I like looking at the backgrounds. Looking at the backgrounds are great. Like, look at these clouds. It's pretty radical. I feel like this, the creators of these visual novels are just venting through this game that I'm playing, and it's hilarious. Otherwise, they're just there. Too much background art could slow production down by weeks, maybe even months, so I had to be sparse. I managed to whittle the number of backgrounds needed down to six, which should be enough for her to handle. Suki also needs to work on the CGs too, or in layman's terms, computer graphics. In a visual novel, a CG is any piece of artwork used to depict a complex scene which can't be properly expressed with the sprites and backgrounds. Yeah, see, background art's great! It's a Background art's just awesome. For instance, an image of Suki re recycling on the couch, holding her tablet would count as a CG. Sorry, we're not recycling, reclining. I'm so tired. See, this is a CG. <laughs> and incidentally, that's what she happens to be doing right now. Now this looks like a familiar sight. Hey, Nekohime. <laughs> did they just recycle a CG? They did, didn't they? Suki lifts her head and gives me a bright smile. Did you finish that list of required art assets for me? Yeah, I updated the online doc, so you should be able to access it. That's great, thank you. And, um, I was wondering... What? You have quite a lot of work on your plate. That's right. Aren't you worried about meeting the deadline? Nah, I'll be fine. Are you sure? My grandmother was horrid, but her harsh instruction helped me a lot. She made me spend hours and hours practicing my calligraphy. After that, drawing a few pieces of background art should be a piece of cake. Well, if you're sure. I'm always sure. I can handle it. She gives me a thumbs up with her hand, of course. And if the work world... <laughs> and if the workload gets too heavy, I can always ask Clover for help. I love how meta and self-aware this visual novel is. I agree, chat. <laughs> is Clover good at digital art? She's not as good as me, but she dabbles. I can ask her to paint the clouds and the grass and the backgrounds and the CGs. That's not too hard. You're gonna split the work to save time? Yep, that's quite common for visual novels to have lead artists who draw the characters and assistant artists who handle the backgrounds and other tiny details. That's awesome. It increases the overall, the overall productivity of the production team and helps the product get released faster. You know quite a lot about this, huh? Of course, we're aiming to be professionals after all. What if you can't draw all the CGs in time? We can't release a finished product with sketches or placeholders. Hmm, let's see. Suki ponders, idly tapping her tablet pen against her lower lip. If it comes to that, we can always use a few shortcuts. Because art and assets are some of the most time-consuming and expensive assets to produce. A lot of visual novels reuse their CGs. So, they'll display the same CG more than once? Exactly, a lot of CGs are deliberately designed so they can be repurposed in multiple parts of the story. Hmm... Is that why we're seeing this one again? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. <laughs> I love that. For example, in a visual novel with a lot of fight scenes, there might be a CG of a character holding a sword. And that single CG image can be reused, reused every single time the same character is engaged in a sword fight. Yep, scrimping and saving can go a long way. Oh, but you don't want to reuse the CG too much. It has to be done at the right moment. Or it'll look cheap. Coincidence? I think not! <laughs> Scenes have to be written carefully, without too many unique details, so they can match a single CG seamlessly. 
For example, this CG of a character with a sword might have a daytime lighting. In that case, you can't use the CG during a fight that takes place at night, even if the character is holding a sword in both scenes. Playing a visual novel where she makes a visual novel, that makes my head spin. Yeah, same here. Artists and writers should work together, hand in hand, so the art assets blend with the story and enhance it. If the art assets don't match the writing, it will detract from the experience. In that case, you better, you'd be better off writing an ordinary novel. I see, I see. I nod my head with my neck hinges, and one hand under my chin. Maybe I should have brought a notepad with me to write all this down. Suki's surprisingly good at giving advice. And for some reason, I'm experiencing a surprising sense of deja vu. Yeah, hmm, VN, VNception. <laughs> oh, that was funny. <gasps> Penguin! The following day. Hey Clover, how's the music coming along? Oh, Nekohime. Clover spins about her swivel chair and gives me a bright smile with her mouth. It's going good. I think I've sketched out a couple of tracks, including the title theme. Did you listen to the references I gave you? I sure did. You were really thorough with the references you sent, Nekohime. It was super helpful. I'm sorry if I sent too much. I just wanted everything to be perfect. <laughs> Some things never change. I don't know much about music production. It might not be possible to do everything I want. Well, some of the tracks you sent me were a little complex. I could probably produce the tracks of that caliber if I had more time, but... This is quite a tight deadline we have here. I know, I hope my expectations weren't too high. Well, that isn't the issue. Don't lower your expectations on my account, boss. I try to do the be I'll try to do the best with the time I have. Don't expect miracles, but I think this rough draft sounds pretty good. Clover clicks on her computer and opens up a complex looking program with dials and buttons all over the place. I stare at it with my eyeballs, of course. Even with my glasses on, everything starts merging together. What program is this exactly? This is a pretty standard tool for digital composers, it's kind of tricky to use at first, but it gets the job done. Ah, I just realized some of the synths aren't uh, there are too loud. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Ah oh, yes, look, it's Mr. Cow. Give me a sec. I'll adjust the levels for you. I watch Clover as she works. Though my eyes are trained on screen, I can't make heads nor tails of the complex process unfolding before me. Is that FL Studio? Probably. She's opening a lot of drop-down menus. Seriously, a lot of drop-down menus. I make myself comfortable on Clover's bed while I wait, hugging one of her many stuffed pillows to my chest. We really are doing this. Clover and I. Our dream. Is coming true. Finally, after ten years, the fruits of our labor are beginning to take shape. Yay! They're making a game! Woo! <laughs> That's awesome! Oh man, it's the next day. What's gonna happen? What do you think's gonna happen, guys? What's gonna happen? The next day. Oh, did you start coding it together already? That's right, I made the engine myself, so it's rather basic, but I don't think the visual novels need to be too complex. So as long as there's an option to skip text you've already read in enough save slots, you, can't, you really can't go wrong. Also, um, I was trying to make the GUI look as unintrusive as possible so it doesn't, inter so it doesn't interfere with the reading experience. But what do you think? Hmm, let me take a look. I slide my laptop over to Suki. She sets it on her lap and peers at it, one hand beneath her chin. She blinks. You made the entire engine yourself? I had to look a few things up online, more or less. You know, there are a lot of visual novel engines out there that you can use already. There's Pond Scripter, there's quite... That's, but that's quite old. But there's also Kari Kari. S Senpai is free. <laughs> it has a lot of functionality. <laughs> I love that because this visual novel is made in Renpai, but she called it Senpai. <laughs> uh, Senpai is free and has a lot of functionality, but it's typically used by Western developers. It also isn't compatible with heavily animated sprites. I know there are, there are some engines available online, but I wanted to make one myself. So it does everything you want to? Exactly. If you want something done properly, you should do it yourself. You really are a control freak, Nekohime. Maybe, but I didn't spend all that time learning how to code for nothing. Clover's working hard on music, so I wanted to work hard too. 
<sighs> but you're already doing the writing. That's true, but it wouldn't feel like our project if we didn't make absolutely everything ourselves. I want our circle to have our own engine. We deserve to have our own engine. I don't want anybody or anything else getting in the way. Aw, Nekohime, you're such a hard worker. Suki smiles with her mouth, of course, and pats the top of my head. <laughs> I purr, batting at her hand with my curled up fingers. Suki fiddles around <laughs> with the test build of Miko made for a while. As far as visual novel engines go, it's quite simple. You can advance the text by pressing space, shift, or using the mouse. I also added controller functionality, so a prospective player could use his VS4 or Hexbox controller to play the visual novel if they want. I want to use my Nintendo Switch controller! <laughs> the player can control the speed of text if the player can control the speed the text advances at in the preference menu. Menus can be accessed by left clicking with the mouse or by clicking on the buttons nestled at the side of the text box. These are called quick links. It's a system that runs like any other visual novel, but I'm still proud of it. It took me a few days, despite how simple it is, and I'm glad my hard work paid off. Suki looks impressed, at least. <laughs> I hope you're having a good day, Spaghetto. Good luck. Aw, oh, thank you. <laughs> Time to play on my Nintendo Swiss. <laughs> uh, don't you love all these gamer girls making their super awesome game? It's amazing. She nods her head and gives me a thumbs up. It's good. Are you sure this UI isn't too ugly? GUI stands for Graphical User Interface. In this case, the GUI refers to the text box and menus. I made them myself in PhotoStorm, but I'm no graphics designer. They fulfill their basic purpose, but they're not particularly eye-catching. Hmm. Well, let me see. Suki points towards the text box. She taps the screen with one pink fingernail. I'm terrified. My lights just flickered, and I really hope that I don't get a power outage. If I get a power outage and have to end this stream early, I apologize. <laughs> uh, I like how this visual novel is literally- it went from sexy anime girls to sad to literally teaching you how to make games. That's funny. <laughs> I think this is a little too blocky. It obscures too much of the screen. One of the biggest appeals of visual novels is the visuals. If the text box obscures the sprites and backgrounds too much, it gets in the way. Should I make it thinner? And transparent, maybe. Hmm, let's see. What would you say the main theme of the story is? Um, maids and shrine maidens. Exactly! We should have some sort of visual motif running throughout the GUI that fits the overarching theme. So, um, maybe some frilly ribbons or some teacups? That's it. If we put a teacup here, then... Suki gets her tablet and starts doing a rough sketch, her tongue poking out of the corner of her mouth. Less than ten seconds later, she hands over the tablet to me. Ta-da! I tilt my head to one side. Though it's only a mock-up, Suki's rendition of the text box is a lot more character than my own. My placeholder text box was a blocky thing, made of one solid color, but this text box has a lot of character. It's white with red ribbons on the edges which ties nicely into the Shrine Maiden theme, but there's also a teacup at the bottom right-hand corner to add some visual flair. Do you like it? It's adorable. I might have to do a few tweaks here and there, but this should work. When I finished with it, do you want me to upload it to our online folder, then you could drop it into the game? That's a great idea. And about the other menus? The Save, Load, and Preference menus? Mm-hmm. We should spice them up a little, too following a similar theme like so. Suki begins sketching on her tablet. What about this? The facelift Suki's given to the menu screens really adds some life to the game. The menus follow a similar pattern as the text box using the same color scheme and visual motifs, tying it all together so nicely. Just like a present wrapped in shiny paper. It's... It's so cute! Woo! <laughs> I know, right? Having a functional visual novel engine of our very own is nice, but we have to dress it up a bit. It's these small details that really catch the buyer's eye. You must have played a lot of visual novels. Well, quite a few. There wasn't much else to do back in the shrine other than practice my calligraphy. Suki shudders. 
plus cute girls are justice. I love them more than I love three square meals a day. <laughs> There's some really impressive characters, designs, and visual novels. A lot of love and care gets put into making these girls visually distinct but adorable. I see. I guess when it comes to visual novels, the novel part has a tendency to take the back seat. It makes sense. When you purchase a visual novel, the first thing you see are the <laughs> The first thing you see was splashed all over the packaging in the box. Now I'm curious. What does your grandma think about your hobbies? She doesn't know. I hid all my visual novels from her. If she knew I had a huge collection of dating sims, she'd have freaked out. Well, since I moved, I couldn't take any of my stuff with me. She might have found them by now. Uh, Suki sighs. That would be a pain to explain if I see her again. When you see her again, you're incredibly rich from sales. <laughs> when you see her again, you'll be incredibly rich from the sales of Miko made, and it won't matter. Hee 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 hee. I hope so. Suki yawns and stretches. Her arms click. <sighs> <sighs> I finished up a couple of backgrounds, so I kind of want to take it easy for the rest of the day. Is it alright if I start polishing up the GUI? That's taking it easy. It's not as time-consuming as line art or shading, and playing around with fonts and text placements is kind of fun. <laughs> anime Whammon. <laughs> Welcome to How to Code with Anime Whammon. Okay, I have a few scenes left to do, so maybe I'll finish those up. Do you want to work on it together? You can drop the WIP GUI files directly into the visual novel and we can brainstorm some of the finer details. That way we'll be able to make something we both like. Facts, Spaghetto. You tired? I am absolutely tired, but that's okay. I'm sorry, but I find it hard to work with other people. I mean, I'm not really used to it. Oh snap, she's not used to working with other people. Oh, alright then. Suki frowns with her mouth, of course. It was just a suggestion. I thought it might save time, but... If you don't want to, we don't have to. I just hope you realize at some point in your life, you don't need to keep struggling like this. If you want help, just ask for it. Isn't that what friends are for? Oh snap. We just got told off by Suki. The next, <laughs> the next day. Okay. All right, Nekohime, you can do this. I stare at the screen of my laptop with my eyes narrowed. The screen is blank, like a sheet of pure white paper. It's my duty to fill it with neat strings of characters. Why do I think this is just gonna go horribly? I don't know. It's kind of ironic since your username is Good Vibes. <laughs> I will do it. I won't let anybody get in the way. Least of all myself. You could do this. My fingers rest over the keyboard suspended in midair. I swallow with my throat. My whole body feels tense and taut. You could do this. We got this. We got this, boys. I repeat it under my breath like a mantra. You could do this. You could do this. You can... I let my fingertips fall against the keys. Tsubaki squeezed Nabaku's beautiful milk spheres between her fingers. The flesh spilled out over her fingertips appealingly, while helpless giggles and cries. No! <laughs> I slammed the lid of my laptop shut. I can't do it. It's impossible. What did I just read? <laughs> what did I just read? Just look over to chat and see you guys just oh, dying over there. It's impossible. How can I? How can an inexperienced girl like me, who's never had uh, shoulder massages before, right? Shoulder massages scenes. There's no way. What on earth was I thinking? Okay. At the breakfast table the next day. Are you right, Nekohime? Glover looks at me anxiously. By the way, I'm playing the censored version of this, version of this game. It cuts out some, <laughs> quite a few things <laughs> that make this game even worse. And I can't not imagine that this game <laughs> could get worse. <laughs> Neko Wemmon is reading adult content. Glover looks at me anxiously. I sigh, jabbing the prongs of my fork at my chocolate crepe. The chocolate sauce spews out at both ends, leaking sticky strands across the plate. Kind of like the scene in my visual novel. What? 
Tsubaki's petal is moist and glistening. We're engorged with chocolate and nectar. My face flushes. I feel like I'm gonna be sick. Hey, Nekohime! Earth to Nekohime! <laughs> Clover waves a hand in front of my face. Are you still there? I push Clover's hand away. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm fine. You don't look fine. Your face is white as chalk and you have bags, bags under your eyes. Yeah, well, I stayed up late last night. Doing what? Writing. Trying to write, anyway. It's much, much harder to write, uh, shoulder scenes than I thought. Hey, guys. The door opens with a thud. Suki walks into the kitchen with her legs, of course, a bright smile on her face, and plops down onto the chair besides Clover's. I just had a thought with my brain. Oh, what is it? Our visual novel is being made on a short deadline, but we want it to be as good as possible, don't we? Of course. I look at Suki sleepily, rubbing my eyes with the back of my arm. That's a general idea. I never agreed to have my name attached to a subpar product. <laughs> That's our Nekohime. She's always so serious. You say that like it's a bad thing. No, 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 no. I think it's adorable. <laughs> Sakura games are literally <laughs> fan service. <laughs> That's more than a little patronizing. Uh, anyway, Suki slams her palms against the table. I was thinking, I want to draw the most realistic uh, shoulder scenes possible. Uh, uh, good thing I didn't take a mouthful of my crepe, or I might have choked on it. I don't really want to think about that right now. Not at the breakfast table. Not after my miserable failed attempts to write them last night. <laughs> I feel pain. <laughs> oh. <sighs> you know, um, I toil with my sleeve shyly. I haven't written any of these scenes yet. I'm finding it a little difficult. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever been late to a stream. What have I missed? You've missed pain. <laughs> You've missed pain. That's fine, maybe my drawings will be able to help inspire you. Honestly, I haven't been able to find any inspiration for drawings myself. I think I might need a frame of reference. Can't we just watch, uh, anime? I try, but it feels so impersonal. I can't get emotionally invested at all. Do you need to be emotionally invested to draw anime? Of course you do! There has to be emotional investment, of the, or the drawings will come out as stiff and lifeless. This is a problem for any artist in any piece, whether it's a tree, or a fruit bowl, or a boat on the ocean, but when it comes to shoulders, the emotional investment is even more important. <laughs> we want to excite our readers, but we also want them to feel a close connection to the cute female characters. We want it to be spicy. We want it to be... Woo! We want it to be... <clears throat> but most, impor most importantly... It should be heartwarming. <laughs> this the anime scenes shouldn't feel like the cheap tacked on fan service for a cheap thrill. They they should feel like integral to their narrative, inseparable from the characters, and utilized carefully to display new sides of their personalities. <laughs> what am I watching? What am I reading? Oh, that's Suki for you. You always think about these things so thoroughly. Somebody has to. And here I was thinking you were just a pervert. Me? A pervert? Never. <laughs> if we're gonna add spice to our visual novel, I just want to make sure we do it properly, that's all. <laughs> hey, aesthetic as heck! What's up? When I use references for my art, I prefer to take inspiration from the things that surround me like in the real, in the real world. It gives my artwork the actual personal touch, you know? And... A mischievous smile quirks the corner of Suki's lips. I think I know exactly what to do. Um, Suki? Why are you looking at me? I don't like where this is going. I don't like <laughs> where this is going. 
<laughs> we want this to be spicy Cheetos. <laughs> Another day passes. By now the game is really starting to shape up. <laughs> I like how it's very obvious that in the normal version there was definitely an extra scene there, but the game just completely cut to the next scene. <laughs> So it's just implied, and our minds just have to wander. <laughs> so, Spaghetto, how are you liking it so far? Uh, I feel like the ending of this is really, really bare bone because I'm playing the censor version. <laughs> uh, all the small bugs have been ironed out, and the engine works more or less as intended. The GUI has been finished, and thanks to Suki's impressive art skills, it has a lot of polish. All the menus share like a, uh, all the menus share a like theme, and all the color palettes used throughout the visual novel is consistent and appealing. The base script is finished, clocking in around 38,000 characters. I still have a few branches and extra scenes left to write, but I estimate this should only take a couple of days. <laughs> You're traumatized. I'm so sorry, chat. The character sprites and backgrounds have been completed, leaving only the CGs and four of the eight of the music tracks have been finalized, with a further four still in the, prelimi the preliminary period. Um, oh, this, did I have the wrong thumbnail? My bad, hold on, let me fix the thumbnail. <laughs> I thought I changed the thumbnail, I apologize. There we go, the thumbnail should be updated to Anime Girls. You're welcome. I even managed to write a few uh, spicy scenes thanks to a little show and tell Suki arranged for me yesterday. We're not going to talk about this show and tell Suki arranged yesterday. <laughs> Fun fact: censored this. The censored version of this game only has about 78% of the game spaghetto. <laughs> I believe it. I definitely believe it. With how these last couple days have gone, with six days left until the manga market, everything is going smoothly. Maybe it's going a little too smoothly, in fact. <laughs> Nothing happened. Nothing happened. And with a... Ex and with an interesting noise, the walls of Nabuku's... Okay. No! <laughs> no, I don't like that. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> I crossed my room in two steps and pushed Clover away from my laptop. She staggers, a small smirk raises, <laughs> rises to her lips. Oh, uh, what's wrong, Nekohime? Can't handle the heat? That's not it. it. It's not Christian. We do not do that. No. I don't want you reading my scenes out loud, that's all. Aw, <laughs> uh, why not? It's private. Private? <laughs> well, I have news for you, Nekohime. When we release this baby at Manga Market, hundreds of people are going to read these that you wrote with such love and care. I didn't write them with love and care. Th that makes it sound weird. <laughs> She's eating spicy Cheetos. <laughs> I feel pain. How much of this game is left? <laughs> oh, are you saying it isn't lewd? Clover raises an eyebrow. She leans forward, peering over my shoulder, and starts to read. Okay, uh, uh no, no, no. Uh, bad noises. Enough, that's enough. <laughs> that's what I said yesterday, but nobody listened to me. Look, if you're unhappy about that, you should have talked to Suki, not me. So basically yesterday, Suki, I guess, had Clover and the Neko girl put on a show. And I have no idea what that show was, but I'm not gonna ask or find out. <laughs> I'm not gonna find out. <laughs> well, you're a lot more fun to tease. Clover, Clover smiles mischievously. You know, Nobuku is based on me. If anyone has a right to read about her first time, it's me. But I haven't finished editing it yet. Then I'll give you some suggestions. I want to look over it myself first. So you can, uh... So you can massage your shoulders while thinking about poor Nobuku's flowers and sweet honey nut Cheerios all over? SHUT UP! <laughs> SHUT UP! <laughs> no idea what the show is. Press X to doubt. Shh, we don't talk about that. <laughs> if I weren't holding my laptop, I'd put my fingers in my ears. Clover seems to have recovered from her or ordeal yesterday. 
I thought seeing such a cute, helpless side of her was a little strange at first. I hate how this game turned wild, <laughs> but now I'm beginning to wish that the blushy, shuddering Clover was back. She's easier to deal with when she... <laughs> <laughs> She's easier to deal with than the teasing one, who knows where all my weak points are and exploits them shamelessly for maximum damage. Oh no! She's gonna exploit my weak points for maximum damage! Faints. <laughs> I still can't believe it. You're so pure and innocent, but you've been writing filth. Maybe this whole time you're actually a huge pervert. I'm not a pervert! I'm not even interested in shoulder massages! Kia! Uh, my shoulders are being massaged on their own. Okay. <laughs> pain! Existence is pain. Who, <laughs> Who wants me to describe the show for you guys, Spaghetti? Uh <laughs> no, don't you dare, don't you dare. Hey, I wonder what your parents would think about all this, Nekohime. Look how far their cute, precious little daughter has fallen. Clover, if you tell my parents about this, I will murder you. With what? Your embarrassment? No, I'll smother you to death with this pillow. And I mean it. I don't think I've ever wanted to kill somebody as much as I want to kill Clover right now. <laughs> the next day. Alright, I'll be right back, guys. I'm getting a quick call. Okay, boys, I'm back. Um, sorry about that. My mom just needed some help with something, so I helped her with it. My sister graduated today. I'm happy for her, and I'm going to help them plan a special like graduation trip for her. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm really happy. My sister, my younger sister graduated today, and I'm really proud of her. She's been working really hard, and I am going to help plan a, a trip to the beach for her and my family and help take care of things, so... Yeah, that'll be fun. Sorry for um, dropping for a few minutes. I just I wanted to take the call because I didn't want to ignore my family. But I appreciate you guys being patient, and I'll tell her I'll tell her you guys said congratulations, and let's continue the stream. All right, the next day. Ah, uh, I think that should take care of it. I yawn and stretch my arms above my head. The joints in my elbows click alarmingly. Maybe it's a sign. <laughs> uh, I should drink more milk. I've been holed up in my room the last eight hours working on those extra scenes for a Miko maid. <laughs> this was a very wholesome stream. Yeah, it, it went from weird to wholesome. How about? Oh, hey, Kaderi. It's been a hot minute. I'm doing. I'm doing pretty good. I'm happy with how my life's going at the moment. Now I'm proud to say the whole script has been finished, including branches and alternate scenes. The final story is around 45,000 characters, which is a little longer than they originally anticipated, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. If anything, I'm sure most people would consider it a bonus. With the writing complete, I have to start programming it together. I have less than a week, but it shouldn't prove to be too difficult of a challenge. Scripting a visual novel is incredibly easy if you format everything correctly. <laughs> uh, I sound a lot happier than I did before. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. The most time-consuming part will be defining all the characters and altering their expressions. I'm sure I can do it. No, I will do it. Failure isn't an option. There is no way they're, like, realistically they were able to finish this visual novel in, like, two weeks. That's ridiculous. A couple of days later, the script has been proofread and fully implemented into the visual novel engine. The sprites and backgrounds have all been inserted, too. I've coded the character expressions, and everything seems to be working just fine. Now, all I'm waiting for is the last music track and a couple of CGs. When these elements have been delivered, the entire visual novel will be finished. Miko made is nearing completion. I can hardly believe it. The three of us really worked hard. All of our sweat, blood, and tears went into this product. And soon, we'll be able to unveil it to the general public. Yay! I'm so happy for them! Congratulations! <laughs> I'm so excited I can hardly eat my breakfast that morning. Hey, Nekohime. Lover glances at me curiously, setting her chopsticks down to, to one side. <laughs> it's been two weeks in the censored version. 
Wow. There's a grain of rice stuck to her cheek, but I don't point it out. Under normal circumstances, I would with a small sigh and roll my eyes, but the circumstances right now are anything but normal. Even if some things are still the same. Clover is a good cook, but she's quite a messy eater. She slurps her miso soup, picks her teeth with loose fish bones, and always gets rice stuck to her face. Are you alright? I'm fine. But well, you keep pushing your rice porridge around in your bowl. Doesn't it taste good? Uh, do you feel sick? Suki gets her feet and gets to her feet and presses the palm of her hand against my forehead. I don't think you, you have a temperature. No, that isn't it. I can't let myself get sick now. No, not when we come so far. I wouldn't. <laughs> well, that's the spirit. <laughs> Take care, Kuderi. It's nice seeing you. Suki giggles and sits back down with her legs, of course. Clover, meanwhile, <laughs> gives me a hearty slap on the back. <laughs> Top of the morning to you, Clover. She slaps a little too much enthusiasm, actually. Ow. Honestly, it's kind of painful. Oh, Nekohime! Suki smiles with her mouth hinges, idly coiling a strand of black hair around one finger. You act so cool and aloof, but you might even be more passionate than we are. Well, I like giving things my all. <laughs> uh, I can tell. You're a very hard worker. And our hard work is almost finished. That's what I was thinking about. Are you so excited you just can't eat? Something like that. I just keep thinking, soon we'll be at the manga market, selling our game to hundreds of people. I press a hand against my chest. I'm so happy I... I can't sleep. I can't think and I can't eat. Hey now, you're an all-star. We're so glad you're happy. But that doesn't sound very healthy. <laughs> Top of the morning to you, laddies! My name is Jacksepticeye. Today we're playing another game with... Anime... Shoulders. Ooh, look at these shoulders. Mm, look at these shoulders. Mm. <clears throat> Slurp shoulders, I would. That's right. You might be overthinking things a little too much. Maybe. I do that a lot. <laughs> You're still the same old Nekohime we know and love. I I'm not old. That's a figure of speech. But you do look quite tired. Do you want to sip my coffee? No, thank you. But black coffee is the best for giving you energy. I pull a face. Coffee is bitter, particularly black coffee. I can't stand bitter things. <laughs> shoulders. <laughs> so many shoulders. <laughs> the world is bitter enough as it is. I'd rather eat dirt. It would probably taste better. <laughs> Suit yourself. Suki picks up her cup of coffee elegantly and takes a sip. I think black coffee has a very mature, refined flavor. It's the pinnacle of mankind's achievements. Whatever. You could say what you want, but I know the truth. Nobody really likes coffee. Maybe little girls like you don't, who only drink hot chocolate. There's nothing wrong with hot chocolate. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> of course not, if you're five. Why you? I grit my teeth together. People can insult me all they like, but insulting sugar, that's taking it a step too far. Sugar is delicious. It's the only thing that gets me out of bed in the morning. At least it was, until I started making this visual novel. It gave me a new reason to live. A purpose, if you will. And now it's nearly over. Maybe that's why if that's why I feel so weird this morning. <laughs> it's not anxiety over the thought of other people reading my visual novel, though. I must admit, I am a little... I am a little anxious. It's anxiety over what I'll do next with my life. I never felt this fulfilled before. Not ever. The visual novel anchored me. It gave me a goal. Something to strive for. Without it, what will I do? Hey, Nekohime. What? Don't ever think about getting all mopey on us. How could you tell? We're friends. Of course we can tell. Clover. It's still way too early to start worrying. I have to finish up the last few CGs. Clover has to work on the final song, and you need to proofread the script a few times for spelling errors. And we still need to work on the decorations for our stall. Since we're going to the manga market, we have to, we have to dress up our stall to be as eye-catching as possible. Oh, that sounds like fun. Can we create a poster? That's the plan, in fact. 
Suki's eyes glimmer. I think we should. Right now. Really? Yep, I bought some paint supplies and a poster board, so all we need to do is get the creative juices flowing. But I'm not very good at drawing. When I paint, I always go out of all the lines. My students are better at painting than I am. That's fine. You two can always give me some ideas. Since we worked on the visual novel together, I want us to work on our poster together. It'll be a bonding experience, and... Suki gets to her feet and ruffles the top of my head. You'll be so busy you won't be able to worry. Ah, uh, is Suki doing this for my sake? She's trying to take my mind off things. I didn't trust Suki at first, but she really is a nice girl. Aww. That's cute. <laughs> and that's where I'm ending this episode. D okay. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> okay, okay, breathe, breathe, whew, whew. Ah, there's no better sight than pretty young girls in their bikinis. Give, give it some more thought. Maybe Suki isn't that nice after all. I can feel my face flushing. I'm still not used to wearing this bikini or showing off so much skin. Ah yes, you're both such charming maidens. Eehee! Well, thank you very much. <laughs> I forgot that I edited the game, and <laughs> there's a there's a picture of me up there. It's so creepy. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> I pout, puffing out my cheeks like a squirrel might. Uh, was this just a ploy to get us into our bikinis? Well, maybe. Bruh. Okay, I feel it. It's fine. I dig it. I dig it. Suki, you're such a bad girl. I know. Suki lips her licks. Suki licks her lips seductively. It's not about the bikinis. It's about sending a message. But you love it, don't you? No, I don't love it at all. Not even a little bit? Well... He's always staring in the distance. Relax, Nekohime. Clover <laughs> snakes behind me and takes hold of my wrists with both hands. Hey, what are you? Clover raises my arms in the air, so, so I'm posed like a cross. There's something familiar about this position. I is that famous pose from Titanic? Titanic. <laughs> is that... <laughs> Is that the famous pose from the Titanic? Exactly! Fly, Rosemary! I'm no Rosemary. But can't you feel the wind in your hair? Isn't it great? It does feel quite nice, actually. It's a pleasant day, and the sunshine shimmers down from above. It warms the top of my head and my bare shoulders. I'm going to get a tan if I'm not careful. A gentle breeze toys with my hair. My bare toes curls against the warm grass. I shiver with my shoulders. With Clover's fingers about my, uh, around my wrists, the sunlight and the sunlight on my skin, it really does feel good. During moments like this, I have to wonder, why do I stay cooped up inside all day? Is it me or not? Much people are here. Well, it's probably because I haven't been streaming much lately. Don't worry though, I'll get back on top of things. The birds in the trees twitter in the background. <laughs> yeah, the birds twitter. <laughs> and it's almost like they're thinking too. Anyways, enough messing around. As you can see, I have the poster boards and paint buckets all set up. So you do. Oh, look at the pretty colors. Clover's eyes light up. She relinquishes hold on my wrists and starts examining the veritable cornucopia. Corn Cornucopia of art supplies arranged on the grass. That's a weird word. Ah, welcome to the stream. And the first thing you say is, oh, what's going on here? Everything. We're just chilling. We're just hanging out, dude. Nothing else. When Suki said she bought paints, she wasn't joking. There really are a lot of paints. In all different colors, too. There are primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. But there are other, more interesting shades, too. I wonder what colors. Meadow green. Shimmering Silver, Princess Pink, Imaginative Indigo, Blood Orange. <laughs> I like how girls are always just like, Ah yes, 
This is my favorite color. Sugar berry, raspberry, top color, orange, purple. Instead of just saying, my favorite color is purple. <laughs> and I'm not trying to be pretentious. I'm just reading the labels on the paint buckets. How much did all this cost? Suki waves her arm, raise, waves one arm carelessly. Um, five dollars. Money is no object when it comes to making a masterpiece. I think it is an object. I don't want to end up like Van Gogh. So my girls. <laughs> does Suki, does Suki own you both? Suki smiles, picking up a paintbrush in both hands. Let's, let's make a start on the art. Okay, let's paint. Uh. That's not painting! This is not painting! How is this painting? I just spat all over my microphone, but... How? How is this painting? How? Now, now how on earth did this happen? <laughs> when Suki said she was going to make art, I didn't think she meant performance art. This kind of art is so raunchy, it would never be accepted in any art exhibit. It's art exhibit... <laughs> exhibitism, more like. Bob Ross disagrees. Ah, Suki, that tickles. Bob Ross would be like, oh. That is a happy little friend. <laughs> Come on now, Clover. The fun is only just beginning. At least it sounds like they're enjoying themselves. Um, you guys, Clover and Suki are lying together on the grass in a very suggestive, sticky embrace. Covered from tip to toe in thick, dripping paint. Clover's body is coated up to her neck in meadow green, while Suki proudly supporting a coat of princess pink. And that isn't all. Their bodies are pressed close together, and their shoulders slide against one another. The paint stuck to their skin mixes when they hold one another close, resulting in a brand new shade. I'm not sure what I call this. Unholy combination of meadow green and princess pink myself. Sinner's brown. That is not green, that is light blue, and that is pink. And together, they make purple. Hey, relaxing is important, but we have a bunch of canvases to work on. We don't need to paint our bodies, too. But Nekohime! Suki pouts. Her shoulders continue to slide across clovers. The paint must have reduced the friction between them, making them warm. Uh... Uh... <laughs> no. Stop that, Nekohime. No. This this is so much more fun. We didn't come out here to have fun. We came out here to make a poster for our, our stall, remember? This is a very distracting game, you know? <laughs> and this is, <laughs> this is why, kids, you never do body paint. I know, but I wanted to try mixing the colors a little. You don't need to mix the colors. You have more colors out here than a bag of <laughs> kittles. <laughs> But I wanted to see what kind of color of clover and I can make together. Oh, Suki, you're so bold. I know, right? <laughs> Suki dips her head and presses a kiss against Clover's cheek. There isn't anywhere else Suki can press kisses, considering Clover's body is almost entirely soaked in paint. I shake my head, trying to stem a blush. <laughs> you two are unbelievable. We're just having fun. We're nearly finished with our visual novel, Nekohime. This calls for celebration. That's right. That's right. Why don't you join us? You want me to get all covered in paint like you? Mm-hmm. Suki licks her lips. It sounds even more delectable when you say it like that. Ugh. My face burns like a fireplace. Y you too. You. Yes? Suki's fingers brush against Clover's flesh. They leave a sticky princess pink trail along the smooth curve of her stomach and the soft incline of her belly button. <laughs> Clover whimpers and her body trembles. Hey, Suki, it's so cold. Can we go inside and get warm? Are you enjoying the view? Hardly. Then why are you still watching? Uh, I'm making sure you don't die of lead poisoning, you idiots. <laughs> this game makes my head hurt. How far in? We've only been streaming for 10 minutes. 
Don't worry about me, Nekohime. I'm an artist. I know how to treat my paints well. So saying, Suki runs her tongue along Clover's neck. You taste like strawberries. Mmm. <coughs> Kaya! Ah, it is ticklish. Hee hee hee. You are really cl cute, Clover. Really? Yes, you are my muse. I feel so inspired right now. Suki's fingers continue to run along Clover's skin. She teases her shoulders between her fingertips. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to make our poster stand out for a certain. It'll be the most eye-catching image in all the manga market. I hope it isn't illegal. It'll be all in good taste. Don't worry so much, Nekohime. Uh, welcome to the stream. Oh, you're my biggest fan? Thank you for joining at a horrible time. How can I not worry when you look at her like that? <laughs> if I squint my eyes, I can almost imagine they're being devoured by a slime monster. A particularly perverse slime monster. Then again, is there any kind of slime mon- any other kind of slime monster? Chat, stop saying you like this. I don't like this. I came for a wholesome experience with game, gamers, and girls, and this is what we get? I'm disappointed in humanity. Don't you want to inspire me too, Nekohime? Suki gestures towards me with a few paint-flecked fingers. <laughs> Though she's covered in the stuff, I can still see her pink nail polish clinging stubbornly to her fingertips. She's still wearing those headphones too. WHO WEARS HEADPHONES AND DIVES INTO PAINT?! WHO?! WHY?! Isn't she worried she'll break them? Come on, and be my muse. I'd rather not, if it's all the same to you. Boo, why not? It really does feel good, Nekohime. Don't cats like relaxing in the sun? Maybe they do, but they don't like being covered in paint. Breathing in the fumes is toxic. Welcome back to the stream! Thanks for joining at a horrible time. Hee hee hee, maybe that's why I feel so lightheaded. Goodness gracious. I sigh, rolling my eyes to the heavens. Just what am I going to do with them? They're both ridiculous. And yet... A smile quirks at the corner of my lips regardless. I can't help it. Spending time with Clover and Suki is really fun. They've enriched my life more than they know. More than I'll ever let them know. I hope these happy days never come to an end. Aw, that's actually kind of wholesome. <laughs> Those are the new Beats by Chris Brown. She spent $300 on them. <laughs> that actually went from lewd to wholesome. She just doesn't want to be alone. That's sweet. But as the old saying goes, all things come to pass. Aww. Nothing good can last forever. That got d depressing quick. And with two days left to spare until the manga market. <laughs> Godzilla! <laughs> Sorry, I love that I edited the images in this game. Yay, we've done it. Suki throws a pillow in the air in excitement. Clover meanwhile jumps in the air. So does her ponytail. And her shoulders which are threatening to explode from the confines of her ridiculous shirt. We did it. I can't believe it. <laughs> Gashira! Woo! Top 10 wholesome moments with anime girls rolling around all over each other in the background. <laughs> oh, hey, Braxton. Thank you for the donation, buddy. I appreciate the support. What a homie. We did it. I can't believe it. I... I blink with my eye sockets, staring at the screen of my laptop. The words on the screen, the end, are starting to blur. I wonder why. And the three of us sat down in my room to play through our game from start to finish, with all the sprites, background, CGs, sound effects, and songs in place. And three hours later, it's finally over. The fruits of our hard labor. We've reached it. The end. The credits starts to scroll on the screen. The relatively short credits. They have to be. This visual novel is made by a combination of our efforts. Just the three of us, Clover, Suki, and I. Everything was made by us. The engine, the artwork, the writing, the music, even the sound effects. We didn't outsource anything. We didn't use any stock assets from the internet. We didn't use any royalty-free material. Oh, you know what? I'm proud of them. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, it all came from our hard work, our passionate efforts, and now it's over. We just need to make physical copies, which should take the majority of tomorrow. And then on Saturday, we'll go to the manga market. We'll set up our stall. We'll sell our visual novel. Our, the visual novel we all made together. I sniffle. 
and my nose feels stuffy. My eyes hurt. Can it be? Tears? <laughs> Am I really crying with my eyeballs? Well, Nekohime, are you getting emotional? No! I shake my head. My cheeks are burning bright red despite myself. I'm fine. It's just um, cat allergies. I'm allergic to cat girls. Allergies? Yeah, sure. I'm not actually a cat, you know. You're happy we finished our project, aren't you? <laughs> of course I'm happy. I'm happy because it means I'm through with this nonsense. Top 10 saddest moments in anime. Finally, I can go back to my day job, and you two won't bother me all the time, and I... Why are you so mean? Why are you so mean? I... My vision gets blurrier and blurrier. The room swims. I really will be lonely. Aw, Nekohime. You're too adorable. Come here. So saying, Clover and Suki pull me into a tight, warm hug. A little too warm, actually. Su and Suki's shoulders are pressing against my face so I can't breathe. Still, I'm not unhappy about the situation. In fact, though I'm crying, I don't think I'll ever be happier. I achieved something really great with the help of my friends. This won't be the end, you know. It won't? No. Suki pulls away from me, smiling brightly, her whole face shimmering. Miko made is going to be huge. Huge. Hu huge success. That's right. We're going to make all the money. And then we'll be making a sequel. You hear that? We'll. Miko made will be a huge success. We will make lots of money. Millions and billions of dollars. It's just going to be a fantastic success. People love anime girls and maids. I know for a fact I'm a businessman and we will be making a sequel. I promise you that and nothing else. It's going to be huge. A prequel? A whole series. We'll populate the world with adorable girls who have an un... <laughs> Unreasonably huge. That's it. I'm just gonna say it. Who have unreasonably huge boobs. There you go. I said it. And we'll bring a lot of smiles to everyone. That's all this game has been. Just anime girls, shoulders, and unreasonably large chest things. But how do you know? We don't know, but we have to believe. <laughs> it's the power of positive thinking. Suki winks with her eyeballs. Clover gives me a peaceful sign. <laughs> oh, he said the thing! <laughs> really, chat? Really? <laughs> the one time I say it. I look between the two of them, so fiercely confident in our creation. How many donations do I have to get to get, <laughs> spag <laughs> to get Spaghetto Simp? Um, I'd say you'd have to get, I think, at least 10 donations would be Simp level. And I nod my head. I should be like that too. I should smile more. I should smile just like them. <laughs> this is a Christian stream. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll go back to saying shoulders. I'm not a bad content creator, I promise. I promise. I shouldn't look upon this as an ending. Actually, to become a simp, you have to either give a bunch of small donations or one giant donation. That's how you do it. I shouldn't look upon this as an ending. It's a new beginning. Achievement Unlocked, Publisher, Sakura Gamer, that's the ending, guys. We did it, boys, that's the end. Thank you for reading. <laughs> Is that really it? That was an abrupt ending. Oh well. What'd you guys think of this game? Story and writing was made by Waffle. <laughs> oh hey, there's Spaghetto back there, he's chillin'. Character art is Enma. This has got to be like the most meta visual novel ever. I, I didn't hate it though, it was funny. At least it was funny. Uh, hey, at least it was funny. It was a funny game, okay? I didn't hate it. It was, it, was, it was silly, it made my brain hurt, but it had some feels and I give it respect for that. At least it gave me some feels. Okay, at least it gave me some feels. I appreciate that. So, that's the end of another series, boys. 
There is a sequel. If you guys want me to play the sequel, I'll consider it. But as for now, that's the end of Sakura Gamer. The credits were also really short because it was made like by three people. So thank you guys all so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below what you thought of this stream. That's it. We got everything. There's still a couple locked CGs. I don't know what that's about, but oh well. Um, and as always, I will see you in the next stream. Good night, everybody, and stay safe.